Feld's going to take on the two-time champ, Vincent Frisch. Vincent going for the three-peat. Hope you guys are ready. I'm excited. This should be a pretty good one. Both players throwing BGs. Ryan Weedfeld throwing the Sorcerers. I forgot to double check. Looks like Vikings in the hands of Vincent Frisch. He said if he gets into trouble, he'll turn the hat backwards. That's how you'll know. Right now we are underway, though, with a 10-on-10 wash to start things off. Thank you guys all tuning in the entire weekend. We've had some great viewing audiences so far. You guys have been great interacting in the chat. We've having fun. Football's getting ready to start. I mean, you can't ask for a better Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. We'll go through the picks here in a second. I'll let you guys know who I think is going to win each bracket. Definitely taking Ryan Wiedenfeld in bracket A. There's no way that I would take Josh Holland in bracket A. No way. Definitely going with Ryan Wiedenfeld here. Nate says, I like Ryan to win this. Anyone want to bet? Let's go. Let's get started. Let's get feisty. This is your A bracket. Ryan Wiedenfeld comes in as the overall number one seed. Vincent comes in as the 16 seed. A bracket's got a tough route no matter who it's going to be. Left side of this bracket, we got Jimmy Humans taking on Logan Chamberlain. Ryan Windsor just defeated Josh Holland. What up, Trey? Imperial Valley Cornhole checking in as well. Brennan Ballard, good weekend already. 2 nothing start for Ryan Wiedenfeld. County Wiedenfeld says, go Ryan. Oh, yeah, we're starting off hard, Brennan. We're starting off hard. We're not sugarcoating nothing. For those of you that uh, were asking and wondering, yes, I did turn off the autofocus. Worked a lot with the cameras this morning, so I think we should be in good shape. We're going to get an and one to start. Let's go, Vincent. Big shot right there. And one, and we're underway. Good morning, Mike says, uh, today's prediction, Packers aren't losing today. Yes, sir. You are right. <clears throat> Misses that push. Wiedenfeld's going to collect on the other side. Five to four. Good way to start the replays. You ain't lying. You ain't lying. We are ready. Lester Price, Amber Thompson, Eric Anderson. What up, Jake Gore? How you doing? I mean, I do have to say, from what I've seen out here and uh, from what I know, which is very limited about the West Coast players, I will go out on a limb. And I will say, Vincent Frisch is the best player in California that I've seen. Ooh, a little double bar soap. Do it. Do it. Oh, he's going to go for the cut. Takes in one of Ryan's bags. Two more points, though, for Vincent, making it 7-4. to four. But, yeah, I definitely think that uh, Vincent is the best player in California. For sure. Baby Goat, what up? Chad says, looks better than yesterday. Thank you, man. I got here early for you guys today. Tom says 100. Good roll shot right there from Vince. Weedenfield on top of the pile. And he'll roll over two bags. Weedenfield slick side push too far to the right. He's got an opportunity to steal two back. Too far to the right as well. He wanted that left bag. Instead, he hits the pile. Got to clean that up a little bit. Can he get two more points for Vincent, making it 9-4. to four. Baby Goat and Troxel, what up, what up? Jared Smith as well. It's on you right now, man. Vincent Frisch is motivated for his three-peat. I said the one thing, Baby Goat, and, and I might be wrong on this. Baby Goat, if you're still in the chat, let me know. Whenever you won your three championships in Texas, the blind draw, doubles, and singles, did you win any sit-and-goes that weekend? Because I told Vincent, I said, you need a sit-and-go. Uh, 
Uh, Vikings versus Sorcerers, Nate. Enrique, appreciate you. Guys, we're tuning in on the K9 unit broadcast. We got a chance to see Ryan take on uh, Brandon, and then we got to see Ryan Windsor take on Josh Holland. Ryan Windsor, what up, brother? The blind squirrels here today. Blind squirrels here today. I like what I saw out of you. Everyone knows that was watching the K9 broadcast that I picked Ryan Windsor to win the entire A bracket. There's no way I would have picked Josh Holland. No way at all. I've already changed my pick three times in the A bracket. There's a lot of players in the A bracket. So who are your picks for the four brackets? Well, we're not going to worry about bracket A. That's not important. Bracket A is not important. I, no, for all four brackets. <laughs> uh, I, I took Josh Holland out of bracket A. He, he's the defending champ, man. I took you yesterday in doubles. I told you I was going to win today. I did say you that. You didn't believe I, I me? I said that. I mean, it's not that I don't believe you. You didn't believe or no, Craig Irvin didn't believe you. <laughs> Nobody believed me this weekend. Oh, hey, I believe in myself, and that's, <laughs> that's all that matters. That's all that matters, man. But, no, I took Josh Holland. I took Devin Harbaugh. I put, took Tony Smith. And I'm terrible at this chat. Fisher Hamilton. Those are four good picks. I took, Except uh, the first one. I took Devin Harbaugh to win. Or, no, I took, yeah, Devin Harbaugh to win the whole thing. Nice rollback by Vincent. But, uh, I know. I don't know, man. Are you right. taking right. Harbaugh to sweep? Well, he didn't win the blind draw. He's, he's going singles still and doubles. Still sweet. If you win singles and doubles, I still count that as a sweep. Okay. Okay. I, I don't. I, you got to get all three. Vincent's going for all three. I was asking Baby Goat in the chat if he won the uh, if he won any sit and goes in Texas because he won the doubles with you, singles, and then the blind draw with Jordan Camba. I don't know if anybody has won four tournaments in the same weekend. But I do have to say, Ryan, I like what I saw out of you, bro. You look you look like you're ready to back it up. It's all mental. It's all confidence. Yes, sir. It's that one bite of ceviche. Can't believe you don't like it, man. It's so good. I heard yeah. they got breakfast burritos here, though. Yeah. I'm gonna I get, don't know. I'm going to get me a breakfast burrito after this match. 15 to 10. Landon Crabtree says, is that Windsor? Yes, sir. Sanchez Fisher. Craig Heblin. Windsor. Let's go Windsor. Look at the Windsor love. Who said that, Craig? Craig Heblin, yeah. What's up, Craig? Chad Ginsky. Let's go Windsor. Raymond Wilkinson. Windsor needs to partner up with Vince one time. Windsor's got a laundry list of players that want to throw with him, man. I think Windsor should take the five, like just like random number. 592nd ranked player in the world and partner up with him and see how you do. I'd rather have Carey. Baby Goat. <laughs> Baby Goat is the 590s. <laughs> I like what they did uh, last year. I don't remember where it was at. There's a Pros and Joes tournament. I thought that was kind of cool. Makes us, makes us common folk feel I feel like we're included. Missed opportunity there from Wienfeld. Oh, yeah. Vincent did win the blind draw and doubles, didn't he? Mm hmm Chance to do it on your home turf, though. How, how old is Vincent? 72, I think. 72? Yeah, something like that. No, I don't know. 17? You know, you know how old he is? He's got his license. I know that, so he's got to be older than 16. Our ball doesn't know either. Uh, what Hicks and Ryan rock? Or what kicks is Ryan rocking today? Yeezys? Yeezys. Do you have a special jersey you wear for single Sunday? I'm always switching it up yeah. unless I start winning, and then I'm going to keep, keep that the same, same routine. Ooh. There's a missed opportunity off the side of the board. I, I, I wonder if Harbaugh was trying that uh, dirty bag airmail drag for I the was win. Trying the airmail drag. Yesterday. We're calling it the starfish. The drag. Were you trying to take him with you? Well, no, I was actually aiming for my front bag, and 
went too deep. So you got a little bit lucky? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to see if he would admit it. Yeah. Unless he was like, no, I was trying, man. Yeah, we're calling it the starfish because it was five points, right? I mean, yeah, I was going for the airmail. I can't say I was going for the and one drag for the win. Well, of all people to hit that, it would be you. Well, I, I mean, he hit, he, hit like, he hit like seven shots yesterday. He's and one. I have full confidence in our ball. That. You Thanks. know that since Spencer. Good job by Ryan there just to tap in his bag. Smart play. Vincent's first bag's off to the left. Ryan matches him. I can't wait to get my highlight reel going of these first four opens. We've had some great shots so far. I mean, I remember one particularly in East Moline. There was a penguin involved. Do you remember that shot, Ryan? I do remember that shot. It's whenever you're like, I picked the right partner. But so goat. far... The two shots of the year was Tony oh, yeah. Smith's roll through that sliver and Devin Harbaugh's starfish for five for the win. Yep. Those are those are my two votes. The coin, the coin slot and the starfish, heavy favorites. I mean, last year, like I said, in Cincinnati, we had Alex Rawls brought out the Penguin first time on the broadcast. We saw that. And then uh, Brandon Babilia's four-bag airmail. So we got some early contenders already for shot of the year. Josh Sanchez, my dude, Harbaugh's a monster. Michelle says he's 16 years old. Travis McClanahan, Windsor, and Harbaugh are my favorite players. Love how they play the game. Good collect. Social. That's how we start the broadcast, y'all. You guys are spoiled. Shout out to Josh Keck, sending us some bangers. Thanks for carrying me at Spencer's uh, Harbaugh. That was all you, buddy. I forgot you guys played together. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't know. You can tell me that. <laughs> well, I'm, since you're next, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go get a breakfast burrito, so you might have to go down and back twice. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I can use pra extra practice on Yeah, that. yeah. So we're going to switch brackets. Alec Ryan and Devin Harbaugh. I like that. Keck's going to Keck's gonna keep it going today. we got four different brackets. We have plenty to choose from. Ryan, let's see. Do you have your next opponent yet? We'll get either uh, Moses Asueda or Angel Valenzuela. Score there is eight to six. Seventeen to ten, though. Here come the roll bags. Stack three high on the right hand side. One on stick. The top one's on slick. Vince's bag underneath is on stick as well. He's going roll again. Didn't get over the top. Air mail. Yeah. So he, he he thought thought twice. Let's see what he decides to go with. It is the air mail. It's mm. deep. We're gonna get a timeout. Ryan already knows what his four shot's going to be. There's a lot of Ryans these days. There is. I'm going to change my name. That way I can be good at Cornhole, too. What do you think he's going to do, Ryan? Huh? What do you think he's going to do here? I think that he's going to shoot an air mail. I'm not sure what the result will be. I think he took a page out of Devin Harbaugh. He's going for a double, dirty bag push, triple <laughs> backflip. Starfish. Start, no, it would be eight. It would be, oh be a nine-point round. No, no, we'll name it after he hits it. He's going for a high airmail, and it's off the back. Now we're going to get a timeout from Wiedenfeld. He's not going to look all the way. He's just going to take a little. He's going to airmail it for two. I have full confidence in his airmail right here. Smack. Ooh. Ooh. But it does stay on the back corner for a big league three-on-three -three wash. If you guys think you can beat the throws, all you are the pros, all you got to do is throw higher than a three. As long as they throw a two. Frisch is a baseball player first. He doesn't even practice cornhole. So frustrating. <laughs> Blocker off to his own side. Wiedenfeld comes right next to it. Good cut. That's a deep cut, too. That was a roll, not a cut. Yeah, cut around the bag on the right. It's a cut. 
Only rolls over the top. And it's a roll. Ooh. There we go. Nice Good shot. Cut. I wish I had a replay on that. We could argue all day if there's a roll or a cut. Okay, you're probably right, cause especially because that guy just said baseball, so it's it's like a cutter. Mm -hmm. That's what Harbaugh did back in his day, too. He threw a 90-mile-an-hour fastball. No. <laughs> Dude, I never had a night. I was, I was the guy they brought in whenever they, they like the pitcher was walking a bunch of players, and they needed me to come in. They're like, all right, we're tired. <laughs> We're going to let the defense do the work. Wally, bring your 65-mile-per-hour fastball. Just throw strikes. <laughs> I mean, it didn't have to be in the middle of the plate. I would throw strikes. He just didn't have much speed on it or movement. Uh-oh. That's the second time we've seen him do that. Well, actually, it was Vincent the first time and then Ryan that time. That bag on the left is... Yeah, that was Ryan that did oh, that. Oh, Sweden, folks? But yeah. the bag... That we saw previously was Benson. Yeah, okay, my bad. I did this yesterday too. I got the BGs confused after a while. Devin says Harbaugh was a hell of a center fielder. Play center field? Yeah. Who knew that? Devin Mills. Devin and Devin. Nico, what up, bro? Oh, there we go. Nico, we're going to play some Fortnite later. Ooh. There's that airman you're talking about. Vince got one of his own. And he will go oh. board. Smart play. <laughs> but he hit the last one. <laughs> he said, oh, like you wanted him to shoot it? Well, he hit the last one. Well, the game's on the line, though. So? Can't afford to miss. <laughs> Love your thought process, Ryan. I'm jealous of it. 20 to 12. I have kind of changed my game a little bit since he said that in Mesa. I don't like to get scored on, so <laughs> now I kind of go for a little bit more aggressive shots. I feel like you have to be aggressive as an up-and-coming player if you're trying to make that leap. Take some shots he wouldn't normally try. That back off the back kind of gives Wiedenfeld an extra cushion. Airmail clean. Takes a little bit of the front back, but not enough to worry Ooh, about. This could be five. He will Ooh. roll it over. Good adjustment. I thought he was going to airmail it again. He hit the two before. He's got all the shots. All of them. Sponsored by K9. I can't sponsor anybody, but I'll support everybody. Ryan will be at the top of the list, though. If you play aggressive, stay aggressive. Within reason. That one bumped to the left. Unfortunate kick on the Uh oh. We got a chance to cut around now for the win. And he will.
All right, guys, welcome back. We got the next match ready to roll. I got my breakfast burrito. I'm excited. Devin Harbaugh and Alec Ryan, probably the two hottest players of the weekend, getting ready to do battle here. We're going to switch it up, and I believe this is B-bracket action. It is, yeah, B-bracket action. The winner of this one will go to take on Tyler Parent. Tyler with a 24-11 victory over Kenny Tackett. We'll go through the brackets after this one here. Michelle says, what a tease. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Feed went down. What? Is, is the feed back up? It looks like it's back up to me. I said I step away for a second. I didn't even know what happened. My bad, my bad. Jeff Radcliffe coming in the chat with all the brackets for you guys. Oh, I don't know what it is. I haven't, I haven't even opened it up yet. It's back up? Okay, cool. Well, my bad. Sorry to scare you guys. We're ready to go, though. We're underway. <laughs> That's exactly why I'm watching, Kyle. What crazy shot is he going to shoot this time? I imagine they're throwing the same exact bags they threw before. Yep, looks like we got the cannons in the hand of Alec Ryan, and we got the board walkers over there from Devin Harbaugh. Off to the right-hand side, Devin Harbaugh, my pick to win the overall tournament today. Josh Holland was my pick out of the A bracket, and now looking good as he lost to Ryan Windsor. Tony Smith and Fisher Hamilton, my other two picks. <coughs> Let me know in the chat who you guys think is taking a, these uh, brackets down. If you got to go through them, uh, Jeff Reckleff is sharing them in the chat. Got Bella and Kyle Malone next. Bella and Kyle Malone next. Cat just keeps on popping his head in the booth, scaring me. It's not a very pretty face to look at. You guys all have to claim your winners now. 373 of you guys in the Facebook. Let me pull up the YouTube chat. You guys put in the chat who you think is winning the overall tournament, though. Huge upset to start off the live feeds. Vincent Frisch defeating Ryan Wiedenfeld, the overall number one player of the tournament. Number two player in the world right now. Caden Allen sitting at the top on number one, I believe. Wiedenfeld's going to have to climb if he wants to overtake Caden. Justin going with Harbaugh, Wooten, Windsor. You got to pick one, man. We saw yesterday with Harbaugh's Starfish to collect five to win the game. So far, the shot of the weekend. ACL TV is messed up. Rut row. Let me see if I got any error messages. And if, if it's anything I can fix on my end. Reset it. So let me see if, or let me know, Nick, if the ACL TV is back up and running, please. Appreciate the heads up on that. Cornhole Network checking in one of them Ballard brothers. Six rounds in here. We don't have a single score yet. Let me pay attention to this match. Looks to be pretty even. We had back-to-back -back socials, and you didn't say anything, chat? Come on, chat. We got to do better. 
So far, we're six rounds in, or five rounds thrown, and we've had three socials. 12-12, 10-10, 10-10, 12-12, 12 to start this one. It's definitely not going to be a even round here. Landon, no. Uh, Vincent won that last one. Too far to the left. Alex sneaks in there with that shot. Devin's got to get that left or right cut working if he wants to collect big points here. He's going slick side. He does. Goes right at the pile, actually. Goes underneath that bag to go in. Good adjustment. Matt calling Jake Krasinski to win. Did all the live feeds cut out at the end of that Wiedenfeld Vincent Frisch match? Is that, is that what happened? Oh, man, no wonder. My bad, guys. I mean, I didn't even know, but I mean, I guess there's nothing I could have done anyway. I had to reset it, so. And that sucks. It was a great shot. You should have seen it. It was amazing. Best shot I've ever seen in my life. He threw it. It hit, and then it froze. <laughs> he did get that cut. So he hit the cut shot. It bounced off the uh, back on the right, redirected in the hole, avoided taking a wind. Wiedenfeld's bag. Oh, my gosh. Let me, try, let me start over here. He threw the bag. It hit. Kicked off the bag on the right, avoided Wiedenfeld's bag, and went in. Fresh was already halfway down the court. And then that was it. Next up, uh, Bella and Malone on the broadcast court. So Keck is going to be hopping around between brackets. But yeah, Wiedenfeld knew it the second he missed that fourth bag that it was pretty much going to be over. Three to two here, nine rounds in. This could be the next uh, banger possible 47-round match, guys. What do you think? You think we got a classic in the making here? I mean, I, I just don't know if I'm ever going to top Baby Goat and Matt Guy in my career. 47 rounds. To win the championship, I mean, I don't think I'll ever get better than that. I don't care if we go 50 rounds in a tournament. Like, if this match here goes 50 rounds, I, I still don't know if it'll mean more than seeing him win the championship 47 rounds. 5-2. I thought right. Harbaugh was going to dirty bag that. Thought he was going for it. He's Wait, like that. He wanted to. I feel like he knows this is going to be a long one, so. He's playing smart. Mm -hmm. Ten rounds in, only five to two on the score. You would have hit that, though, right, Wally? I would have banged it, dude. I would have put right. it through the backdrop. And I probably would have got done hitting it. I would have been like bang, 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 and then started a TikTok video, segue right into a dance routine. Go down there, get my bags. Throw it again. These role players are making it difficult for players like me by stacking three bags high. I don't have an enemy for that skill, man. Mark Richards checking in. What up, brother? What's Happy up, world Sunday? champ? The champ is here. All right. Let's see what he decides to go with. Backside air mail. Devin is perfect on bar slopes while I wasn't even paying attention. I saw it, man. I saw it. I was unwrapping my burrito, if you must know. Nosy. I can't get all the replays, guys. 
I mean, how many replays of Devin Harbaugh hitting the bar of soap do I need to clip for the weekend? Eight to two, though. Devin Harbaugh off to a six point lead in round 11. Every single one of them. Alec is being too aggressive. Let go. Dude. I mean, I don't know. I think he stay aggressive. That's what got him. He got him here. He likes taking those shots as well. Alec's playing with a whole new level of confidence this year. Hardball's cooking. He's having a girl on the way. That'll do it. You know, you got to get that money now. Girls are expensive. Hardball on a mission. Hardball. Bowie bag. Harbaugh finishes top three in singles this year. I can see it. Going 10.73 so far this match. Went for the collect, unable to get it, goes off the back. Big round for Harbaugh. <laughs> Zach said he's got to be cooking. He's throwing for three now. Shelby says, oh, Windsor, you were on the first to know at Spencer's. You're one of the first to know? I should have been the first. Put, move me the top. Uh, she was motivating me to perform at a higher level, you know, that right. way we could win. It worked. She must have told Noah Almanza before you then, because that's how he hit that shot. <laughs> the, <laughs> the <winner>. Hey, <laughs> I had a perfect assist. You did good. You did good. But that, that was real, an uh, amazing shot. That was an amazing round, period, man. It was unfortunate for the other team. I mean, I know you don't think so because you won. But the, the way that round was shaping up, it just looked like nothing was going to happen. And then when you hit that shot, everything kind of just freed up. And then it set itself up perfectly for the big shot from Noah. That was, that was a good it was finish. A perfect way to end the Crew Cup finals. Oh, yeah, it was awesome. And me and Harbaugh are running it back next year. And Spencer's? The yes announcement? Sir. Oh, man. How could we not? Yeah, true. Good story. Every single time I've been Harbaugh's partner, we've gotten first or second every single time. And we've been partners like six times. You'd think we would partner more. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta mix it up and keep having fun with it, you know. I'll tell you what, Alex is throwing pretty well. He's throwing 9.57. Just Devin is not giving him any opportunities. This is the biggest round that we've seen, biggest opportunity. I think he's gonna play smart and just give up the four. But he's stepping out. He's, he's going for it. Slick side down. Ooh, Harbaugh. Only gives up two, though. 20 to 4. That's going to lower his PPR down from 10.86. Uh, you see Bella anywhere? Hardball's been cooking all weekend. I don't see Bella, so we're probably going to have to take a break after this one. Bella will be taking on Kyle Malone next on the broadcast. I wonder if Hardball's girlfriend, Shelby, back home has, ever has to cook. Because the way Harbaugh is cooking. I see what you did there. All I want to know is where am I going for Thanksgiving? Whoever puts the best spread in the in the chat is where I'm going to go. 
All right, so Alec is going to head over to the loser's bracket. That one started off very, very tight, and then Devin just put his foot down on the gas, finishes it off here in round number 16. Like I said, next up on the broadcast, we're going to get Bella and Kyle Malone. That is, is that Game a deep bracket? Let me check. Bella and Kyle Malone's in my bracket, so A bracket. A bracket? Okay. Yep. All right, so going back to A bracket, guys, commercial break. We'll see you guys here in just a few. everyone welcome back to acl open number four and up in california bella and kyle have finished their down and backs they are ready to go starting things off on the left hand side and we are ready to roll bella said her earbuds are dying so she's just going to go normal 
normal listening. It looks like she's trying to fix it, though. What up, Robbie? What's up, my man? Well, we're going to get started soon, I hope. Is this kind of was a 12-second timeout right at the be beginning? I mean, they gave each other knuckles to start. Now, there they go. Start swearing. Yeah, no <laughs> swearing today. I'm gonna try and do my best. It's too early. It's too early for swear words. Well, you should have been there when I lost. <laughs> Lots of swear words running. Happens to the best of us. Winner of this match will take on either Nick Williams or Danny Borja. This is on the right side of the eight bracket. Uh, Vincent Frisch and Jimmy Human starting up on court number five. <clears throat> Windsor and uh, Angel Valenzuela starting up on court 10. We'll go through the brackets after this match. Mm, a little off the bat. She follows him. I'm surprised she didn't roll that. But. He says nothing wrong with swearing. Brian, you're not allowed. You're not allowed to stand within 10 feet of the commentator's booth anymore. <laughs> that man cannot stop cussing. Mm. Drags a little closer. Maddie King in the building over on the other side there, talking to light skin. Saw Daniel Lambert this weekend, too. Always enjoy coming out west, seeing some people I haven't seen in a long time. I, I kind of hope you get Gavin Hannon and... Uh, uh, Burton on here next. They're playing each other. We yeah, haven't seen who uh, Josh is sending me. I don't see a 99 anywhere yet. He'll probably come over and tell me. That'd be a great. That'd be a great one to be on. That'll be a heck of a matchup. Both both good players. A lot of versatility. Looks like Justin and Gavin are starting on court 35. Mm. I'm probably going to have to depart and go watch that thing. <coughs> oh, there it Just is. a little too clean. Still, the, I thought maybe they would go on the walk down. All right, so we're going to go to bracket D after this. We're getting Cameron Belvin and Jake Trzinski up next. Mm. Like I said last time, Jacob's been throwing good all weekend. Steven says Gavin and Ryan went 34 rounds. Well, who won that one, Steven? Gavin and Deborah Odom played like a 45, 50 minute game today. Really? Yeah, the opening match. Oh, misses the cut. Bell is throwing the BG Wizards. Cobb alone throwing the Typhoons on the other side. Oh, mm. he went for the collect. Aggressive play. Bella able to get the cut that time. Gavin won that one. Nice. Tom Malone's airmail was on point yesterday. Had one round in particular, hit four airmails in a row. He was just done with Fisher Hamilton's blocks. Airmails beat the roll shots if they go in. <laughs> if they go in. Because with the roll shot, you got to change it up and go for that push to get your 12 pack. But very hard to hit four airmails in a row. Tom Malone made it look very easy. It's just something that seems different. You know, you hit that first airmail, you're like, okay. Second one, you're like, okay, there you go. Third one, you're starting to build the hype up now. You're like, okay, <laughs> boom. And the fourth one, man, all the nerves, all the adrenaline just running through your body. You hit that I, one. I lost to Mason Margato. And, uh, very first round, I block. He stacks up behind me. We both make three airmails to wash 10 10. He lost a clean shaven Mason Margato. Yep. I was, I was ahead at one point. I was ahead of Dean Norton. And I lost to him, too. Oh, so you're done, done. I'm done, done. Done, done. Headed to the airport soon. 
Mike Ortiz oh. calling a 21-14 Bella. Let's we'll see. Nice bag. A little shark bait fin sitting right there in front of the hole. Bella runs into it. Nothing falls. Kyle hmm. might try and roll again. He does, and they're stacked three high on the right. Nothing's going to go. Big four on five. four. Boards ran great this week. They were all nice. They were very steady and consistent. I mean, other than the guy cussing behind me for the blind draw Friday, and then the guy making a scene yesterday about not running more blind draws, yeah, it's been a pretty great weekend, man. Oh, it's a great food venue. Was, food was so phenomenal. Too. I think the boards played honest. Live feeds have been nice. Beers are a little liquid gold, a little, uh -huh. little expensive. Oh, Burton sitting over here. Did him and Gavin play already? That was a what bracket again? Dude, that was, that was like five minutes ago. No, he's on 35. He doesn't even know. <laughs> he's like, oh, geez. Yeah, I thought so, too. And about the guy yesterday, like, I get, you know, some people are spending... Well, I mean, I don't know. Twelve, thirteen hundred bucks between hotel room, flight, and everything like that. Like, keep like th they should run stuff until the venue closes. So, like, just keep running stuff. Run, you know, run some stuff. Like, people are done at seven o'clock. Well, at that whatever. point, though, we only had the uh, tier two championship match left, and then that was it. The venue was closing down after we left. No, I, I so I understand. I don't know who he was. I don't recognize him, but. He's just frustrated. You, you gotta them. mingle with the players when you come to these open. Interact, mingle, you know, talk to people you wouldn't normally talk to because there's always a cornhole tournament going around somewhere. Yeah. You just gotta find out what hotel it's gonna be at. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that too. Like, and honestly, they could just announce that. Like, hey, anybody wanna like run something later tonight? Come on up. I'll let you know where it's at. You know. Yeah. Because as, as far as the directors go, like, oh, though, I mean that's. We, we we try really hard to please everybody. It's a long day. It is a long day, and I get that, too. Oh, it's a long, see, like right now, I'm just too tired to switch cameras. He just, uh, he, he just like, handled the messaging pretty inappropriately. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's a better way to go about the conversation. I think yeah, just say, like, hey, difference. man, I spent two grand between airfare, hotel, food to be here, and then you guys are closing at six. Like, can you run something else? Like, again, like. There is, you're correct. There's always a hotel. There's always a venue. There's something going on. As a matter of fact, I can't remember who it was. They came up to me and they said, hey, you know, we're going to run a mini bags tournament at the hotel you want to go. And I said, I'm going to go back to the hotel, take a shower, and kind of see where I stand. I said, but to be honest with you, nine times out of ten, man, once the tournament's over, there's a different, there's like a different breath of air mm -hmm. for me. Like, I, I, I breathe. I'm like, ah, I'm on relaxed mode now. I'm not doing nothing. Yeah. I was exhausted from throwing so bad yesterday. Through 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 great and rounders, and then just had like probably six bad rounds, and couldn't couldn't get it finished. Another one off the side for. I don't know who. I think you get the point on it, right? I don't know whose combats I threw yesterday. Yeah. The fast side's faster than I thought. I like combats. I like it. I threw them decent. For an easily rollable bag, they run. The, you can I still run the hole. I think they're Noah's. Is it? No, huh? Wheatonfields. Ten to three, round eleven yeah. here. High energy, Jacob Krasinski acting all calm and mellow right now. I found a way to pull him down in the. Sit and go earlier this weekend. That's how you do it, man. And that's how you do it. See, there you go. Jeff in the chat says that was at our hotel in Illinois. Open number three. We were there. We were all in the lobby just playing. There's always hotel cornhole going on. Yep. Somebody always brings boards. There's always a place to go. You can throw some mini bags and really mess yourself up for the next day if you want. I actually don't. I don't feel like mini bags messes me up when I throw them. Nice. That's a great shot. I feel like my my perfect practice routine, though, if I'm going to bring my best game, is get to the venue, 
throw carpet bags to start. Yep. And then pick up my bags and throw nothing but airmails for a little bit. And then start working on my slides, blocks, and pushes. I like to throw a stick to your bag, get a line down before yeah. you move into a slow, faster one. Harbaugh did win his match, yes, sir. You got Dean Norton sitting next to me, beat me, and then I don't think he's winning it. Uh-oh. You're like a virus, man. Once you, uh, no kidding. Once they play you, they. they no, take he over. won. I think he won his next couple, but he lost a he lost a Burton. Yeah, we're getting pretty deep in the brackets. We'll go through the brackets here in a little bit. Matter of fact, let me get these ready to go through. We'll let Robbie take over. Robbie's still in charge. Going. Burton got you, and then he's still going. Yeah. Robbie's in charge of talking to you guys while I get these brackets ready. Oh, Bella with a great roll bag. Nice. Over in bracket A, uh, Vincent Frisch up 9-6 yeah, to six over six Jimmy Unions. He's going for the three-peat. I think. Ooh. This airmail off the bag. She's going to probably roll it. Yeah, roll it, gets them all. She's got a chance for 12-9. Hardball up 19-0 over Tyler Ooh. Parrott. She hangs on the edge and he's not moving. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to fall. Is it a 10 9? He sweeps it for her so she can see. It's 10 9. 10 9? Yeah. Oh. oh, no. That is not what I heard, Bella. That's my bad. Kyle generously swept it even for her so she could see. Yeah, she's a little off to the right. Probably just glide in behind, beside that. Yeah. Ooh. You might want to sit in front of the hole. Nope, he goes in. Yeah, they do <laughs> the go. They do collect go. ever. There it is, nice, nice little cutter on the right edge. Good, oh. collect, good round from Bella. Oh, he was top a little short. short. Yeah. You got a little worried about throwing it off the back or something crazy there, and shorted it. Yeah, sometimes you get a little too relaxed when you realize all you got to do is go normal shot and go in. Yeah, I forget who it was. Said, so, you know, they they uh, went, moved to slick side every time on their fourth bag, and I started doing that a lot. <clears throat> then if you do short it a little bit, as long as you're not too aggressive, you're fine. Harbaugh finishes off beautiful, that one, 24 Beautiful to level nothing. one diamond blocker there. He goes right next to it, side by side. Good roll. I think he can collect that pretty easy. He's going up. Oh, Clean yeah. hit, backside, nice. That was a heck of a shot. called it. He knew it was coming. Kyle's airmail's been on all weekend, 17 to 6. <laughs> Bell just looks defeated right away after that shot. Pushes closer. A little, little nudge. Nope, he's going airmail. <laughs> I should have known. Puts her closer. Another roll bag probably coming. Nope, she's airmail dragon. <sighs> 12 7 5. And Burton Jr. is up 7 nothing. Ooh, on Gavin. That's what chat says. Wow. She's off to the left. This should be it. Cameron Belton making her way to the broadcast court. She'll be up next. 
Awesome. Pulls her in, but he can get his two. Nineteen to eleven. Take Going through some of these scores in bracket A, Vincent Frisch up twelve to eight over Jimmy Humans. Ryan Windsor fourteen to eight over Angel Valenzuela. Other side of the bracket, Nick Williams up nine to three over Danny Borja. And then Kyle Malone here, nineteen to eleven over Isabella. Over in the B bracket, Devin Harbaugh advances over Tyler Parent. 24 to zero, he's gonna take on Scott Swenson. Mm, Other side of that bracket, push. Corey Ballard, two to five. McGuire Shepard in the lead there. Justin Rick up 18-16 over Kevin Nellis. Winner of that one will get Josh Hill. Bracket C, Justin Burton Jr. up nine nothing over Gavin Hammond. Tony Smith down nine to four to Stanley Lovett. Other side of that bracket, Matt Allen loses to Eddie Gernislip, 23-4. Young Trin up 2-0 over Austin Renard. And then in bracket D, Cameron Belvin and Jake Trzinski will be up next. Winner of that one will play either Michaela Calvi or Dylan Turpin. How about Michaela Calvi hanging with Dylan Turpin right now, 13-11. to 11. Not too bad for a 13-year-old, uh, 15-year-old, can't remember. Fisher Hamilton getting ready to take on Mark Lopez, and then Ty Morris and Gavin Cano getting ready to start as well. You got Clint, Clint McJunkin and Jody Lim over here discussing how to be bad at Cornwall on the singles day. Old strategy, Cotton. Mm -hmm. That's a great little jump, but bunch up. Where's Clint from? Clint is from Wyoming, Rock Springs, Wyoming. Oh, wow. Says he has a hard time. There's a handful of good players, but not enough to. Ooh, that's a great bag. He pretty much knew that one was falling off the back anyway. Oh, and Bella nine, can't man. finish. <laughs> great shot All to right, get back get into it. Unable to get the payday, though. Let's take a look at the shot again. Amazing how you make the tough ones sometimes and the easy ones get away from them. Almost got the bar of soap and the two for one as they both drip back in. And then misses the final shot to collect the points, making it 20 to 11. I see old light skin must be still in over there. He's eating food while he's walking back and forth. He's like eating a breakfast burrito while throwing. Justin Burton Jr. up now 16 to nothing. Jake Trzinski beat Clinton oh, Chunk in 20 to five. Man right now it's just on point. He's just going to run this in for the win. I guess wants to double check, make sure she has a bag left. And she yep. does. He's going to run them both in, I would suspect. Yeah. Now she's got to drag it. She's going to take a step out to get a different angle. Oh, oh my gosh. I, I don't think it's going to fall. I think it's hung up. It looks like it stopped moving. That's going to do it. Kyle Malone is going to take this one down. What an attempt there. For hey, good shot by Bella. I mean, she wow. has some good shots, just unable to capitalize. She had a couple airmail drags, some good rolls, some good pushes, and yep. Kyle just slow. Going to bring on uh, Jake Krasinski and Cameron Belvin. Death by a thousand cuts from Kyle there. Yes, sir. All right, see you guys in just a few. They're going to go down and back a couple times, and we'll get started. Be right back.
What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Upland, California, ACL Open number four. We are ready to rock and roll here with Jake Krasinski and Cameron Belvin. Should be a pretty good one here. This is still on the winner's side of what bracket was this? I just had it in front of me. I lost it. This is your D bracket. Winner of this match will take on either Michaela Calvi or Dylan Turpin. Dylan Turpin up 19 to 12 over Michaela. Looks like they're still going down and backs. Gives you guys a little bit of time if you're interested to sign up for the 2022 National College Cornhole Championships. That's going to be uh, December, January 2nd in Myrtle Beach. Registrations are now live. All undergraduate college students are eligible to compete. And the info can be found at iplaycornhole.com slash college. Got Jake Trzinski is going to be throwing the contraband combats. And on the other side, Cameron Belvin will be throwing the AAR blitz bags. we go. Spin has happened. Trzinski's going to win the spin. And we are underway. First shot from Trzinski is off to the side and Cameron's off to the other side. Going to require a little bit of work from both players to get those bags back in. I think if Jake gets his on the right, Cameron's going to take hers on the left with it. So that's that's the play right there and avoid it. He might be wedged up perfectly. And now they're even wedged up more. Let's see if Cameron wants to even shoot this bag. I think she should just go right at the pile. Oh, she went airmail and it gets hung up. That's going to be a six spot for Jake Krasinski. Wow. Lost the cornhole TV again? I don't know what is going on with that. Let me get that back, though. Appreciate the heads up, Mish. <clears throat> Should be back up and running now. I don't know why I gotta keep resetting it. It's above my pay grade. I don't know. I don't know the answers. Oh man, got people talking behind me about tequila shots. I'm good on that. I'm good on that. I know Wooten said he went one and two in singles today. One and two in doubles yesterday. Rough weekend for him. Vincent Frisch finishes off Jimmy Humans 21 to 10. Miami Man's on a mission. He's going to get Ryan Windsor next. That'd be a pretty good match for the broadcast court. Kyle Malone over on the other side. We'll take on either Nick Williams or Danny Borja. That's 11 9 there. Nick in the lead. Hardball's next opponent will be Scott Swenson. Corey Ballard up 16-13 over McGuire Shepard. Justin Burton Jr. was able to finish off Gavin. Stanley Lovett has Tony Smith down 20-6. to six. Eddie Grindersleeve waiting for either Young Trin or Austin Renard. 15-2 there, Young in the lead. Dylan Turpin finishes off Michaela Calvi. Good run for her, though. 23-18 in that match. It's a strong showing for her. 
Christian Hamilton up 2-0 over Mark Lopez and Ty Morris 2-0 over Gavin Kanu. Fourth back stops just a little bit short. Nick, I'm with you, buddy. I want to see that one. Bring on Vincent Frisch and Ryan Windsor. I'm all about that. Off the side. Yeah. Should we just run run it for two here, I think. There's Chris Luke. I was wondering where Windsor's uh, biggest fan was at. ACL TV just keeps going back out. I don't understand it. We uh pl played Cameron the other night. What are these blitz what are these blitz bags? These are the AAR blitz bags. New bag uh, this season. Yeah, they felt pretty good. AAR's got a strong squad this year. She, she was thrown with Brevin. He threw him pretty well, too. We got fortunate enough. I was playing with Burton. We got fortunate enough to win that one. Ooh, rolls off the bat. I'd say Burton's dominating right now. Yeah, he's on one today. Like he's throwing the sorcerers today. And he's throwing them well. His airmail game is on point too. I don't know about as much on point as Kyle Malone's is right now, but pretty close. Twelve seven five. Lead change, Cameron takes the lead here. Cameron puts that level one blocker. She loves that blocker with those blitz guys. It works, just a little something extra to throw Jake off his game. Yep. She had a good line going. Oh, Jacob throws a great roll bag. I imagine both those two bags are gonna go. Yes. Great collect there from Cameron. She'll finish off her 12 pack. Jake's going to get a 10. That's got a, two more points, getting Cameron to double digits now. Cameron was the tier two champion yesterday. Her and D Boy took down the championship. Who'd she throw at? Oh, I guess I didn't get that replay. My bad. Either with uh, D-Boy, Daniel Martinez. Mm. Sparky got his championship yesterday, too. We, Yeah, we made tier one, and I did not throw well. We had a chance. We were uh, we were ahead, uh, I think, 16-11 or something on Voyeur and Holland, and I missed a step out. I missed a lot of step outs this weekend. So. James threw great. Cameron's going to run this one in, yeah. Another two coming her way. Cameron's run very well. Let's take She's a look a good at the PPRs here. Let's see. She's throwing 10.63. I feel like uh, I had a conversation with somebody. Nothing against Cheyenne. I just feel like the women's division is going to shift this year. I'm be betting on Samantha Finley or Cameron Belvin this year. I'm leaning towards Samantha Finley right now. And Cameron Belvin definitely throwing very, very well. I just want to see if she can keep throwing a lot this year. I feel like the more she throws, the better she is. Jacob might have to go get that. He's either got to roll it or air mail drag it, I think. I don't think it's falling. Oh, he, oh, he won't be able to get it. He's going to give it up six. He's going to do that deep little cutter and try to drag it in that way instead of air milling it. 18 to seven now. Cameron, very impressive so far here. Yep. I think Jacob's got to put a blocker that 
and get her out of her game. Again. Level two, maybe. Again, Level Dylan one. Turpin will get the winner of this one. Oh, there she drifts off to the right. I think he's probably going to bully it just a smidge and go in. He just goes in. I don't think it's collectible. There he touches it. There he is. Good around there for Jake to get things going again. Oh, we got some awkward knuckles. Let's go. You know I love my awkward knuckles replay. Man. I'm entitled to one awkward knuckles replay a day. Lead bag change. You got lead, lead bag change. We'll see what happens here. He's just going to run it and get his line going. I see Wally's got one of those fancy fold-out phones that turns into an iPad, basically. Yeah, talking to Trey, trying to get the ACL TV up and running. Mm. She's on the back, and you might drip in. Those blitz bags are pretty hole-friendly. They fall in pretty easy. I think if she goes in, ooh, she pins herself. Team 13. Yep, Jake, we're just going to keep running the hole and see what happens here, yeah, I guess. Got to go on a heater. Mm, stack behind her, maybe? Yeah. This probably sets her up for air. No, Jacob's going to roll, probably. Yeah, there's one. Boom, what a drag. That was a beauty. Slick push. Is he going to get them both? Nope. Rolls it. Puts himself a little closer. Wow. Cameron. Backside airman. That was a great shot. That's a bunch of great shots. Wally's managing everything over here. He's flipping buttons, replaying, watching comments. Oh, I'm trying, watching to, the bracket. trying to make sure all the feeds are working. We got, did they tell you I was the next game? You know, who you got? Scott Swanson. 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 Samsonite? Swanson? We got Swinkin? Harbaugh with the weirdest bags that I've ever thrown in my life. I tried. We partnered the other day. And the weirdest fill, the most floppy bag. Like, I couldn't do anything. I, made, I, would, I forced I him to switch. This. I'd probably love this. Oh, my it's God. Like, I would stay slick side all day you on this. Gotta, if you can get the grip on them, you'll be fine. If you can't get the grip, you're I couldn't get the grip at all. I would try to squeeze them, and the beads just fell out of my hands as I was throwing them every time. Just confused as to why the ACLT ooh, mm. stops just a little bit short. Mm. I'm just confused as to why the settings keep on kicking out ACL TV and then it shows on YouTube. Oh, there we go. This is why. I'm an idiot. Although this is a pretty good gig. Just drink <laughs> drink beer and talk all day, Wally. Come on, no buddy. Me, man. I'm a healthy guy now. I don't know. You haven't drank for a long time. No, You've been working out. Cancun. We got uh, 210 people viewing on YouTube and uh, 590 mm. viewing on Facebook. Appreciate you guys all tuning half in. half in. Oh, and he kicks over the right. That half in helped her a lot right there. Oh, she runs back. Make sure that you guys do hit that thumbs up button. Let us know that you're out there. Help the... Viewers find us in the future. Cameron Belvin trying to finish this one off, but I think he's just going to go in. I don't think he can get that. Jake's on a little bit of a heater. Yeah, he really started running the hole hard. I, I don't think he should chase that. He sees if a little cut can get it, but it it didn't. And she leaves it alone too. Could we get a Justin Burton Jr. and Eddie Grindersleeve matchup? Stay tuned, man. I think they're close to making that happen. I've been hearing magical things about Devin's airmail drag and one. I didn't even see it yet. Oh, yeah, we called the starfish. <laughs> Got five points out of it to win the game. It was basically a stacked pancake on top of the hole. 
Devin through the airmail, hit his bag perfectly, dragging mm -hmm. it in, and then in the meantime, and wanting off the back. That could set up to get pretty easy, too. I don't know if he's going to go in or side by side. No, nope, he just goes in and bullies. I thought he might hang in the hole to try to get an extra two out of this thing if he could, but he didn't take his two and run. Okay, I'm able to finish off that fourth bag. 12 on 10 on the round, 18 to 17 the score now. Yeah, that lead bag change was significant in this match. Justin Burton Jr. will now take on Stanley Lovett on court 15. Stanley Lovett 21 to seven over Tony Smith, taking my pick of the D bracket out. Eddie Greensleeve starting up on court 16 against Young Trin. PPR so far in this match, Trzinski throwing a 10.13, Cameron throwing a 10.2. Good back block there. Probably a roll back, I'm guessing. Yeah. No, double block. That air mill is mm. way too deep. Did air mill drag this for the W, I think, right? Yeah, he might be thinking roll. It's kind of got a weird angle here. Oh, he's going up top, OK. Yeah. I don't know why he stepped out to go for that air mill, though. She goes in 7-5, gets two. Nope, she's off the back. She just tried to go board there. Mm. You think? I think so. Held on to it a little bit too long, and there she goes. Meeshed right off the back, you know. Happens to the best of us. Jacob goes off to the right just a smidge. That is not collectible unless you can, no. She bullies it, make sure. It's a whole runner now. Nope, she goes out too there. Too far to the right, another missed opportunity. I think he's just gonna run it in, try to leave her alone. Yeah, good, good shot. That was a Missed opportunity for sure. 18, 18, 18 rounds in. You see Vincent Frisch running through the court. My man is ready to play. He's out there to the left just a smidge. That's collectible. Oh, she backs him up. I think he's going to step out and get him ball. Run through him. Staying sticky side, back Ooh. block. Hmm. Interesting. Camera will block that as well. She doesn't want to take the first shot. It's a long roll. I don't think a roll is possible. I think he's going to air mill. This air mill. Yep. Hits it clean, big hit. Great shot. Does bring Cameron a little bit closer there. I think Cameron's got a little bit more of a cushion now for her air mill. Just doesn't want to go long on it. Hmm. That's an interesting decision there. What's the reason she's doing that? And she's forcing Jake to go up top again. If Jake misses off the back and she's able to take her bag without taking his, she'll get the three points she needs for the win. That's a smart block from Cameron. And she did it right away without even thinking. That's you, you got to play a lot of cornhole to make that choice that quick, right? Yeah, I mean that, that's a situation exactly. where you know she she knew she was back blocking that one. She wants to get him to miss one deep off the back of the board. Well, Jake doesn't need to do anything special here. He could just go board. Yeah, because select two points is fine. Is she, yeah. He oh, will he go up top him. again. Forces her to clean air mail. Situation here, she can go board, or she can go air mail to collect two. She's going to probably board, I'm guessing. She does not like shooting the air mail. She's going to time out here. <laughs> she, she's going to. I don't know if I hit the replay button. Let's take a look if I did. I think I did. Shot Jacob. I think she's probably, uh, and I don't want to try to guess my crystal ball says she's bored in this. Trying to fight, live to fight another round. I'm shooting this if I'm her. 
Mm. I'm shooting this. I'm trying to take the two. Mm. Or I'm trying. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. That's her. She's throwing blue bags. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm going board here. I'm giving up two. Yeah, you're boarding here. I think it. She Ooh, went for it. For game. Right? Nope, three. Yeah, that'll be three. That'll be game. 21 yeah, to 18. Game. Yeah. For a second, I thought she was throwing red bags, and I was like, I'm dragging mine to get two. But no. after reviewing my idiot <laughs> brain, I realized I was she wrong. Thought if she, oh, I see, I see. She thought if she just laid up, his was going to fall. Yeah. I, I didn't even think about that. Well, we're getting uh, Devin Harbaugh back here on the main broadcast court. Krasinski will advance. He's going to take on Dylan Turpin next in D bracket. We'll take a commercial break. We'll be right back. Welcome back, ACL Nation, Upland, California, the Upland Sports Arena. We are getting back to the A bracket with Scott Swenson. 
Rocking the Dragon Bags jersey is going to take on Devin Harbaugh, the man on the mission to go to uh, what Ryan Windsor would call the sweep. Doesn't give credit to Vincent Frisch on his blind draw win. But first step, Scott Swenson. Scott throwing vipers today. As usual, Devin sticking with the boardwalkers. De Devin and I partnered up in the sit and go, and I tried one match with those boardwalkers. And <laughs> they Done are the, so. They are the most different bags. Like, he loves them. He throws them great. I think I would love like him. Flimsy in the hand. Oh, oh, there we go. We're definitely, we're definitely replaying that awkward knuckles. We're definitely replaying that one. That's probably one of the most awkward knuckles we've had all weekend. Yep. Played against uh, Swenson and seniors. He said he had some coffee and stuff in the morning and he had the jitters <laughs> and couldn't do anything. And I played him yesterday in doubles and I think we washed out at nine three each. He, as usual, slick bag, dripped it in every time. I'm sorry, this is B bracket. I'm tripping. I'm Maybe tripping. It's a little blocker up there. All right, so here in the B bracket, uh, Devin and Scott over here on the left-hand side. Winner of this one mm. will play the winner Devin's of gonna... Corey Ballard and Josh Hill over on the other side. That match is on hold right now. Don't think we'll see that one on the broadcast, mm. though. Bullies Alex himself Ryan a little. taking on Anthony Brunson, 4-4. Four four. Winner of that one will get Justin Rich. Dwayne Mathis on the bottom, one nothing over McGuire Shepard. Nate Boyer up 18 to two over Steve Samuels, and then uh, Tyler Parent will play the winner of Brennan Ballard and Kevin Nellis. Brennan up 15 to nine there. Devin gets another 12-10. Four nothing start. Mm, just drifts a little left. This is the line. Two point opportunity here. Yeah. Swenson runs the hole. Oh, Devin's going to try to manufacture those bags. Hmm. I think probably a backup block coming. Nope. Tried to roll it. Mm -hmm. Probably going to be a four point swing here. It's going to wash this thing out. Six points. 10, 10 on six. That's probably the lowest round I've seen Devin throw all weekend. Mm -hmm. I thought he was going to back up block and <clears throat> tried to roll and jumped out left on him. Monster He's changing Mom his says music. Jacob is going to smoke Turpin. Ooh, I don't know about that one, man. I think you're sleeping on Dylan Turpin if you think that's going to be a blowout. I actually think it's going to be a really good match. Trzinski and Turpin both strong, strong throwers. That match is starting up on court number six, so we'll keep you posted. Devin's out to the right. Super collectible, actually. Swenson almost collects him right on his own, yeah. Okay, so next up on the broadcast court, we are going to get partners going against each other, Gavin Cano and Fisher Hamilton. And that's out to the left. That's dead in the water. Bumps it for extra measure. Scott Swenson's one of these underrated players that nobody really knows. You see him at some cornhole tournaments, you know, on his scooter, rolling around with his cooler on there. He's always very, very uh, friendly guy. You know, you'd be able to go have a conversation with any time. You don't expect him to be as good a shot as he is. He's got a good hole running game. Made a couple of airmail drags against me yesterday to wash out a couple rounds. This will be a huge win for him to get to the king seat in bracket, uh, I already forgot, B? Bracket B. Oh, this is the hell game for bracket B? No, it's to get to it. Oh, to get to it, yeah. Yeah, other side we got Josh Hill and Corey Ballard. Devin's behind. Let's see, I think he's going to try try to air Mel Dreg because he's got the lead by two. I'll say, yeah. I haven't seen anything that would tell me Devin Harbaugh is just going to go in there for the wash. Yeah, for sure. Devin Harbaugh has been very aggressive all weekend and pretty much hitting everything he wants to go for. Yeah, that's a beautiful shot. I tried to muster up my inner 
Anthony A on and bang when he <laughs> made it, but I just couldn't get there. Uh, Dallas is just curious. So when when are you supposed to give knuckles and when do you not give knuckles? Just making sure I don't give awkward knuckles. As long as you're on the same page with your opponent, you shouldn't really have too many awkward knuckles pop up. But that's a running debate in the cornhole world. I think you only give 12, 12 on 12, maybe a good shot knuckles. Other than that, just pretty much save it till the end of the game, in my opinion. Always give knuckles to start. Good luck, good luck. Give knuckles when the tournament's over. Good job, good job. And then any nice shot or good round in between. That's yeah. what I would do. Yeah, there's a few wow factors, but sometimes people try to use it to distract you. Yeah, four on four knuckles, nah, nah. Six on two knuckles, nah. Twelve on six, nah. There's a couple times where I'll like look over to my opponent if they're struggling, and I'm, I'm oh, yeah. winning pretty handily. I'll be like, come on, let's get going. And I'll give them knuckles there. But that's different. Yeah, sometimes you get somebody pretty good, and after a couple rounds of that, they try to give you knuckles. They try to bring it back, break your focus a little. Yeah, Damon Dennis will kill you with kindness. Yep. He's good about giving knuckles in the middle of a match when you're kind of trying to refocus. Bernie still thinks he does it on purpose. Mo most games I like to be friendly and have a good time and ch chat people up, but when he gets when he gets pretty serious, I don't I don't actually talk too much and I think most people don't. Okay, it looks like uh, headphones, but. looks like we are going to get that match on court 2 underway. Vincent Frisch will take on Ryan Windsor over there. I'll do my best mm. to commentate the score on that one, but I gotta give Josh Keck credit. He's getting some new faces on the live feed. I like it. Ooh. I think he's gonna probably back block in here. Oh, he tried. I think he just ended up right, but Devin's De gonna step yeah, up. Yeah, Devin's got the lane. Slick side yeah, collect for three. Slick at least get three. I'll we'll get two. It'll kick to the left. But he's All in right, position at least four. Good aim out there. Damage control. Yep. Uh, Tom, there's four brackets today. Zach Clark, we need some Texas boys on his live feed. Oh, man. You Texas, I, I'm not going to lie. You Texas fans in the chat, you guys are on point. Always supporting your people. I love it. We are getting some Texas boys. Well, certainly Burton is a fun one to watch. I, got, I was fortunate enough to have him in the blind draw. Yeah, we're getting uh, Gavin Cano next. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure if Justin Burton Jr. and Eddie win their next match, we'll get those guys on the live feed as well. That'll be for the keen seed of the bracket, so we should see that one. Devin drifts out a little left. That was a rare miss from him. He's out there again. He's building a little wall. Devin's my pick to win the overall tournament today. They were my pick to win doubles yesterday. Made me look good. Mm, finds a way to roll it. I had uh, Josh Holland coming out of the A bracket. Push for four. All right. Devin here out of the B bracket. Tony Smith out of C and Fisher Hamilton out of D. I still got two players Tony trucking Smith's along still on the C. Yeah. He, he lost. I thought he did. Yeah. He, so Eddie Grindersleep does win his match. Oh man, twenty-one nothing over Young. And Justin Burton Jr. up sixteen to four over Stanley Lovett. But yeah, Tony Smith lost to Stanley Love at 21 to 7. Scott Swenson not going away here either. 12 to 8. Oh, first shot off to the right hand side. Should be a couple points for Devin. Yep. When you're playing against a pro of Devin's caliber, some of the elite of elites, mm. and you create that first bag miss, giving them all the confidence in the world they're getting out of this round with two points. You could see it right after that first miss, the pressure. Devin goes to the right, too, which is going to take a cut bag to pull it closer, which has a no. And the pressure to finish off him. your round is very stressful. Swens and pulls it for him. It's on sticky side, but more than likely going to go in the next couple shots. This shot. There yep. it goes right there. Guy got lucky, caught enough of that. It's hole. a different fill. They're very roll like friendly. Those bags that Devin has are very roll friendly. Very hole friendly and roll friendly. <laughs> good, good save, good save. 
Scott talking to himself on the way back down after giving up five points. Got to get back into this one, 17 to eight. Devin's not going to give you too many opportunities, that's for sure. He's going to run the whole game for Scott to try to do something against him to get back in it, which doesn't happen. for at least two. one more round. Yep. I think Mout is when you get a Devin, a, some of these guys, like once they get that lead bag and get ahead, they just run the hole on you. Make you try to figure something else out. Music going in the background, I hear finally. It was off for most of the morning. Let you really stew in your own mind if you're missing. <laughs> no music. Yeah, silence is deadly sometimes in Cornwall. Yeah. Mm. Some people are pushing for the no headphones oh. in the Cornhole world. Devin goes for the finish and just gets a little aggressive and gets it, <laughs> gets a point out of it anyways. I don't know Swenson's if I. Swenson's just in his own mind a little bit right now. I don't know if I want to see the world without headphones in Cornwall. I, I, I like the players being able to get comfortable and get in their own little groove. I need to try it. <coughs> I, I understand to. doing away with it for sports betting and stuff like that. <coughs> but. Well, I mean, I what? They just think it's an advantage? Well, they're, they're, you know, if you could do live betting and in-game betting. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. You didn't want to have anyone say, hey, I'm about to place a 1000 bucks. I need to hit an airmail or something. You know, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. know what they're going to do, but, of course. About to place a 1000 bucks for you to lose five points this next round. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to, you don't want to, you know, interfere with the game in any way. Interesting. That is the next level. I mean, that's where, you know, everything's headed. But that one's probably going to come back. I don't think he needs to do much. Oh, he goes and it. gets it anyway. So it wasn't worth the risk to not try it. Yeah, for sure. 80. Last point, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's about to cut through the court over here. Bella telling Fisher to come over there yeah, and sit next cut. to Gavin, and Gavin's like, no, that's my enemy. <laughs> yep, she's encouraging trouble right there. I can see it. <laughs> Whole running contest here. Let's go. Oh, he's gonna have to go get that one too. That one is a little deeper. So you can go in with this normal shot. Doesn't have to air mill it yet. Nope, don't have to next down. Next bag. Yeah, he's got to get them both. Which is no, no, normal air mill. Oh, a little deep. That'll get hung up. That was a situation where I think they actually might have came back, but. Now we'll never know. Well, and you can't risk it. Yeah, let's take a look at the brackets and see where we're at here. Gavin and Fisher are already on the court. So, or at least in the bleachers across the way. So let's take a look and see where we stand here. We got uh, Vincent Frisch on court number two against Ryan Windsor. The score there is five to four. Other side of that bracket, Danny Borja getting ready to start up against Kaya Malone on court number five. Losers bracket, Ryan Wiedenfeld waiting for Moses Zasueda and Nick Williams. Revan Valdivia on the other side, taking on Caleb Franklin. Bracket B with that win, Devin Harbaugh advances to the Kings seat match where he's going to take on either Josh Hill or Corey Ballard. Scott Swenson heads over to the losers bracket. Alec Ryan and Justin getting ready to start up. Dwayne and McGuire Shepard. 15-14 there, Steve Samuels. 
Losing to Nate Voyer. Nate's going to play either Tyler or Brennan Ballard. Bracket C. It is set, guys. Justin Burton Jr. and Eddie Grindersleeve ready to do battle for the king seat in bracket C. See if we can get that match on the broadcast next. Stanley Lovett and Young head over to the loser side. Gavin Hammond waiting for Hunter Thorne or Tony Smith. Five to two over there. Noah Velez down six to 13 to Matt Allen. Winner gets Dean Norton. And then here's the match we're about to see. Gavin Cano and Fisher Hamilton. Winner of this one will take on either Dylan Turpin or Jake Trzinski, 9-4 over there on court number six. Cameron Belvin, 4-1 over Felix Vargas. Timothy Felix, 2-0 over at Michaela Calvi. Other side of the bracket, Daniel Martinez taking on Bill Hadley, 9-3. Their winner gets Mark Lopez. Ty Morris, 11-4 over Adrian Brunson, 15-4 over Adrian Brunson on court number 17. What's up, buddy? All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go sign this. Jimmy, Jimmy, you're in charge. Talk to the peoples. All right, sounds good. Jimmy Human's in the booth. I am in charge now. I'm not on the controls though, so no camera changes, sorry. Looks like both players here throwing BGs. I believe. Boards are crooked in the screen. Yeah, the boards keep moving. So players adjust the boards accordingly. But the camera doesn't adjust. So if you want to come here and adjust the camera, that's all you guys. I would just be happy that I'm seeing the boards, to be honest. <laughs> All right, looks like these bags are live now. I believe both bags are wizards. Or sorry, uh, one mercenary, one wizard. Who do you guys like in this match? You like Gavin or Fisher? I think it's going to be close either way. I don't think there's going to be a blowout. Wally's back. Uh, kind of, but not really. So the King Seat game for advance, you can't. Play Justin Burton Jr.? Huh? Getting Justin Burton Jr. and Eddie next. Okay, we still got a while. I mean, see. Which one? Huh? Which bracket? Advanced. Oh, advanced. No, I think we stay open. I don't think we'll go advanced. But just go ahead and win it, though. Just go ahead and win it. Send me a picture. Get another trophy today. Yes, sir. Hey, shout out. Well, I'll give you a shout out. All right, what's up, Jimmy? I'm back. What's going on? Man, the chat was like, you got to get me You gotta get me Texas boys. I need Texas boys. I haven't seen a Texas boy. <laughs> Gavin Cano up here right now. Cano, I'm sorry, Cano. Up here right now, and they're not happy. So I said, hey, Josh. I gotta shut my chat up, man. Let's get Justin Burton Jr. and Eddie Grinnell sleep next. He said, "All right, bet." So, bet. Here we go. Couple fishes in the chat. People rooting for Fisher. All right. All I know is we better have a whole bunch of likes and a whole bunch of shares coming up with all these Texas boys going on. So we got a lot of Fisher in the chat. You said? Yeah, a couple fish emojis. Who is commendation? I assume that meant commentating. It's Jimmy Humans. 
So Vincent Frisch uh, beat you. How is he throwing in that match? Because he is determined, in my opinion. Where's it? At? Bracket a 18 to four over Ryan Windsor to get to the king seat right now. Got Kyle Malone and Danny on the other side. Who are you waiting on, Jimmy? I am out. You're out. Who got you? Uh, Vincent Frisch. On the loser side. Uh, Caleb Franklin. Okay. Uh, board three is on a mound, but only for the back of the board. Oh, no. So going one way, it's uh, three inches higher than going the other way. So one way is really sticky, and the other way is, like, probably fast. That's interesting. Yeah. So uh, done by the elements. I, I told uh, Josh Keck, and he took it out, so no yeah. one else has any issues with it. Yeah, that happened to me in uh, Sacramento. There was those yeah, – they had those tiles – I don't know if you were in Sacramento last year? Sorry. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, wait, no, that was the one I didn't go to. Oh, yeah, they <laughs> had, they had like, the – it's kind of like the VersaCourt, but they're bigger tiles. Okay. And they're, like, square tiles, probably 12 by 12 or whatever. And I don't know if there was a drain or something underneath that court that I was at. You know, I was just like, man, I am throwing the same. I feel like I'm throwing the same. I'm not doing anything wrong. My bag was just continuously kicking as I was throwing against the wall to the right. Okay. And he was scoring on me every time on that end. So then I got done and went got my little laser. And sure enough, man, I shot the laser, and it was hitting the person probably three courts over in the chest. So that tells me it was that far off balance. Wow. And I was mad because I was stroking. I was feeling, feeling pretty good about it. Yeah, I mean. But uh, no dice, man. Two inches make a difference, you know what, what I mean? Like, I'm going one way, I'm hitting air mills. So going the other way, I'm short by six inches. Or really, four. Yeah. I mean, everyone – can't I was going to say, I feel like that needs wow. raked. I think they're all going to fall. Yeah, I, say, I felt like it was already in the hole being held up by that one bag before he threw that final shot. So Sometimes a lot of people don't like messing with that mid-round, but I'm not a fan of it, to be honest. The fish are trying to cheat. I like it. <laughs> He went back and corrected it. Two inches does make a difference. I agree. Dave Smith knows. I agree. Sometimes it's uh, the difference between happiness and not happiness. Just saying. Yeah, and I was not happy. <laughs> but, I mean, that's the thing, though. Some of these players, and I, and I was one of them, and uh, you go to a court and something just doesn't feel right, and you, you just kind of bite your tongue. And then afterwards, you complain about it. Does you no good. You're already out of the tournament. You got to make sure that you have everything set up the way you want it to. Yeah, that's fair. And if there's any situations that come across during the match and you don't want to be that guy, you know, you don't want to be that guy, that could cost you, man. Nah, I'll be that guy. I'm, I'm not afraid. Be that guy. You know, I don't mind. I, got, I started packing a tape measure just because of you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> hey, I measured these boards. And what were they? Well, according to you, they were off. Yes. But we also didn't see how Maguire – I didn't see how Maguire was holding that end on the side. So there's okay. that ring. There's that ring, at, you know what I mean? That ring's about it. No, inch. so I told him okay. when I said fold it over and just use okay. this part. But, yeah, it was an inch and a half, which, again, almost two inches makes a difference. And the pucks are uh, in there. I'm very spoiled. Like, if it's 27 feet, because that's what I throw on, I'm so used to throwing on 27 feet. So when I throw an airmail, if it's not exactly 27 feet, you could you could tell. Like, these pro players do it enough. They could adjust 100%, but they could also tell when it's not right. Well, you shouldn't have to adjust it either if it's in, if it's in an environment like this. I mean, there's Correct. a lot of – there's enough to have regulations. Right. But it is up to the players to make sure everything's set up ahead of time. Starting to get to that point where some players are starting to gather around the broadcast court. Vincent Frisch looks like a nervous Nelly man. Just walking around, texting, talking, interacting. I can only really say nervous Nelly. He's antsy. He's already antsy. I think he's though. one of the number one players to talk to himself. Like, the most. Even more than Jordan Power? Yes. Yes. Different tone as well. Oh. 
Chris, you don't even need to put it in the chat. We already know that you're taking Windsor for everything. <laughs> Windsor's not playing this match. Thank you very much for everything. Huh? Where's the next one? Virginia Beach. Go have fun there. You guys going? Short drive. <laughs> Just a little one. All right, be careful. Kelly and Uncle Eddie out. How tall is uh, Fisher? Six Abo eight. Above 6'2". I, sure. I think it's 6'8". He's not 6'8". No? Mm -hmm. No. He's not that tall. I don't know. I'm 5'10". I feel like he's mountain over me. He's a big kid. Still growing. It's going to be 20 feet by the time he grows all the way. Have to get new trusses. But uh, the one crazy thing about him, as tall as he is, he does get down low for some of these shots. Yeah, so he actually throws below his height <laughs> mm -hmm. with every shot. It's crazy. He has an abnormally low roll bag, too. Yep. Like that? Yeah, exactly. Like most people that throw their roll bags, they'll throw it a lot higher. He's at least half the height. Who do I have winning the whole thing? Um, that's an easy Kyle Malone. No <laughs> questions asked. Kyle Malone's airmail is on. Yes. <laughs> It was actually off yesterday, believe it or not. He was missing a lot of airmails, which is out of character for him. So he's in contention for the best airmailer in the game, in my opinion. Oh, easily. I, I'm not going to allow you in that tournament because you've already got all these different stipulations as far as what I can and can't do in my own well, tournament that I'm starting for you guys. You're going to have an airmail box but not a judge, so people could literally slide a bag in. Like I've seen Jimmy McGuffin slide a bag on an airmail box. It's possible. It's not going to be that way. Could be that way, but I don't care. I'll allow it. Yeah, why? That's not an airmail. I'll allow it. It's got to be clean, Wally. Does not. Just has to go in. <laughs> That's why Jimmy's not allowed. Jimmy can help commentate with me and tell me the entire yeah. tournament how it's not an airmail. I'll tell you the real score of the game. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it'd be fun. 32 players at Worlds, the best of the best, a $50 buy-in. Airmail only, race to 11, cancellation score. I would win in a fight versus a Grizzly Bear, 100%. Um, 100, Grizzly Blair, 100 Grizzly Bears, they have a chance, but like 99% of them would still get smacked. What's that duck horse question? Would yeah, yeah. Fight so a it's thousand a, ducks? It's a, it's a hundred horse-sized ducks or one horse, or no. One duck size. No, I said it backwards. Back, I said backwards, it backwards, yeah. A yeah. hundred... Duck sized horses or one horse sized duck? Yes. Yes. Yeah, would you rather fight a hundred polar bears or one polar bear sized Jimmy humans or something? Maybe we gotta, we'll go we gotta, we'll we gotta go make it. a question. Would you rather fight one Jimmy human sized polar bear or a hundred polar bear sized Jimmy humans? <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Well, the polar bear is smaller than me, so that's I would right, rather that's, fight that's the polar what I'm bear. Saying, yeah. yeah, that's easy. Gosh, man, I, I got I got a headache thinking about how to word that. <laughs> <laughs> you got it down, though. Uh, I definitely did not switch camera angles. So. Yeah, that's right. It's all good. Yeah, what what replay did I miss yesterday? I saw you calling me out in the chat. Which yeah, one? so um, I would never miss a replay. You did because I think you were talking to somebody else. But I don't know. I think I I blocked. They blocked behind. I airmailed. They missed a roll. I airmailed dragged. They missed a roll again. And then I... I don't know. I think so, it, so it, I think it hit two airmail back to back airmail drags and you just completely ignored it. I was like, all right. I know I missed you in Rhode Island. That was I felt bad about that one. Oh, that one was good. <laughs> I was, you called the timeout and I was watching and I was like, Okay, here we go and then I switched the screen. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. I was hitting the table as I was trying to get to the buttons and couldn't even throw it on my TikTok, dude. And <laughs> tornadoes yelling. <laughs> Ruined my social media. I was deathly ill in Rhode Island, man. I don't know what happened. Tornado saved me that broadcast. I threw deathly ill. That was terrible. <laughs> 17 to 7. 14 rounds in. Again, King Seat ma match coming up next. Justin Burton Jr. will take on Eddie. I take Justin Burton Jr. in that game. Right, I'm going to make, sure, make sure I worded it right again. I got to go back to my question. A hundred size, a hundred polar bear size, Jimmy Human size. No, no you said a hundred 
One Jimmy human sized polar bear or grizzly bear. Grizzly bear. One Jimmy human sized grizzly bear. Or a hundred yeah. grizzly bear sized Jimmy humans. Yes. Yeah. All right. Put it on a shirt. Ben Ben. I could get that. I could uh, I can make that happen. I'm still waiting for my biggest arms t shirt, man. It's my waiting idea. Waiting for it. What do you mean? It's my idea. I should get one. It was not your idea. <laughs> Actually, I think I have a message. Hold on. I'll go back through a message. Let me see. Oh, you have it saved? You bookmarked it? Mm-hmm. I do have to show you this one. Can't say anything yet because it's uh, to be now. Let's see? Yeah, I just like piping you up, give you credit. Hey, let's go. Ooh, there we go, Gavin. Check this one out. Big rocking solid t-shirts during the team's event. Ooh, good roll back. Gavin rolling like crazy right now. Got to do something to get back into this one. Back is against the wall. Another great roll. You roll collecting this? Easy. Oh. Three rolls. Doesn't get it to go, though. I like an airmail for that reason alone. I got one. I got one. It'd be a shame to hit two perfect rolls, though, and then give up points. Yes, sir. Right. 19-9. Why does Fisher wear one side of his shorts up? You can actually see uh, the friction spot where his bag hits his leg when he throws. So does that to eliminate the bag hitting the shorts? Well, it looks like it's going to be ball game. Bag game, rather. And that will do it. Fisher Hamilton. Fisher Hamilton showing everything right there. All right, Texas boys and girls, you got your king seat match that you guys have been asking for up next. Justin Burton Jr., Eddie Grindersleeve, King Seat match for the C bracket. Coming up next, place your bets. In the meantime, commercial break. We'll be right back. Welcome back, ACL Nation. How are you guys doing? Upland, California here. You got the match you guys have all been asking for. Registrations for the 2022 National College Cornhole Championships is now open. 
The National College Cornhole Championships will be December 30th through January 2nd in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. All undergraduate college students are eligible to compete. Info is at iplaycornhole.com slash college. Jimmy, place your bets, man. Who are you taking in this one? I said it earlier, Justin Burton Jr. There you go, chat. You guys agree? It is gross. Chat says he's on a mission. Let's see what happens. Eddie all day. He's on a tear. I believe they call him Steady Eddie for a reason, but I don't know. Just something about this, these young kids these days taking down all these veterans. I just want to know who uh, Rich and Graham are taking. Got to pick your favorite kid here. Who are you taking? Oh, they would never. You got to pick. You got to tear apart. One of them's off the team. Rich would, but Graham wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Shereen Jordan Burton says, let's go, JBJ. I feel like the Tobias pick. Fisher Hamilton checking in. What up, Fisher? Wherever you're at, hope you're having a good day. Good luck throwing today, wherever you are. AJ and Josh both pick Eddie. A little biased. <laughs> Just a little bit. It's, it's, it's crazy because, like, when there's no Texas, everyone's rooting for whoever's Texas. Right. And then when it's Texas versus Texas, they actually do separate and go, like, yeah. But they, they seem to tend loyalty. towards the OGs always. I respect it. I'll never forget Kansas City. Ryan Wiedenfeld was one of my sponsor players last year. Played against Justin Burton Jr. and his dad in the, uh, I think it might have been rounders. Might have been a doubles bracket, not sure. Okay. And uh, Justin Burton Jr. was throwing vipers. And I was like, I mean, he's okay. You know, he's all right. And then he went and played singles, and he was throwing BGs and doing very, very well. And then he played against Ryan Wiedenfeld in, I think, the finals. And, of course, I'm rooting for my sponsored player, being that I saw him throw these Vipers just okay. Yep. And the chat was like, this commentator is so biased, blah, blah, blah. I said, yeah, why wouldn't I root for the guy I'm paying and rooting for? You know, the 15-year-old mm. phenom, Ryan Wienfeld. I said, I have no idea who Justin Burton Jr. is. <laughs> and that was the last time because he's definitely been on my radar ever since. Yeah, so I, I played him about three to four times ever. And it was mostly doubles. I think we played one singles. But um, he's always thrown good against me. So I have to have a bias towards that, in a way. And if you beat me, you're the GOAT, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll go with that. <laughs> but, uh, no, what's Justin up, what's up Jr., Craig? very, very strong thrower, has the respect now. He's earned it. I can't remember who it was. It was such a long time ago. But they said in the chat, everyone's going to learn today who Justin Burton Jr. is. And they were not wrong. Um, wasn't that in Arizona? What's that? Wasn't that in Arizona? No, this one was in Kansas City. It's the first time that we did the five. We did five brackets. Yep. Uh, Baby Goat ended up taking that one down, but it was Baby Goat, Ryan Wiedenfeld, I believe Chris Seaton, Justin Burton Jr., and I can't remember the final one. Josh Gross says, Eddie ripping off the jersey means it's going to be a long game. Game time. So far, 2-2. Two, two. You guys are no better than all of us. Chat's never wrong. I thought you were never wrong, Wally. I just your picks I, are. I have to be wrong sometimes <laughs> just because it gets more comments that way. I do it on purpose, though. Yeah, for the views. Yeah, I do it for the, yeah. do it for the vine. Do I'm, it. I'm bringing back the vine. Throwback Thursday. <laughs> MySpace up next. Where you at? Yeah, do it for the time. What's the MySpace guy's name? Tom? Where you at, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back, Tom. I'm making Tom a thing again. Oh, man. TikTok is just a glorified vine. Pretty much. Both players, a little case of the righties here in round five. Usually it's the lefties. That might have helped him out a little bit. He could collect it. He's taking a step out to go for it. I would probably shoot it. Well, can you grab it? He's able to get Eddie's bag to stay on the back. Four to four. Is it round four too? That'd be pretty great. It is round four. Plus two. All right, let's go through all the players left in the tournament. That way, you guys can uh, don't have to ask me how's this person doing anymore. If they you don't hear their name, they're out. Bracket A: Vincent Frisch. Kyle Malone, Danny Borja, 
Ryan Windsor, Moses Sasueda, Caleb Franklin. That's it for bracket A. Bracket B, Devin Harbaugh, Josh Hill, Corey Ballard, Scott Swenson, Alec Ryan, Brennan Ballard, Nate Boyer. That's it for bracket B. Bracket C, Justin Burton Jr. and Eddie Grindersleeve, Stanley Lovett, Dean Norton, Matt Allen, Tony Smith, Gavin Hammond, Young Trin. Who did Tony Smith lose to? Uh, Lovett, I believe. Yeah, Stanley Lovett, 21 7. Wow, congrats to Stanley. And then bracket D, Jake Krasinski, Fisher Hamilton, Dylan Turpin, Gavin Cano, Ty Morris, Bill Hadley, Timothy Felix, Felix Vargas the third. That's it. That's all that's left. Yeah, it's always been long hair, but it's getting a little frizzy now, too. If I could grow it, I would have an afro, 1,000%. Craig Urban's letting his afro grow back out. <laughs> he's, he's trying. Let's go. He showed me a pick of it. It's, it's, a good, it's a good three, four inches off the head afro. All he right. He gets it there. I said, well, I'm going to keep letting mine grow out on top. I said, I want to do, do the longer braid. You should get, like, an, ex an exhibit-style haircut the, with the dreads. I haven't seen an exhibit in a while. It's kind of uh, – I think Brevin rocked last year. How yeah, he did. Yeah, at Worlds. The only problem is the person that braids my hair, she lives four hours away now. She's having a baby this month, so. Oh, well, congrats. Yeah. Trey Hunt in the chat. I just want to know, does Trey Hunt read with one eye in the chat like he throws? Yes. He it's holds it. Right? I would I would imitate it, but you wouldn't be able to see me. He holds the phone with one hand. Oh, you challenge accepted. You, you say I can't see you? Hold on. I'll get the camera on you. All right, I got to stand up for this. Hold on a second. We're not there yet. We're not ready yet. Once, once, they, once they finish throwing the bags. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. This is how, this is how Trey Hunt reads chat. Probably very accurate. Very accurate. I was on one foot, too. You know, yeah. Probably can see that. But I closed the wrong eye, but don't worry about it. Trey Hunt's dead. We killed him. <laughs> on up top, lands on the pile. Trey, the only difference between uh, <coughs> me watching, the, imitating you watch your phone is I have bigger arms. <laughs> good point, good point. I like Josh Cruz's comment. The type of player you create in an ACL Madden game. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Justin Brent Jr. Is that his yeah. Name? Oh, with, with, the, with, with beard. Eddie's beard. Yeah. I I hope that there's some customization available in the ACL Cornhole video game. Yes. And if not this year, at least on the next one. If there is a next one. <laughs> All I know is I'm going to be rocking this. Uh, hoodie that we got for sale right now on caninecornerhole.com, but I'm not allowed to plug. I'm just kidding. Uh, but uh, there's no but rule for me good. plugging. <clears throat> well, I mean, I don't know if there's a rule for me plugging either. It's wow, good. that's it's a, a nice hoodie it's, you it's have on there. without a plug. What hoodie is that? It's uh, my onboard apparel jersey with long sleeves and hood. For all seasons. Ooh, misses the fourth bag a little bit off to the side. It's going to score two off that. So, what's the over and under on rounds, do you think? Uh, definitely over 10. Over 10? Definitely over 10 rounds. 
Yeah, that's a safe bet, considering it's probably over 10 already. It's round 11. <laughs> you know me too well, man. All right, so let's go uh, 21 rounds, over or under? Oh, man. 21 rounds, over or under, Chad? I'm going to go under. 8 to 6 right now in round 11. These guys are both pretty consistent. 10.2 PPR for Justin, 10 for Eddie. Tornado knows what's up. He's taking the over. Amber's taking the over. Time to refresh Facebook so I could uh, stay Another on the Another fourth bag, yep. Making it 10 to 6. Winfield sneaking up on me out of nowhere. Scared me. Someone said 19 rounds exactly. Ryan Wiedenfeld loses to Moses Sasueda, 21 to 19. Moses threw a 10 solid. Damn. That's what it takes nowadays, man. But sometimes that's not even enough. All right, so Vincent Frisch and Kyle Malone are going to get started on court number two. Looks like we got an early timeout from Vincent's already looking at the file, unless, he, unless he's calling timeouts during down and backs. Yeah, the scoreboard isn't started yet, so he's definitely calling a timeout now and during the game. He decides to lay it up. Deciding factor in that Malone Frisch game is points. Almost, almost. Is if Kyle is hitting airmails like he normally does, I believe he will win that. But if Kyle is missing airmails, he will not win that. Points. Round 13 here. Over 21 is looking good. Is Bella and Gavin the new cornhole couple? Are they the I the new new are they the new Noah and Cameron? I think they are, but I'm not sure. Just, so I'm not gonna say so, yes or no. They're so giggly over there. That's <laughs> <laughs> it. I can see them laughing exactly Sli like that. <laughs> Slight touches, but they're not really touching each other on the arm. Yep, it's rubbing up against each other. Puppy love. I, I feel <laughs> and then, like. And then, Is then Isabel's mom's two feet away. Yeah. <laughs> no touching. No touching. I feel like you should uh, pan, pan to them uh, during the break real quick, or break between rounds. Ooh, Eddie goes off the back. Tried to push. Oh, there they are. Can't see Bella. She's hiding. She's always hiding until she falls. <laughs> and she's right on the middle. I feel like there's enough footage of Bella falling to make a montage of it. You're over 21 rounds, looking pretty good. 10 to 6 here. That blocker's a little bit off to the side. They can cut around it. Yeah, Josh, that fourth bag is uh, the difference so far. Uh-oh. Off the back. Meesh the push. That was very aggressive. Yeah, they are a little close in color. Um, mainly the top is different. So one has white lettering. Yeah, I'll say that's, the, that's the best way to tell the difference between bags is go by the color and the lettering. Yeah, compared to the black lettering. Justin hit that push, and then he's mad at Ooh. himself that he could not hit that push earlier. Fourth bag block. Fourth bag, yep. I like to leave my fourth bags there, and my first bag is always off. I think if you throw a fourth back blocker, you should be able to start the next round out with that blocker. You just go down and put it on the other end. Exactly I like that. I like that. That way it looks like you did it on purpose. But we are tied. 11 points to go to claim a winner here. Round 15 underway. Two points around, and that'll do it. That'll be the under. Kyle Malone is up six to nothing. Or sorry, four to nothing against Vincent Frisch. 
for nothing over there. Caleb Franklin, two to one over Danny Borja. Ryan Windsor, 10 to one over Moses. Over in the B bracket, we got Brendan Ballard, 20 to five over Nate Boyer. Alec Ryan, 12 to six over Scott Swenson. Corey Ballard, 18 to 16 over Josh Hill. This is your C bracket king seat match right here. Stanley Lovett, zero. Matt Allen, 12. And then finally your D bracket. Gavin getting ready to start up against Felix over on court six. Ty Morris, two. Bill Hadley, seven. Looks like we got that match paused, so maybe we'll get Jake Krasinski and Fisher Hamilton next on the broadcast court. Not sure. That'll be for your king seat in bracket D. Maybe. Who do you have in that match? I, I got to go with Fisher, man. Okay. If, if, I mean, what I saw against Cameron, uh, early round, Jake wouldn't stand a chance. The last rounds of that match, Jake, should be a good battle. The reason I'm going Fisher, though, is Jake already complained to me once about his worst matches of the weekend being on this broadcast. Good collect. Yes. Last, his, he complained once about his worst matches of the weekend being on this broadcast court, so I think it's in his head. What do you think, Chad? Who's taking that one down now? Jake Krasinski or Fisher Hamilton? So it depends on if Jacob could stay out of his head. Like, the, there was a significant difference between the speed of the broadcast board versus all the other ones. So these are a lot faster. But You think these are faster? Oh, by a mile. Really? I was curious on that if they were playing uh, any different than the other courts. Broadcast, broadcast court usually always does play differently in tournaments. And I, and I do like that and mix up the elements. Some of the players don't like it. Yeah, I personally don't. I think it separates the good from the weak. <laughs> I like having consistency, the same thing on every board, the same length on every board. I think it's impossible to do that, though, because of the different body heats and traffic and temperature and stuff. Oh, like yeah, that. for sure. I mean, you need a really well-regulated room as far as air conditioning. But with the door being open, probably makes it faster. Looking forward to next week, man. Next week is like the grind. We got the the live stream, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, got Warzone live feeds, YouTube highlight reels. Wednesday, let's do it. Um, I think I drive home Wednesday. Okay, so what day are you home? How about that? I'll be home Monday and Tuesday, I believe. Thanksgiving next week. Like Monday this week? Mm hmm. And I might, I don't know. I don't, actually, I don't think next week's going to be a good week to start any of this stuff, kind of think about it. I'll do my ACL Live TV show on Monday with Bernie on the 28th. It's my debut. Trisha wants to know, how does Jimmy say tournament? Yeah, she does. I call it a tournament. Smart. Wicked smart. My boy's wicked smart. See, I don't know why I'm grouped up with the New Englanders when I don't even I'm not even from New England I'm two states away so they didn't have enough talent up there to fill out the teams I don't captains. know I meant like oh. with accent and everything oh yeah assuming yeah. I say I pack my car in the yard you know what I mean mm -hmm. that's how I learned how to say Gavin, uh, Gavin Cano <laughs> that's true that's true <laughs> It was, it was Cano before that, and you're like, no, just like Cano. Just like uh, your Eastern boy trying to say Ka. Ka, Ka, Ka. Still don't have the region nailed down. A couple more visits, you'll be fine. I was talking to them earlier, you know, it's about uh, how you don't belong in that conference or region or whatever. You know. What's that? I was talking to you about how you said Tina doesn't belong in that region. I never said that. <laughs> Again, <laughs> I still stand to my word. I never said that. I said, you're not in this conference. Yeah. And then she's like, oh, well, I switched. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> and then he said.
You're just jealous you're not in our conference, Bobby. <laughs> I can't even play anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they booked our conference the Virginia Beach weekend. And then the next conference is the South Dakota uh, Open, which has now become a shoot. I good shot sneaking around. All right, so unless Eddie gets five points right here, the your, your prediction's going to hit. Your over's going to hit. Yeah, it's not looking like five points. Good collect on everything there. But, yeah, I just uh, – I don't have any house anymore. If I got a free weekend, I'll try and fight in a regional within an eight-hour drive. Does Wally backside that? I would have. Ooh. Did he hit it? Clean. I missed it. Clean. I was looking at you. Replay. I'd never miss a Run replay. Run it back. That is a lie. You only miss my replays. Bloop. I love the mispronunciation of names, mm -hmm. especially like when Josh Gat calls everybody's name. Yeah, I know uh, Mike Morton was going to try to have a better pronunciation of everybody's names, and, I, and we put in a suggestion to have the phonetic spelling, or saying it right, rather, of everybody's name. That's a good idea. Is it spelling? Phonetic spelling? I uh, don't know. I think it's phonetic spelling. I don't know. Either well, way. Words are too big. How they, how they say things in word sounds. Yes. And uh, I don't know if I, I mean, I, I try. And I don't mean any of it disrespectful, but I feel like. As long as you try, that's all that matters. I feel like mi mispronounced words get me more interaction with the fans. And I'm all about that. So if you guessed over 21 rounds, you will be correct. Winner, winner. What do they get? Uh, you get a nice crisp high five. You just have to come find me. Because I don't deliver. A pair of your shorts. Is that the same pair you had yesterday? No. I have four pairs. These are barbecue. And they're all different colors. These yes. are the barbecue list No barbecues. <laughs> See? No stain. <laughs> and who is that again? Shout them out. What's her, what's her Shout out to Power Hands. Power Hands. Power Hands, yes. Jimmy got so strong. Good collection. If you uh, want to get big arms or strong hands, Power Hands are the way to go. They're weighted gloves for training. So whether you're Throwing bags, playing basketball, lifting weights, and he rolls it off Is the back. Is he going for a reverse? I think cut? he went for a reverse cut, yeah. I had the wrong tilt on it. It did. I noticed that as well. I was, I was kind of confused if he was going for a roll, but then it landed too far to the left. Then he just immediately put his head down and started shaking it. Make the Northeast Conference tourney in New York for a change. You yeah, literally right. had a conference last year. Yeah, right. You see how much snow they get in New York? You literally get every tournament. Hey, Tornado, how are my uh, sports bets going so far? I, I forgot who I said, but let me know how I'm doing. Reverse cut high elevation came out weird, though. Yeah, it had an opposite angle of what a reverse cut would be. Yeah, that's where you need to break out the claw grip. I can teach people how to do the left to right gut. I just can't do the right to left. Claw grip is money. I'm developing uh, a better left to right. Uh-oh. But I claw grip as well, so. All right, let me see. Let's go through the sports bookie. See what I said. Um... I took the Cowboys, they haven't played yet. I took the Chiefs, they haven't played yet. I took the Giants, oh man. Ew. Losing that one, 24 to six. How about the Lions? The Lions are the best football team I've ever seen in my life. Are they? Nope. Are they the only football team you've ever seen? And I'm pretty sure I took the, did I take the Eagles? Uh oh, that's a four spot. Oh, no, I take the Jets. Putting it right back in the game. We got a one-point differential. Lead change. This is for the king seat again in bracket C. 18-17. These Texas boys doing some work, that's for sure. Yeah, so, Josh, I threw Pro-X in the blind draw with McGuire Shepard. The boys are a little bit quicker. 
And then I threw Typhoons and doubles with Kyle. And then in singles today, I threw the Pro X again. Um, they were a little slower than what I would like. Good collect from Eddie. Justin's got a little bit of work to do on the right-hand side. Should be able to get it, though. Goes back to the board. Stays sticky side in hand. Good collect. Ooh, first bag miss. That Chance one's okay. 20. That one's okay. You can miss that one. You just can't miss any more from here on out. Nineteen eighteen. I was gonna say around twenty six. It looks like. I don't see Jake around us anywhere. I don't see any other matches paused though for court ninety nine. Fisher Hamilton. I don't see him either. I don't know. We might have something else coming next. Let's see. So Vincent Frisch now down to Kyle Malone fifteen to eight on he, court two. He's been. I don't know what after the last. All right, so it looks like the next match will be Josh Hill and Devin Harbaugh, court 99. Let's go. So that'll be the next match here. Ooh, yep, so that was, there's the reverse cut you tried last time. Did that one look better? It, yeah, it, actually, it did. It went straight rather than going left. It's going to need to go up and get this. And he does. Good great shot. shot. Put, puts the pressure on this push here. Takes them both. Only going to have one in, though, right? Yep. Ooh, all right. That's not still alive. Say that's not the end of it. It's not how you wanted it, of course. You had a chance to score two. Instead of getting to 20, his opponent's at 20 now. They say the pressure push is the hardest shot in the game. What do you think? I don't know. I'm terrible at all of it. <laughs> um... Game on the line. You have to push it back again. Dude, my 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 push is already bad because my bag comes out at like a forty-five degree angle. So so it's. it's I would I would hardest. definitely agree with that. <laughs> now that you have me thinking about how bad I'm at a lot of shots. <laughs> the game on the line. My block behind is terrible. Game on the line. My air mill is terrible. Oh, uh, this could do it. One of those you bags are collecting air mill now. I like stepping out, trying to collect a front right one, and then airmail. Really? I was thinking airmail, clear that out, and then maybe get the hard collect. That's a good shot. There's with that, airmail. with that bag in the back there, he would have been able to push it in easier. But it's a great shot, Eddie. Eddie. Eddie's like, I don't care who you are, I'm taking that off the hole. That's gonna do it. Yep. Eddie G, steady Eddie, has the king seat in bracket C. Ryan Wienfeld was right. He will have to be double dipped. Let's see, bracket C is Big Tone gone? Am I eliminated? I'm still alive. Come on, Big Tone. Got a long way to go. He's up on court number eight. We're going to take a commercial break. We're going to bring back in Devin Harbaugh. He's going to take on Josh Hill. See you guys here in just a few.
What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Welcome back here to ACL Open number four. Hope you guys are ready to see Devin Harbaugh make me look like a genius once again, making me uh, pick nothing but winners. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Looking like a genius as I mess up all the camera transitions. But Devin Harbaugh will take on Josh Hill. Josh doing very, very well today. He is throwing the kill shots. I believe P90s. I didn't get a good look at it before we started. But I believe that is correct. Devin Harbaugh, of course, sticking with the boardwalkers from Cornhole Scenario. I'm sorry. Dang, I did it again. My bad. My, de my bad, Claudel. Cornhole Coastal. Cornhole Coastal. I'm just messing up left and right. That's what happens whenever I rush to get drinks. Caden Allen checking in. What up, Caden? The number one player in the world. Remember when you were the number one player in the world, Jimmy? Uh, only in open standings. But, yeah, wasn't too long ago, hey, actually. Don't, don't demean yourself, man. Give yourself some credit, dude. I'm trying to hype you up. That's what you need, confidence, so, remember? <laughs> I have plenty of confidence. What flavor would you go with on the Dippin' Dots? Cotton candy. Okay. I was looking or for like nothing. cookies and cream, but I got the I got the Oreo yesterday. I mean, I did get cookies and cream yesterday. I probably took the last one. Really? It was really good. I bet it was. All right, so Alec Ryan continuing in the losers bracket. He'll play the winner of Corey Ballard and Brennan Ballard. Corey Ballard currently up eleven to nothing there. Imagine having to play your brother in this tournament. I wouldn't mind it. I haven't seen my brother in a while. Tom Malone finishes off Vincent Frisch, 21-15. Danny Borja. My bad, Josh. Up 11-7 to seven over Caleb Franklin. Whenever that one will play, Ryan Windsor. Don't worry, I'm not watching. <laughs> Josh says, uh, I got to sit there. You're making me nervous. So every time I watch Josh's game, he immediately throws like a six. Throws two off the back. Sprays them all over the place. Consistency is key in this game. Young Trent, five. Tony Smith, 12. Whenever that one gets Matt Allen. Justin Burton, Jr. after that. And then Eddie Grindersleeve sitting in the king's seat. Uh, up next on the broadcast court, we are going to get Fisher Hamilton and Jake Krasinski. Let's go. So one of my picks is eliminated. Josh Holland is gone. How many picks are you allowed? I picked four people out of bracket A. Ryan okay. Winfield. Ryan Windsor, Josh Holland, and I think Vince. No, I did not pick Vince. No, I only picked three people. You said you picked Vince. I'm pretty sure I picked Kyle Malone, actually. You told Vince you picked Vince. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so I picked Kyle Malone, though. This is my official pick. Well, throw it right, rewind the stream back to when I pick Kyle Malone. Can't rewind. It's all right. I clipped it. Good choice, Ryan Wiedenfeld. Cheese fries, chicken strips, and barbecue sauce. <coughs> Devin happy with the placement on that block. Josh going up. Man short. Tape measure. Here we go. <laughs> Javier Rio says, let's go, Jossie. Chris says, I was going to say, got to go with the cookies and cream. A birthday cake ain't bad. I actually do, I'll tell you what, strawberry cheesecake. Strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake. Shortcake. And uh, fudge sundae. Okay. Mix them together. Bomb. Bomb. Huh. That's a weird combo. Love oh, it. my God. That was gross. Great shot by Harbaugh. This is big. It's five? Eight, Eight I believe. Five? Does he have another one off the back? I thought he did back in the wrong. Either way, that one goes in. This stage of the game, that yeah, is a big round no matter eight. what. I was right. Oh, the bag on the left was an airmail. I stand corrected. Oh, okay. Nine to two. So after you've seen everybody throw, now that you're eliminated, are you still sticking with Kyle Malone? Oh, easily. No question about it. And that's not a biased pick. You just believe it. Um, the only one that would give him trouble is not in his bracket. So, yes, that is 100%. I'm not saying who. It's to be figured out. Yep. 
Devin Harbo, I heard you. I did not say anything. Those bags are broken. They fall in the hole. And their carpet. Weird. Talking about Devin's bags? Yes. The boardwalkers? Yeah, slick sides. Melty, bro. It's the whole so bag is melty. That's what, yeah, that's what you guys call slinkies. Three over in court six. Dylan Turpin up over Ty Morris. Corey Ballard up now 18 to 2 over Brennan Ballard. Danny Borja 17 to 7 over Caleb Franklin. <laughs> Good weekend for Danny. This yeah. Uh, second place, I believe, in the blind draw. One in his bracket with Hunter. Mm hmm. With Hunter. Sorry. Yeah, Hunter was uh, tired, he said, at the end of that one. Well, he had to wait four hours for the other bracket to finish. That was an exaggeration, by the way. Don't roast me. It's because we did too many blind draws. <laughs> I love blind draws, to be honest. That ball is hard ball. Ain't nobody to play with, says Cameron Holland. You ain't lying. You ain't lying, man. That's the best Holland I know. Oh. Oh. Now nah, Derek's pretty good. He's the only Holland that didn't let me down this weekend. Oof. Well, that, the first mistake is betting on Josh. Josh. Josh looks like he's sleeping behind us. <laughs> That's probably because he is. He <laughs> doesn't <laughs> Doesn't have the energy levels to win a tournament He's today. In the VIP time. section, yeah. challenging me out. How many uh, VIP sections have a chair with duct tape on it? The green room, sir. You, you have a chair. I have a chair. That's gonna be the running joke of the season. More blind draws. Need more blind draws. I'm down. We should have blind draws worth national points. Social. At least make them. I mean, we're at an open. Make them worth open points. I mean, it would make sense. The big blind draw be worth open points. Was it always this way, or was it always local points? Because I thought there was. I thought that was the incentive to play in the blind draw so you can get open finishes. So, from my understanding. No, I could, complete, I could be completely wrong. Whatever event blind draw you did, so if you did a conference blind draw, you got conference points. You did regional That's what I blind thought. draw, you get regional points. That's what I thought. That way it doesn't punish players like me that don't have a consistent partner. You can, right. You can you could take either you one or the other. You get somebody really good and carry you, and then you... Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah so it would count... Well, well, not only that, but I mean, like, you know, I, I didn't really care who I threw with. I, I usually threw with the first person that asked me. Okay. But I had opportunities to play with... You know, some stronger players, but I'm not the type of guy who's going to be like, oh, I'm, I got asked by Jimmy Humans, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and dump you, you know? So, I don't know. I, I like the idea of keeping it for, you know, open for open, conference for conference, stuff like that. I like it, too. I'm pretty sure the only one that isn't is open because I believe conference still counts for conference. I don't even think I'll be able to play in any conferences this year. I won't get to play in any opens this year. So there's no point in me going for going for points. I'll say Austin just came and Austin just came and sat right in front of him, dude. I love it. Be quiet. Why are you so quiet? Speak on it. Got the drip. Twelve to two. Josh unable to get anything started right now. Hardball's on another planet. 
He's, he's playing for three now, man. Got to get started on that baby room. That's going to be his next sponsorship deal. New, cri new crib. <laughs> diaper mate. Changing table. He's hungry to get some diaper money. Well, all you got to do is just run a cornhole tournament now. Uh, the Malone game is over. Malone won. 21-15 over Vincent Frisch. Josh is at nationals when pros and anybody compete in singles. The blind draws counted as advanced doubles, national points. At the time, at the time that meant if you won the advanced blind draw, you got the same points as the advanced doubles champs. Yes. This was in 2018 and 19 season before opens existed. Okay. The only reason why they don't do that anymore is because for doubles, you're stuck with your partner as far as points. So if I was to play with, say, Jamie Graham and we got first, that would not show on our double standings because right, we're not doubles partners. Yeah, because that determines if you guys can be automatically entered as pros next year. It's off the yeah. back and Josh get this push. He does not get enough of it. Missed just a little bit too far to the right. But I'll tell you one thing that Devin is doing, not only is he making all his shots, he is putting some pressure on these players to capitalize on these opportunities. And nine times out of ten, it's not working well for him. 17 to 2 here. So Austin, who are you rooting for more, uh, Josh or Alec? I can't do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try to get every sponsor to turn on their own, own players this year. <laughs> you have to rank your children in order this year, bag manufacturers. You have to. Sorry. And Jimmy, where do you think you stand on the Reynolds list? On the Reynolds list? Hmm? Hmm. Who does he love more, Kyle or you? I think they have eight players, right? I'm probably ninth. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. So honestly, I think right, I think Bill likes me more, but I think Reynold, or Jeff likes Kyle more, if it's between the two of us. So it's like I got mom, he's got dad. You know what I mean? <laughs> there you go. I thought you meant between mm -hmm. the two of us, like between you and Wally. I was like, this is definitely not just between the two. No, of us. no, I'm, <laughs> I meant like between us and the partners, because like they probably like Brandon Jones a lot better than all of us. So. Who's Brandon throwing with this year? Um, Travis Purser. Travis Purser. Okay. Who's like? I think he just lost to Corey. He's like fifty thousand times better than Brandon, and Brandon's really good. So, <laughs> Brandon was not good in Chicago. That's all I know. Y you judge a man by one tournament. This <laughs> is when I paired up with him. Yeah, <laughs> that's all that sticks. Fair enough. Fair that's enough. That's why I think you're good. We dominated that hotel. Which one was that? Where were we at for that hotel? Harbaugh is throwing board walkers, right? Yeah, that is correct. Cornhole, coastal, boardwalk. But I don't know. I feel like they're hold hole sliders, not boardwalkers. Oh, what a bad. Oh, what a. I don't know who that was. That was watch your mouth. <laughs> that was a roll push. Was that was that Mason? Watch your mouth, Mason. It wasn't me this time. That was Mason. Yeah. Sensor Mason over there. <laughs> yeah. Put up a, a folder or something. We'll take another look at it. Uh, Devin's throwing board ball. Oh, you already, your chat's ahead of my chat. There we go. Come on. Got a break. Oh, man. Stay with it. Who would mess up this graphic? About time Harbaugh missed something. Oh, I didn't realize those were two of Harbaugh's bags. Okay. Yeah, so I played Harbaugh a good amount in my life. He doesn't miss often. So when he does, it still goes in. His miss is still going accurate. Because he doesn't miss. He's 100% all the time. As oh, I yeah. say that, as I say that. Here we go now. Maybe he wanted a block there. Don't That's a good block. One. Don't give me another Let's See one. if it works. Harbaugh's going to watch this back and kill me. Back. What a finish. I apologize. Sorry, buddy. Here we go now. 17 to 9. 
All right, court five match is set. Danny Borja is going to take on Ryan Windsor. Winner of that one will get Vincent Frisch. And then Kyle Malone will have to be double dipped in the A bracket. Those are your final four players over there. Court 11 is set. Corey Ballard will take on Alec Ryan. Winner of that one will play the loser of this one. You realize you could have your two players play against each other? Yeah, I'm, uh -huh. I was looking forward to you know, in the finals. having to double dip, uh -huh. but, you know, it's, it's all right. Okay. <laughs> Tony Smith, 8-2 to two over Matt Allen. Winner of that one gets Justin Burton Jr. Then Eddie Grindersleeve sitting in the king seat. Gavin Cano and Dylan Turpin on court six. The winner of that one plays the loser of Krasinski, Fisher Hamilton. I would pay to see the Justin Burton Jr. Tony Smith game. Well, I'll allow you to pay you to go watch that. I will give one chicken tender to see that. Is that game up yet, Corey and Alec? I just seen him walking. You don't have the brackets of your own players on your phone? Wally's got it right here. Yeah, I have it. Terrible, terrible. I was just looking at it a minute ago. There's a good collect. You go blocker here. You got it. Yep. That was a good sky ball. It worked. Perfect placement. Devin's still cutting around, though. Got to air mail and cross fingers. Ooh. It's going to rim out. That's going to do it. Uh, you get an N1 drag and collect both bags. And one. So you basically want to throw it really hard at the C. Get it to make a left turn real quick. Collect that bag on the left. Come back to the hole, and then I can come off. Not gonna do it. He didn't listen. He didn't uh, listen. I told him what he, he needed to do. If he hit that, he deserved the win. <laughs> right. Perfect <laughs> block there from Josh. <laughs> Devin Joe just has all the shots working right now. Air mails and ones pushes. Bar subs. Penguins. Up starfish. Next. Coin slots. Whatever you want. Up next, we have the Ginger Ninja versus Fisher Ninja Hamilton. Ninja. You gotta think of a nickname for Fisher Hamilton. Chat, get on that commercial break. You guys are up to decide what's Fisher Hamilton's nickname. See you in a few. Welcome back, ACL Nation. If you haven't already, head on over to iplaycornholecom slash college. Sign up for the Myrtle Beach December 30th to January 2nd National Cornhole, National College Cornhole Championships. Those registrations are now live. All undergraduate college students are eligible to participate. King seat match here between Fisher Hamilton and Jake Trzinski. 
This is going to be for the D bracket. Only other two players remaining besides these two is Dylan Turpin and Gavin Cano. Let's see what the chat came up with as far as nicknames. Hopefully you guys kept it respectable. Somebody call him Legs. Baby Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Uh, need more merch giveaways. Oh, man. Got plenty of giveaways. Let me do the K9 unit sneak peeks. All K9 unit subscribers. We do plenty of giveaways, man. I am a subscriber. I'm giving away one night with Jimmy Humans. February 14th. He'll be available that day, something tells me. That's very accurate. I think I might be right now. I'm going to run a singles tournament. February, on February 14th. 14th, yeah. Yep, I'm, I'm sure I won't be invited to that. I'll be the only one there. <laughs> <laughs> you got a ch good chance of winning then. Single for life. Love can keep me down. Yeah, so everyone taking Fisher. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. Nobody is taking Jacob. Uh, I know Tornado is rooting for him, but he didn't actually say he's taking him. You know? Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to pick the wrong person. In in the don't public eye, you know. I would never do such a thing. That's why I picked Fisher Hamilton to win this. <laughs> Cut roll. Got it. So big. Sits off to the side. Has anyone talked to themselves after a shot as far as explaining, like, it's okay or something like that than Fisher Hamilton? What do you mean? Like, every every bag, Fisher Hamilton's like, you're okay. That was a good one. You got this. Uh, yeah, that, like that, I said earlier, okay. Vincent Frisch I talks to himself more than anybody. I feel like Fisher Hamilton does it quietly more. Vincent Hamilton or that is Vincent true. Frisch is true. more outspoken. We got <laughs> red lettuce versus daddy long legs. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. We should make a Marvel movie with the cornhole players. That would be really good. <laughs> that would be really good. Like just Photoshop the Avengers scene yeah. with all cornhole players faces. That's going to be I'm going to do that. I'm gonna, I'm going to do a uh, Facebook post. Who would equal who as far as cornhole players? Yeah. Would you be a villain or would you be a superhero? Um, well, nobody likes me either way, so <laughs> he's going villain. I'd either be a really low rate <laughs> superhero. I, I'd be girl. like Falcon. What's wrong? He's he's Captain America now. Yeah. I don't know. Like his best ability is he has wings. As Jacob stares with me with his mouth open from missing that ammo. I would like to replay that act, that reaction. That was pretty funny. Yeah, my bad. She yeah, says he did. <laughs> Justin, you ordered a pizza. Didn't even know there was a microphone PA system here. I thought that was your audio on your phone. I was like, bro, act like you've been here before. Yeah, no. Anthony Armstrong says this game has gotten nuts. Look at the roll consistency. It's getting, uh, it's getting crazy for sure. Jimmy is the Black Panther. Yeah, so which one, though? Because there is two. Spoiler. Technically three, wasn't it? Is there? Wasn't the uh, Michael oh, yeah, Jordan yeah. Black that Panther for a little that bit? See, I would, I could see myself being a Michael B. Jordan style. Ain't no one stopping the Red Rocket. I don't I know. I can't think of. I've, I've been. I'm killing myself, and I know the second I say it, you guys are all gonna like jump on it. Samuel Jackson's character. Nick Fury. Nick Fury. I think that'd be me. I could see that. Really, I really can. That, like yeah. Not really a superhero, but just kind of in everything. Yeah, AJ, chill. <laughs> <laughs> I finally got a good part, right? <laughs> yeah, like, Don't take it away from me. <clears throat> good blocker from Fisher. 
Oh, so, Jake went up for the airmail, misses off the back. I feel like Mark Richards would be Captain America. I can see that one. Because, like, how do you not like the guy, you know? I don't think I've ever seen him cuss either. I don't think I've ever heard him, I swear. And then I'd go um, Iron Man as Jamie Graham. Can you see that? No. No? <laughs> no. Oh, man. <laughs> I think Jim Eamons would be Groot. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> one, say one word. No, if anybody's going to be Groot, it would be Jacob Trzynski. <laughs> Wally is Ned, the guy in the chair. <laughs> Oh, Every time obviously. Jake misses, Fisher's doing a great job of taking away center lane. Ryan Smith, Black Panther? I don't see it. I see I see Ryan Smith as Black Panther. I see it. Wow. Yeah. Dude's got second biggest arms in Cornhole. I don't see it. Doesn't, rec doesn't recognize it with me. Someone said, who's the Hulk? I feel like that'd be a good role for me. But I don't get mad enough. Hulk is Jordan Power calling it. I could see that. Harley Good Quinn's shot. DC. Ricky Hernandez. You don't even know your Ginger Ninja comic with the airmail. Drag. I say Jake's got to be the Red Skull, right? Yeah, you're out of line, Ricky. The Red Skull. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good one. Jordan Power is not Deadpool. I disagree with that. Oh, let's, yeah, that's what I was going. Let's, let's see who's going to be Deadpool. Come on, over there flexing, almost, almost knock people off the bleachers. Yeah, that's uh, that's how we communicate. We communicate by uh, flexing, different angles. Almost able to get that left or right cut. Thanos is Matt Guy. Yeah, I can see it. His the Infinity Stones are all the national championships he has. Opportunity here for Fisher for big points. Ooh. Just sat, did not go. <laughs> Parton says, Jordan Powers, Yosemite Sam. I don't know yeah. about that. Now you guys are getting crazy. There is no one here. Over by Josh Peck. Nine to eight, Josh Fisher Peck. Hamilton in round number seven puts the first bag down the middle. Middle, middle, down the middle, down the middle. Hisner as Deadpool, love it, love it. Yeah, Hisner has no filter. Definitely rated above R. <laughs> Jacob as the Scarlet Witch. <laughs> Scores going to stay nine to eight. Harbaugh Spider Man? That's Harbaugh? No. I would go with like Weedon Field Spider Man. You know, like, hey, you gotta go young. never say a curse word. Don't even really talk much. Just, like, cut his hair. Spider-Man talks a lot, though. He does. Uh, what about Alex Six? Spider-Man. be Rocket. <laughs> Rocket. Alex Six would be Rocket. <coughs> Richard is Vision? Nah. nah. I'm telling you, Captain America, bro. Yeah, we're definitely making a post this week. Well, I'm going I'm I'm gonna gonna to do it. Let me see what you guys say. <laughs> Cody Anderson's a mega mine. <laughs> Jake trying to get himself into it. He's trying to yell the bag into the hole, but it didn't work. Not high enough vibration. Jake 
Josh Keck is Professor X. <laughs> I can see. Oh, that's so accurate. <laughs> Alright, what about like I could be a Wolverine, like Wolverine. You know, he's kinda jacked. I think Logan Chamberlain Logan Chamberlain looks like a good Hulk. A good Hulk? Yeah. He does get angry. Deborah Odom be Storm? Yes. One hundred percent. Look, look at Ryan Smith and tell me he wouldn't be the Black Panther, though. I, I think AJ it. was right. I don't see it. That's racist. That is not racist. AJ Sims said it. I am <laughs> agreeing with him. I am mean, agreeing AJ? with him. AJ said it, so it's okay? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> totally kidding the entire time, man. I, of course I see it. Fisher trying to finish this off 16 to 8. Round number 10. Let's see what the PPRs are so far in this match. Again, only four players left in this bracket. Uh, Fisher's throwing a 10.22. That's what makes Fisher so dangerous. He can throw high PPR games while still muddying up the boards. Over on the other side, 9 14. Gavin Cano up over Dylan Turpin. Oh. Able to get that final shot to go. Almost trips over Grandma's chair in the background. Storm Hogue as Falcon. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Very useless character, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. That's what I was talking about earlier. What's that? After the match is over, does he no good? Yep. So Fisher Hamilton is going to take the king's seat in bracket D. Chazitsky heads to the loser's bracket. He's going to take on either Gavin Cano or Dylan Turpin. We'll let you guys figure out who else some more uh, Marvel characters will be. We'll be right back in just a few.
All right, boys and girls, welcome back. I asked for this match earlier. I want it on the winner's side. I'll take it on the loser's side. To get back to the championship, Vincent Frisch, Ryan Windsor, chat. Should be a pretty good one. Ryan Windsor, my pick to win the A bracket. Vincent Frisch, my pick to win the A bracket. <laughs> to get back to Kyle Malone sitting in the king's seat, who's also my pick to win the A bracket. I thought uh, Vincent wasn't your pick. Well, my accent sometimes confuses people. Uh, yeah, you do have a heavy accent. Yeah, it sounded like I said Josh Holland, but it, it's technically, let me slow it down to enunciate. Vincent, Vincent Frisch. Frisch Windsor Malone. <laughs> Four nothing start for Vincent. He's going for the three, Pete. Last person to win the blind draw, doubles and singles, was Ryan Windsor's partner, Baby Goat. And the man stopping him. We'll see what happens. He's rocking that TGC Glass Coatings Window Renovations Innovations Inc. jersey. Windsor rocking the Windsor Bags Co. jersey. I think Vincent changed hats today, didn't he? I don't know. Roll shot, unable to get it to go. So Windsor decides to go board with the final shot. Tommy Swan says roll bag is a safer bailout option. Going with Gore. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Don't forget uh, Fury. Who's that? Me? That's right. Are you going to do the photoshopping? Ooh, I like that. I mean, I have to find a picture with a wall. <laughs> you see well, that? Yeah. You see that bootleg <laughs> Marvel's Endgame clip going around? I'm, I might have. I'm not sure. <laughs> so, so I went, I went to downtown California, downtown Hollywood, and got a bootleg uh, Marvel's Endgame, and it had like all these different shows in it. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was great. It's good editing. That's funny. Ones are in right there as he tied it up four to four. What's the over under as far as rounds go in this one, Jimmy? Um. Because of their play styles, this one's going to be a much lower round. Um, Over-under is going to be 17. 17 rounds, I like it. Good pacing. These players both like to just throw their bags. Don't really have too much thinking going on, just throwing. That one's going to be off to the side. Around the back of the hole it goes. No points for Vincent. Four points for Windsor. Eight to four now. Windsor promised me he was winning today. He said he said it, uh, he was going to leave his stuff back at the hotel. No need to take it because he's going to be there all the way till the end today. Okay. I said good call. Head back to the hotel and then uh, off to Air Mill City. What's going on there? We're just, just going to hang out. I'm going to get my, my Air Mill City debut. Nice. It's pretty nice. Never been. Looking forward to it. It's not as big as I thought it would be, to be honest. But it's Cali, so like small backyards, you know? Yeah. But like in pictures, it looks huge. Power of editing, my friend. Show me the way. Jets will find a way to win. Is that game really not over yet? I feel like they've been playing forever, 3-3. Three three. Is Windsor throwing actions? Yep. I don't even know what they are. I'm out of the game. Actions. The BG Windsor bag. Only available at Windsor Bags Company. Good collect yeah, from Vincent. Social. So the over under is 17. Let's see what you guys got for rounds.
got an under. There's Vincent again talking to himself after that third shot. <laughs> he does talk to himself a lot. Yeah. It's not even getting started yet. I'm going to see if I can get a visual of him talking to himself next round. I believe Harbaugh is in the king seat. Yep. Yeah, so it's been a while since we updated uh, everyone here. This is bracket A. Kyle Malone is sitting in the king seat. He'll play the winner of this one for the A bracket championship. Over in the B bracket, Devin Harbaugh is sitting in the king seat. Currently, Corey Ballard and Alec Ryan are tied 17-17. Whenever that one will play no Josh Hill. Corey Ballard was up 15-0 on that, Alec. Oh, really? Uh, over in the C bracket, Eddie Grindersleeve has the king seat. Tony Smith now finishes off Justin Burton Jr. 21-14. So that championship match will be next. Tony Smith and Eddie Grindersleeve. In your D bracket, we got Fisher Hamilton. will play the winner of Gavin Cano or Jake Trzinski. So that's it. Those are the only players that remain. It's about 1.10 p.m. here, California Pacific time. So 5 o'clock, looking pretty good, man. Tell you what, it feels like 5 o'clock right now. It does. And it is 5 o'clock where you're from, right? Or 4 o'clock. Yeah, three, three hours. hours. Three hours. It blocked a little bit too far to the left. Windsor should have no problem going around it. I like that little leg kick Windsor did there. Said this earlier during the first match, whenever he played Ryan Wienfeld, he said, uh, if I start getting in a little bit of trouble, you'll see me turn my hat backwards. And something just doesn't feel right to readjust. That's what we got going on here. Hat is backwards off to the side. Wouldn't be surprised if halfway through this match he doesn't throw the bandana on top of it again. Justin Burton Jr. disappointed with that loss there, but good showing for him finishing third place in his bracket. I'm aware, Tony, no. Isley says revenge is a dish served cold. Windsor 21-14. Regardless of what happens here in this match, Vincent Frisch definitely on the map. If you guys didn't know about him before, you know about him now. Strong showing this weekend. I put him at the top of my California throwers list. There's a list? Yep. Starts with Vincent Frisch. Okay, so he's the best in Cali. In my opinion. Okay. That did not roll. That just went straight off the back. I'm actually kind of surprised that the rubber pellets aren't playing more of a factor. I think they are, um, just not as much as you would think. Yeah, I felt like it would just slow the boards down quite a bit, but they, they are pretty slow. <laughs> well, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, the bags are still moving pretty decently from what I'm seeing. Yeah, so both of these players throw, like, a back tilt, which gives oh. them to bounce. They don't really slide. Yeah. So that's true. where the movement is coming from. 14-7, Windsor's going to take a sip of some aim and fuel right there as we go back right to left in round number 12. I need some of that. Aim and fuel? Yes. Gavin Cano up 7-0 over Trzinski. I mean, with Trzinski a little upset after that last game, I don't see him coming back to win that one. Tony Smith and Eddie will be next on the broadcast court. Got to keep your focus. Alec Ryan will now take on Josh Hill, 23-17, as he finishes off Corey Ballard. Austin Renard is going to have to pick between his two, his two sons now. What a great comeback from Alec, being down 15-0. Got to keep your composure. Yeah, Corey was throwing an 11 after 24 bags, and it was 15-0. Good showing, though, for Corey Ballard this weekend. Brendan Ballard was probably the name uh, in everyone's head, but... Corey Strong showing all weekend. 
I like Brennan's game. He's a good kid, too. Brennan or Corey? Brennan. I haven't seen much of Corey's game. I've seen him throw like once or twice. back. Yeah, if you're down 17-0 or 15-0, it's just about the same. I mean, obviously 17's worse, but... Good roll from Vincent. up enough to get over it. Good roll. Think airmail or step out push? Airmail. Shanked it. Three? It's going to be another three. This reminds me of uh, Spider-Man's best friend. Green Goblin's son. Oh, yes. I guess with the hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Okay, I got one. Jacob Trzinski as Drax. Right? Come on. <laughs> Every time. Do you one better? <laughs> yeah? I don't know, was the, was the saying? <laughs> like, do you one better? Why? Or so? Oh, man, what was the questions? I'm trying to think of the line. All, all I think of is... Nothing goes over my head. I'm too fast to catch it. <laughs> That's Jacob Trzinski to a T. The height is the only thing that gets me on that one. Otherwise, yeah. I think it's pretty good. But like, I don't know, it's built like him. 1812, is that Vince Frisch or Harry Osborne? <laughs> Why is Gamora? <laughs> Why is Gamora? That's it, yeah, where is Gamora? <laughs> Who is Gamora? I'll tell you one better. Gamora. Why is Gamora? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pat Graff, good call. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> I'm the ball. Jacob is a Power Ranger. Yeah. Mid. Talking Marvel characters. All right, so this is an interesting shot. He's, I'd pretty much go slick side right through this here, Jimmy. Yeah. Uh, he's probably going to roll, to be honest. You think he can get that bag underneath without uh, taking if, Windsor? If he rolls, yes. Well, if he goes short with that roll, that's over. Got to at least have one in. The roll might be too risky. Either way, he's giving up two. I, I think push through. I don't know. He's, talk he's I mean, having there, a conversation a with himself, who's also his partner, to uh, determine what he wants to do. There is a slim possibility here that he can roll over and collect that bag without taking Windsor, but it's risky. We got uh we got Jack Gore as uh, Rocket Raccoon. Or sorry, Jake Gore. Jake Gore. And that's gonna be game. He airmailed. That'll do it. Windsor heading to the championship match. He is determined. He's gotta go through Kyle Malone though. Has to double dip him. Vincent Fresh, good showing this weekend, man. Finishing third in your bracket, obviously, I know you wanted the trifecta. Very, very hard accomplishment, especially in this stacked bracket. Bracket of death. Bracket of death. But all right, bring it on, boys and girls. Next match coming up here, Tony Smith, Eddie Grindersleeve. Commercial break. We'll be back in just a few.
All right, guys, welcome back here. ACL Open number four, the Upland Sports Arena has not disappointed so far. I feel like this is going to be a good one. We got Tony Smith and Eddie Grindersleeve. Humans in the booth with me. What up, man? What up? You ready for this one? Yes. My pick, Tony Smith, to win this bracket is going to have to double dip Steady Eddie. Not sure if it's going to happen or not. But last time we saw Big Tone in East Moline, the coin slot was invented. Out of all the styles of play, like not regarding the player, uh, this is one of the better matchups for Tony because Eddie's trying to run carpet, so he doesn't have that much of a vantage as far as the slinky bags going in the hole. I mean, he's throwing a faster carpet. And Tony would outroll just about anybody, you know what I mean, confidence-wise. Mm -hmm. So They got the uh, spin that happened down here on the right-hand side. I'm pretty sure Eddie won the spin, and then he pointed down here at this end on the left. So I'm not sure if we're starting on the left-hand side or if they agreed to defer... And with that airmail, I believe they're not starting yet. So I think they're going to start down here on the left-hand side. Josh Gross says, Eddie wins the bracket and then the open. Should be a good one. Eddie in one, Ray says. Checking some other scores. Gavin up 19-2 to two over Trzinski. Winner of that one gets Fisher Hamilton. This right here is for your C bracket. Alec Ryan up seven to two over Josh Hill right now. Winner of that one gets Devin Harbaugh. Kyle Malone will take on Ryan Windsor. Who was that? Um, that was Justin Rose's girlfriend. Posted that. I'll be going viral again, holding a so white sign. <laughs> I have one, thank you. I already have one. What was it? It was a keychain, and uh, he was trying to sell it to me for two dollars when uh, his older brother gave me one for free. Yeah, but it's a kid. I know. You gotta give, gotta give kids money. Is that how it works? <laughs> I got no money. <laughs> it's like trick or treat. If I place today, I'd give him the two dollars. That's a good collect from Eddie. Tony's bag is out of play. Eddie's going to strike first here if he can finish off these last two bags. What do we got there? On the, is this Wizard? Um, oh, misses the collect. They might be sorcerers. Oh. Oh, there we go. Hoodie's coming off. Yep, I believe they're Wizards. Okay, sorcerers are two-sided, right? Well, all bags are two-sided. <laughs> Facts, Josh. I'm from Jersey. You got to hustle harder than that. Oh, I didn't say you can't steal it back from him later. <laughs> Shake him down for his <laughs> lunch money. Both players missing an opportunity to score there in round two. How did Wiedenfeld finish? Uh, he had two losses. I believe. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. I can't remember who he lost to. He lost to Vincent Frisch, game one. Is it Moses? Yeah, Moses, 21-19. What up, Milos? Appreciate it. Mila Kunis, what? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> so they are sorcerers. All right, who's Black Widow? We got to get a Black Widow character. That's a weird way to spell sorcerer. Black Widow character. Hmm. Now, do we have to go female? <laughs> Yeah, so all these players that roll apparently have to have a big head of lettuce. It's 
their rolling power. Yeah, the, mo the longer your hair, the better your roll bag. I told Weedenfo when he cut his hair before East Moline, I said, no, nah, dude, you can't cut your hair. It's like That's like Samson, man. That's your power. That's where it comes from. See, for me, it makes my air mails more aerodynamic. Well, it just goes to show you how powerful the K9 t-shirt is because I gave him the K9 t-shirt that day, and it, it countered the haircut. Okay. Yeah, so that's I saved him. I mean, I believe he was wearing a K9 t-shirt or jersey today. The same t-shirt he did in East Moline. You know? Okay. He's had a rough bracket today, that's all. Yeah, I feel that. Too many big arms. Not enough big arms. I think if we measure all the arms in bracket A, we're probably at 42 inches total combined. And that's just from my left arm? Yeah, without you, of course. Oh, without me? Yeah, yeah. So me and Kyle have a, co a combined arms of everybody else combined in the bracket. Yeah. So our two put together equals everyone else's. 100%. Joe Dirt here. Yeah, it's almost dirt, dirt, not quite. It's a little bit longer. And this is the cut. I think a big push here. Out there? And they all bunch. Let's see if Tony can coin slot again. <laughs> I was going to say, prove it, it's not a fluke. Ah. He's lucky. He's not good, he's lucky. Yeah, so in the works, uh, me and Pat Groff are actually starting a Big Arms Cornhole podcast. Who's Pat Groff, though? Corey Gilbert Lightskin is out of here. Okay, let's go. I'll see you then. I'll, I should be there. Yes, All right, man. Slider Cup. Lucky Bear's got a team in now. Let's go. Apparently, that's my conference date, is what I was told. Yeah. So By you. Yeah, they asked me to go out there. Who was it? Uh, Stephanie, I believe. But then I looked. I think it's a different date. I'm not sure. Was Reynolds putting a team in the Slider Cup? I'm not sure they know about it. Uh, but I didn't talk to him yet. Good collect from Tony. If I can't go, then I wasn't going to mention it. But I probably should. $52 million on the line for that tournament. It's worth looking into. Yeah, uh, entry fee is like three grand a team. It's worth it. I didn't even think about it. I've been selling my camera equipment, streaming equipment. That's less than a month away. I don't know if I can get new equipment in time. <laughs> Might be in trouble. On deck, Harbaugh, my pick to win the whole Nobody thing. Nobody asked. <laughs> we'll be taking on Alec Ryan. That's crazy. I think it's only fitting. Alec Ryan made it all the way back to another finals. Mans is on a heater. That might put Alec Ryan number one. What? I, mean, I would think so. He's got a win in at least a. So, Weedenfield was number one here. I think he has like 85 locals played already. I think that's the deciding factor. Hmm. And apparently he wins all his regionals as well. Yeah, and then some other ones. The man's a traveling cornhole playing fool. I love it. That's what uh, my my season points are always lacking is locals. But uh, this year, we actually have a couple local directors, so let's go. Let's go. I wanted to be a director, but then I was like, I just ain't got time, man. Yeah, Chad, gotta start your war your war zone streaming career. Well, Chad Smith was wanting me to uh, run some Friday tournaments. We had one of the local places that we did, and I was just like, I would like to do it, but I can't commit on Fridays because. That's my travel day. Okay. Got a possible injury happening here? What's up, Big Tone's shoulder there? Um, when you throw 80 million roll bags on these sticky boards oh. as hard as you can, Instinct your grimace. shoulders hurt. That one's off the back of the board. I know the pain. I don't throw roll bags, but I throw sticky bags. We need a medic. Rotator cuff, he says. Caden okay, Allen calling it the winner of Alec and Harbaugh win the whole thing. Caden okay, Allen, open winner number two. 
Tree? Two, three? Two. That's when I came back from Cancun. I, honestly, you should have won back to back, but that's just me saying. Caden, when's your next one, man? When will we see Caden Allen again? The world wants to know. Probably Virginia Beach. I don't think it's that far from Kentucky. And the real question is, does Caden Allen have sponsors yet? I made a big push to get Caden Allen some sponsors in Kentucky. Hopefully really? It happened. Yeah, he deserves it, man. Oh, 100%. Virginia and Myrtle Field. Beach, he will be there. Same thing with Wheatonville, man. He, he needs more sponsors, too. The silent assassin. That's the quietest weed whacker I've ever seen. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking I was for looking for a around weed whacker? I was like, what are you talking uh, about? I, uh, <laughs> I was reading the chat, reading Kate and Allen, then he started talking about Ryan, and I got confused. 10-6. Winner of all four brackets will go into a single elimination <laughs> tournament. These brackets oh. are now seeded. So once I said, uh, once again, I said Devin Harbaugh and Alec Ryan will be next on the broadcast court. Kyle Malone and Ryan Windsor are going to start on court number five. That's for your A bracket championship. D bracket will start up on court number six. That's going to be Fisher Hamilton against Gavin Cano. All eight players are battling for their chance to win open number four. Who is Caden Allen? No. Why is Caden Allen? I can do you one better. Where is Caden Allen? <laughs> Why aren't you here? Step out, fast side, collect. Got it. Is it possible for Bacardi to sponsor Caden Allen? I mean, I see him always wearing that Bacardi Open True. <laughs> jersey. Matter of fact, Caden Allen, hey, if you don't have a jersey, man, hit me up. I'll get you one <laughs> for the next dope. we got to get you looking fleekable. Pretty sure that's a word. I asked Ryan Wienfeld how I improved his game by giving him apparel. Mark Richards commented in the chat for the second time, what? probably ever. What? Caden Allen. Brady and Brady would make a deadly pro team? They probably would. I believe Caden Allen throws a little bit of a slower bag compared to uh, Brandon. He still throws a slide bag, but I think it's a little bit slower. Not saying they can't adjust, but. Eighteen to six here in game number one. Thirteen rounds in. I did not do an over under for this match. Probably should have. This is the only championship match that has a score, so you guys haven't missed anything yet. Tony's stepping out. He's probably gonna try to go roll cut. I think he wants to bully that off the hole. Yep. Comes in right in between the two. It's a good bag. Stepping out further. Too far to the right. You go airmail here, you're going to try to roll. You're going to roll. That's Ooh, a good man, bag. That's a great blocker standing on its end. That's a way to block a roll bag. Oh, that's a shark fin block sitting right in front. Skyball airmail here, you could drag three of your bags and leave the rest. I I, you don't think you can cut land on the A and kind of cut back and just tap that one in? He probably can. I'll say let, let Eddie make his own bag. Yeah, no, he probably can, but he could also throw it over that bag. I think if he goes up top, he'll probably get that one, but then that frees up Eddie's bag for the airmail as well for the wash. Let's see. Let's see what he decides to go with. He's staying in, so he's probably going to go airmail. <laughs> Caden says the Bacardi jersey never does me wrong. Yep, going up, drags the one off the top, not as high as he wanted. Now, if you're Eddie, just regular roll here? Yeah, you still might drag. Oh, great shot. That's it's moving. moving. That is moving, and that's in. Maybe an unpopular 
<laughs> Maybe an unpopular opinion, but I think when they go in slow like that, it's better. Gets the crowd more into it. <laughs> the collective whoa from the crowd. So every uh, nice shot, me and Logan Chamberlain debate silently across from each other on the rating of the shot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We should do that. We should get signs. <coughs> kind of like Isley's night-night signs. Yeah. Just leave them scattered throughout the bleachers. I feel like they'd be taken. Like, no one's, they would not be returned. It's just regular paper. Yeah. I'll make sure I'll print some out with the canine website on there to... You definitely you steal it. At least definitely you know should, go. and then you could like pan to the audience, mm -hmm. and everyone would be like, "Oh, seven out of ten, yeah." I like that. More interaction with the crowd, get people to stay longer. Give me a reason to uh, show the crowd a little bit more too. Well, you can show off those lovebirds again. <laughs> They're back in the stands. I don't think you could fit a piece of paper between the two. <laughs> Talking about these guys? <laughs> we actually mic them up for this uh, session. <laughs> Kevin, what do you think about that shot? It's cool. What do you <laughs> think, Bella? <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> oh, cornhole bringing people together, all ages. Anybody can play? Marshall. Anybody can? Okay, he wants it. That's a big bar of soap for game. Ryan Wiedenfeld would do it. He's going for it. Bar of soap for the win. Ooh, shanked it. Yeet. That's a good bag. Just sits in the hole. He just might bunch. He gets a push. He goes rolls, roll block. It's a plug. Didn't stop them all from falling, though. Uh-oh. Wow. That could be a six spot. Danger zone. And he gets good collect from Eddie. That's a good shot. Uh, Gavin does not look like Alex X at all. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Baby Groot. Oh, baby Groot. <laughs> I, thought, I don't know why I said baby <laughs> go. Oh, man. It's the it's Jersey bad. education right there. What's up, TJ? It's not education, okay. Education? <laughs> exactly. I just can't read or spell, that's all. Yeah, you I say, got everything else. You say tournament correctly, so I'll allow it. Thank you. Good collect from Big Tone. This is game number one, by the way, if you guys are just tuning in. This is for the overall championship in bracket C. Four winners of A, B, C, and D will go into a single elimination tournament. ACL Open number four singles champ will be crowned after that. Let's hear the best Jimmy Yoink impression. What is that? Uh -huh. I have no idea what a yoink is. You just say yoink. Yoink. I mean, Mark Rich is very vocal in chat today. You know why? It's because of you. It is because of me. Letting him out of his shell. We, we got that connection, you know. I showed Mark Richards this song. So it's a great song. And uh, he knows it word for word now within a month. Sang the whole song. I was like, yep, here we go. It's a funny song. My son's in the chat, Lance Hobbs. Not my actual son, obviously. I don't have one of those. Yeah, Pat knows what's up. Don't forget the sweet the sequel. We got a roll pile here. Think another roller? Backside. 
So I'm going up. Big hit. Clean. Nicely done. Looked like uh, Kyle Malone right there. Oh, yeah. Who's that? Uh-oh. Uh, that's the guy that's going to win bracket A. Chance to go in for seven. He'll mm. hit that one in. It's going to be seven on three for four. How can you not love Deborah Odom, though? Every nice. time, every time that you see Eddie Grunestieu getting ready to throw bags, Deborah Odom's gonna be front row cheering him on. It's not even just Eddie; it's anyone, Any, from, Texas. anyone from Texas. I feel like Texas is just a, a clan. Everybody just has to watch everyone else's games. You know how happy I am, and especially you know I'm a Vortex supporter through and through. I'm happy that Deborah's on Team Vortex this year. Oh, is she? Mm hmm Nice. I heard Megan Mop and throwing Vortex radars, I believe. Josh is a good dude. I was told Eddie's throwing sorcerers. I'm still not convinced they're sorcerers. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure That's from Landon Crabtree, though. I don't know if I trust Landon Crabtree. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure it said W on it, so I don't know if sorcerers start with a W. I'm about choked. Outro. Fourth place game, I was down 17 0. We've seen it. What's the How guy? About you, Alec? What's the guy with the laser eyes from X Men? Talking about Corey? No. <laughs> Corey. Maybe him? No? Uh, a little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit. If you were a Marvel character, what, what Marvel character would you be? I was going to say the new Black Adam. Could be Wolverine. He could be Wolverine. He's got to be like, I feel like a funny character, like something. Yeah, Alec is pretty funny. Josh says BG sorcerers. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of people saying they're sorcerers. Uh, Steve says doing a collab with Vortex on Black Friday. Let's go. Mark Richards, did Jimmy have lemon pepper chicken for lunch? <laughs> what? Oh man, Mark gets me sometimes. I did not have lemon pepper chicken. I did go to hibachi last night, though. It's did, fire. Did you guys throw together last year? Uh, a couple times. In the shootout? Really, just once. Did you throw in the shootout or no? Yeah, Washington. We threw in. Oh, we won doubles, and we choked the shootout. And Leah, what's up, beautiful? How you doing? Walter. You can read it when it's on the board. I got a baby monitor in front of me. I mean, I can't see nothing. Is that your first name? Foley? Walter Paul Kastler. Yes, sir. Wow. All right, Tony making me look pretty good here. Four to two. Round four. Gave up the lead as soon as I said that. Six to four now. I got spoiled chat. You guys are watching on big screen TVs and everything? Yeah. If I had my other setup, I'd be able to see it a little bit better. But Mark is actually pretty close. I have chicken tenders with pepper, just seasoning. That's what I have for lunch. No lemon. So Big Tone's bag is out of play. Eddie trying to finish off this round. Nicely done. Did not help Tony out at all. Isley says, I got tone for 20 if anybody wants it. Eight to four, Eddie. All right, so last match was 18, 19 rounds. So let's go, um, let's go, the, the line's gonna be set at, it was 18 rounds. The line's gonna be set at 16 rounds, over or under. What's your pick? You take the over or under? I'll take the under. 16? 16? 16, yeah, that, that's, I feel like nah, that's money. I'm going over. Like I'm going over. I feel like that's right on I'll the line. I'll take the over. Okay. Ethan Walker, fresh off his double dip over Baby Goat to end the Baby Goat's regional streak. Says he'll take a bet. And there we go. So that regional streak had to be over multiple years, right? Yeah. Because there's only last, eight regionals year, a year. Uh, last year, I think he uh, won them all. What's the streak at 11, I believe? 11 regionals in a row, baby goat one. I have no idea. 
This is game two. Blocker too far to the left. It is still in play. You should be able to collect it. Bunch of potential bars, so for opportunity. Goes for it, shanks it. That's twice he went for it, and twice he shanked left. It's gonna be three more. Eleven to four. No, I don't know where. Well, let's check some other scores. I've, I forgot other matches are going on. Ryan Windsor, a 14 to nine right now over Kyle Malone. I don't like it. <laughs> Harbaugh and Alec Ryan up next. 11 to four here. This is game number two. And then Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Cano also up here next. What's happening? Can't have two matches in 99. We got to get one of those going. Unless he's finishing it out, because it's not even close to five yet. Is Keck over there? Oh, no, <laughs> we can go home early. You know? We got to get to the single elimination tournament. Single elimination tournament. Yeah, all four winners play each other. Oh, uh, that's right. Is Keck, is Keck over there? Uh, I'm sorry. Is Doctor Xavier over there? I don't see Professor X. <coughs> Saw Gavin get up and walk away, so I assume they switched it, but we'll see. 13 to 4 here. Big Tone has to get something going. Doesn't look like the show was bothering him much anymore. the pile. It's off the back of the board. Eddie is in. Great shot right there. Big Tone going up again. Collects that time. Is that going to be a five? Yes. It is 18 to four. Is Fisher Hamilton playing? No, not yet. No, I think we're going to start that up soon. I don't know why it's not going down, to be honest with you. Block from Tone. Go and roll. Hey, there's Rich Off on the chat. Side. Iron Man. Iron Man. Steady Eddie in the chat. I think he went airmail and it just came up really short. Technically, that's longer than 12 seconds. Just go look at it. <coughs> but, I mean, a six on six wash. I don't, I, mean, I don't think that changed much for me as far as if that bag was in the hole or not. I, I would still have a roll attempt there from Big Tone. Yeah, but if it's not there, he might push. Hmm. Need more broad ACL broadcast going? me. I'm a one-man wrecking crew. I ain't got time for all this setup you guys are wanting to do. You guys are getting spoiled. Set it up. I got it. We're only going to do you. one match next open. It's one match. That's all you get. That's cool. I'm take in. it or leave it. I'll take it. What up, Soup? This is the championship for bracket C. Big airmail coming. No, he's going to go fast side and push. Oh, that is a mess. It reminds me of the Nerds gummies. <laughs> it's just a big cluster in the middle with little things poking out everywhere. Yeah, nerd, nerd clusters. Yeah, the yep. Nerd clusters are so good. I don't even know if there's any points awarded that round. That yeah, like was a wash. I got it figured out all right. 
Colton says, I'll take it. Thanks for all you do. Ain't no problem. Appreciate you guys. Let's see where we're at in the viewership. We've got 588 on the Book of Face, 299 on the U in the Tube. By my math, that's 1,400 people. Appreciate you all tuning in. Starburst duos are the... Okay, I'll take that back. They are top three. Easy. Really? Potentially number one. Yeah. Oh, so this bag's still there. It's a Starburst with two different flavors on the same Starburst. I don't know. The Nerds clusters are so good. Yes, they are amazing. I'm not denying that. Which one would you take, though? The Duos or the Cluster? Ooh. See, I could eat more of the Starburst Duos. <laughs> really? But, like, the Clusters, I'm eating the whole bag if I have it. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Where the Duos, I'm getting yeah. back out of my chair to grab more. I remember one time I tried to save some clusters for like the next day. Yeah. <laughs> and then and they I got out of together. bed. No, I got out of bed and went back and ate the rest of them. <laughs> 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 I was just reminded of how good those things were. They are so good. It's on the back side, more than likely going to fall. Don't worry, Jamie, I still airmail. 9.94 from Big Tone, 9.44 from Eddie in game number one. I Whether or not see, I hit uh, it is different. Can't see the PPRs for game number two here, guys. What is Warframe? Yeah, so I recommend it. We need more players. Um, basically, it's like Destiny. You ever play that? No. Okay. So... Is it free? It's free. It's a four-person squad game. What's it on? Any platform, cross-platform. No, I mean, Battle.net, Steam? I, I have Xbox, so I don't know. That would be a PC question. But it's a free game. Uh, you drop in as a party of four, against, uh, and you basically do raids against enemies. And I'll you get I'll check it out. alternate characters with different abilities. Good collect from Big Town on the other side. Got to get something going. That's how you start. I'll check it out. I'll download it. It's on Steam? Yep. Okay, I'll check it out. Remind me uh, when I get back to my house Monday night, Pat. Send me a message. Sounds good. Or you, Jimmy. Anyway, I'll download it. I get. I think I land at like 4 o'clock. I told you I'd be back for Alex Stan. Is Keck over there? Yeah. He is? You need him? No, I was going to say, tell him to start that Fisher Hamilton and get in the way down the road. Huh? Kyle Malone See if he's holding up for a reason. He's got two matches held for the board next. Okay. Harbaugh still throws air mills. Yeah, Harbaugh's not afraid to throw anything. I said you still throw air mills. Is Devin H out? So that is ball. a no. Roll ball. <laughs> Good roll ball. <laughs> <laughs> Harbaugh roll bag. Devin roll ball. Devin Roball, good collect from Big Tone. Tone's starting to step up. He's playing them all up here. Told all you. All right, folks. You guys are in, in for, for a treat. treat. <laughs> you get all the games. You get all the, the matches from here on out. Who cares about me going to Airmail City? All right, so Devin Harbaugh and Alec Ryan will be next. We got Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Cano after that, and then we go into the single elimination bracket. Eighteen to ten. Big tone heating up down the stretch here. Jimmy, you've been styling and profiling. There's only one way you could look more fleekable, man. How's that? A little canine apparel. Well, uh, only if I knew a guy that actually. Uh, only if you knew a guy. Yeah. Owner of canine, maybe. Uh oh. Ooh. <laughs> Went for Momentum airmail drag. Shifter. Having a roll shot, but in my opinion, people are using it way too much. 1,000%. Nah. Yes. Nah. But when you don't miss a roll shot, do you really need an airmail? Well, there's a missed roll shot. We'll see. And there's another roll shot. 
Tony looked dumbfounded on that shot. Happy with the placement on that one. That's a great block. Will he try the bar soap a third time? No. He's going to roll on top of it. How roll. did he pin that one down? I'm taking a timeout if I'm out of here. There you go. I say he's got a chance to win this game. You have a potential to bar of soap. You don't even, I don't even think he needs the bar of soap. I think he can go slick side into the pile and take two for one and leave Big Tones back on the back side of the hole. So the ones in the hole I don't think are going to go unless you move the one on the right. You don't think you can hit that? The one on the right. If that one gets out of the hole, then I think all of them will go. All right. Eddie's going to prove me right. AJ, you watching? AJ knows. Let's look into the crowd. Stick side, then slick side. Now back to stick. Hits the pile. And I believe we're going to get a wash out of it. Should have went slick. Slick would have done it. I was right. Since there's no way to prove it, we're just going to believe me. <laughs> Hello from Turkey. Oh, man, Turkey sounds so good. Can't wait for Thanksgiving, man. I'm more of a ham guy myself. We do both. Ham, yeah, turkey, stuffing, broccoli, rice, chicken, mashed potatoes, corn. Wow. Green bean casserole, rolls. That's a good collect. So good. Back block. Brown and close was going for the air mill there. To the side. You could score two off this one. Good replacement. Roll, roll, sit. I don't think he goes, takes both without taking one of Tony's. Ooh, goes off the back to give up one. Wild. So you, you've seen Eddie throw a lot more than I have. Yeah. Does he always push sticky side that much? I'm, su I'm surprised 90%. he's not. 90%. I'm surprised he's not turning over and going slick side. So he throws somewhere to me really low and hard. Mm -hmm. So it's easier for us to push sticky side to sticky side. So I think Noah Wooten's the best sticky side pusher in the game. But, yeah, I mean, Eddie's got a low line drive flat push on the sticky side. That's why I was wondering. Whenever I see Noah, he always, like, tends to flip it over and just oh, throw something. I, mean, I, I think the slick side might have ended this game a long time ago, and Tony's inching his way back into it. So I was kind of curious. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I picked Tony to win the bracket, so it's all relative too. Because like, depending on how far the bag is, is whether or not you're gonna sticky side push. Or sticky side pushing is a safer way. It's like taking. It's like rolling compared to an air mill. Eighteen sixteen. That's my worst part of my game. Sticky side pushing. Uh, my buddy Matt Rannick told me to start pushing with the sticky side, helping you get a little bit more accurate. Oh, man, 666 viewers on Facebook. That's a good sign. Uh, 65 for me. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody leave. There we go, 670. That Let's works. go. We're getting up there later in the day. Christine from Australia checking in. What up? Welcome, welcome. Big Tone has a chance to get to 20 here. I was wondering where you're seeing these comments, but... Uh, oh, on the U in the tube. Yeah, the U in the tube. Man, Tony just... Into another, oh my gosh, that's gonna be game. Wow, he completes a double dip. Big tone making me look like a genius picking him in this bracket. Eddie had it in hand for the longest of times, just trying to put it away. Tony fixed his shoulder at the right time, comes back. He'll be in another final four. Take a quick commercial break when we come back. Devin Harbaugh, Alec Ryan.
Welcome back to ACL Open number four in Upland, California. Registration is still live for the 2022 National College Cornhole Championships. The National College Cornhole Championships will be December 30th through January 2nd in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. All undergraduate and college students are eligible to compete. Sign up for that event at iplaycornhole.com slash college. Jimmy, there's your opportunity to win a championship, man. So go back to college real quick. All right. So I was actually my last year in college when the Cornhole Championship came out for college. Mm -hmm. I was very disappointed. You missed out, man. I was not a pro at that time. You could have been a star like Landon Crabtree. Yeah. I could have been uh, Blaine Rosier. Who's that? <laughs> Just kidding, Blaine. Blaine uh, is apparently really good at ping pong. We're going to have to find that out firsthand. There's a lot of pros that are really good at something else. My chair is struggling to scoot on this turf. There we go. All right. Sorry, guys. All right, they got the scoreboard updated now. I'm not sure if they know it. I believe they are wanting to start on the left-hand side, but there we go. We'll see if they're live or not when they start typing and stuff. But uh, updating you guys what's going on over on court five. Ryan Windsor won game one, forcing game two, currently up five to nothing over there. We are typing in some scores with a 10-10 wash, so we are underway here on court number one. This is for the B bracket championship here. Tony Smith takes down the C bracket, just like I predicted. And Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Cano will be up next on the broadcast. Oh, then yeah, I got it right here. Oh, man. And for the hard cut, unable to get it to go. I think Devin still gets two out of it. He does. Okay. And these are, there's a little difference on the color. Still kind of hard for me to see. I'm, co I'm colorblind, folks. Give me a break. I'm trying. Wally is a big, I got this prediction right, and I'm going to let you know about it, guy. Oh, 100%. That is Wally 2T. I predict that this will not be JT's last comment in the chat ever. Ooh, that's forcing him to comment mm -hmm, no mm -hmm, mm -hmm. while not listening to you. That's great. Yeah. What if he goes into a different chat and it's comments? It's the same thing. It's comment. <laughs> I win either way. Nah, just kidding. Appreciate you, JT, man. You're uh, always in the chats. Keeping it entertaining for me. He says, bingo, I win. Predicted that. Told you. Two to two the score here. Keep you guys updated the best I can over there on court five. Score there is still 5-0. Ryan Windsor in the lead. Nope, I lied. 5-4. Kyle Malone with a four-point round. Let's go. Boards look really sticky. They are not. Um, broadcast court's a little bit quicker. They're slow, but they're not sticky. Uh, every player that you've seen on here is just throwing really sticky bags, except for uh, I think Eddie was the last one on here that threw uh, faster bags. I do want that uh, Devin Harbaugh fingers crossed in the next video game. Is, oh, whoa. That was a Wally airmail right there. That barely hit the board. That uh, Patton did fingers crossed. Devin Harbaugh pose. Needs to go in a video game. And it works right there to get the seven. Harbaugh. Devin is, <laughs> what's Devin throwing? Gas. You ain't lying. He is throwing the cornhole coastal bat board walkers. I cannot get it. Coastal it's, it's, cornhole? It's a Isn't it? cornhole coastal. Yeah. It's a tongue twister for me. I heard. Happy birthday, Claudel Clark, by the way. 
Looking forward to going back to Virginia Beach. He made last year's event very, very memorable. And then Baby Goat and Matt Guy finished it off for me. 47 rounds, I think a 63 total four-baggers in that match. That is a great question, Pat. Maybe Lolly can help us. Any news on the ACL game release date? Yes. Thank you for asking. <laughs> so what's the news? <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to tell you, but yes, there is news. Because uh, uh, last I heard, it just kept getting pushed back and then pushed back. We're make it perfect, you know. We got to make sure that we get uh, all the details worked out. There is a there is a playable edition out right now. Really? Yeah. To select few people. Yeah. Only a few people. We're working. Man, on. I wonder how you get on that list. It's getting tested. So how is it for approval? Is it fun? <laughs> Um, the note, the silence tells me you played it. It's good well, I think the main thing about the video. <laughs> it's it's going to look out pretty cool, I think, in the long run. Yeah, that sounds good. Something wrong with my microphone right there. I heard you perfectly. Speaking perfectly, Devin Hardball, having a great weekend so far. The man is putting all types of pressure on people to hit their shots. Keeping control, first bag down the middle there again in round number seven with an 11 to two lead. What up Bernard, tuning in from North Carolina. Welcome, welcome. Can I get a quick score check? Uh, still 11 to two here on this match. Thank you for asking. Well, I don't know. Ten to four over on court number five. Wins are in the lead. That is game number two. Windsor was my pick to win bracket A. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda a little <laughs> salty you didn't invite me to play that video game. What video game? The video game. <laughs> are you in it? No. Mm -hmm. I wasn't OG enough. You're the yeah. <laughs> Mark Richards isn't even in the video game. Yeah. It's crazy. There's a lot of people on it. It'll expand, man. We'll get bigger. I just hope that, uh, what's up, Corbin? I hope that going forward, though, there's like a, a tour. You know what I mean? Like a create your own character. Okay, like a my player style. Yeah, go yeah. to uh, Spencer McKenzie. Go to Win Win Worlds. Winterfest. Yeah, yeah. play play local local blind draws. Yeah, that'd be cool. <coughs> Stuff like that. The life of single. I regions. think in order to get that accurately, they would follow around a professional Cornell player. Mm -hmm. And they should add like some AFK feature to it, like like whenever you're sleeping, you can still add and collect points. Yeah, I want to know. I've never never played it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, so Pat believes that we're going to be the number one ranked doubles team. I thought you said you weren't going to play with Pat anymore. No. Oh, you didn't tell him that yet. No, not in not an actual cornhole in the video game. That's what I'm saying. I thought you, I thought you were done with it. No. Nah. Video games are fine. It's War, the actual Warframe. Cornhole. Warframe. Yes, Warframe. We're going to take a look at it. It's a great game. We got uh, four bags left here. A little cluster in front of the hole. What? Tell my mama. Expect an airmail coming. Hi, Mom. Oh. Hi, Mama. She didn't say hi back yet. Almost a roll bag. So he, he hit the pile, got it closer. I think we're going to see some Harbaugh wizard debris. Harbaugh's on top and behind of the pile. He's Alec has one leaning on the hole, one on the right, and one on front. He's a wizard, Harbaugh. I mean, what would this shot be called if he's able to hit only his bags in here? Um, the Harbaugh. The Harbaugh. He's got a great drink, by the way, in Kansas City called the Harbaugh. Yes, it is. Roll shot, didn't Roll. get it to go. See, like, I like airmail there. I do too. I can't hear a word you're saying. <laughs> We're going to get it the third time out in the same round here. <laughs> He's going to take the three. He's giving up the three. He's giving up the three. I believe he could have airmailed it. Plenty of room. I would have shot it. I've seen him hit it last night. Where's Big Tone's coin slot when you need it? All right, it's 11 to 
eight. Hi, Mom. Ruth says hi as well. Sounds like a train coming through. That bag is draggable. I do like how Alec has excelled to the top of the food chain right now, right before we go into the team's draft. Yep. I'm so really looking forward to seeing how all this plays out. There is no doubt he's going first round. Cody, what up? He might even go number one pick overall. That's what I'm saying. It's not like I'm a team captain or anything. If I give you sneak peek access to the video game, can you go ahead and announce your first pick right now? Yes. <laughs> I would. So you already know your first pick? Oh, 100%. Okay, nice. 100%. Congratulations. Let's see, I'm trying to think of who I want to pick. <laughs> we, we have three carpet throwers, so it only makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%, 100%. Nathan says the coin slot has to be the shot of the year well, in contention. Definitely in yes. contention. Hardballs last the night. The starfish looks pretty good, too, from last night. Is that what you're calling it? Yeah. Five the points. And then kind of like the bag just starfished all the other bags. Yep, yep. And then yeah. it's the, uh, you know, the Cornhole Coastal that was sponsorship. That was influence gross. That was gross. It's a pretty good game, though. <laughs> Alec getting back into it, <laughs> 11 to 10. Uh, I bet it so, is. So I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how the rest of this one plays out with these carpet bag throwers. Ooh, good cut. He's gonna try I to need to go through here. and maybe on Twitter I'll make my predictions as far as how I think the draft will go, at least maybe the first couple rounds. I know Michelle did her picks. Did she? Where do I see these picks? Is it all on Twitter? I don't know where Michelle put hers. I don't even know if she released it. I think she had a posting on Cornhole Mish page. It was 71 degrees last week and now 18 in Michigan. Oh man, D Boy's starting stuff back there. That's the second time, D Boy. You better be careful. Friday was all you. boy coined the greatest phrase on our match. Did on you hear it? Uh-uh. He said, I tell my girl to don't look at another man's oh, yeah, truck, yeah. <laughs> another man's motorcycle, definitely not another man's airmail. <laughs> you feel me. You feel me. Those are the same cannons Alex threw last season. I'll be curious to see if he can develop a 2023 20, set that, has, that he has down as good as he throws these. Um... Austin sitting right next to us. Are these 2023 stamped? Yeah, you got to ask him. Are they 2023 stamped? They are not. No. You will see. Austin said, what up, Josh Cruz? I mean, Big Tone's still throwing the 2023s or 22s as well, right? 21s, I believe. Oh, 21s. Yeah, so. Yeah. That's going to be the storyline. I believe there was a question asked, and I tuned out, or I was driving, about uh, whether or not they're allowed to use the t previous stamp bags for the first shootout. So, did I was Trey told. That? I don't know if he did, but uh, according to our emails and what we have been told, every single pro event you have to throw 23 stamp bags. Okay, so even if it's not 23 yet, they still got to throw those. Yes. Okay. Every s for pro events. So y the oh. open, you could throw 21 stamps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the shootout. Shootouts and national. Yep. And I like that call. There's plenty of time to break in 2023 20, stamp bags. Yeah. I'm still breaking mine in some of them. Like the slide bags are there, but um, I'm working on the carpet a little bit more. It's still a little quick for me. You know, I like Velcro. Sneaks around. Trying to get that last bag to go. Or last point, I mean. 
Expect a blocker here. A little bit off. too far to the side. This is a big shot from Alec. He has to collect on this bag. That's a good spot. That's going to go. They're That's both. A good spot. I think they're both slick side. They are both slick side. All right, so this is another timeout from Devin. I think this is this only is number two. To be no, yeah, this is number two. Because the, le this is number the last two. time the he one gave he up three points, yeah. yes. I'm thinking, I'm thinking he's going to try to cut into that gap and hopefully sit. That's the goal. You mean right to left? Yeah, right okay. to left and try to get in the gap of the, or the hole so it doesn't fall. He completely it's missed it. Like this is a big shot. It's going up. About. And they all bunch. He hits it perfect and they all bunch. That's unfortunate, man. That is an unfortunate way to end it. That's crazy. You cannot have hit that any better. Devin Harbaugh is going to take down that bracket. He's my overall pick to win, in case you guys didn't know, JT. Hey, so far I'm two for two. Ryan Windsor able to pull off the double dip against Kyle Malone. So Ryan Windsor, Devin Harbaugh, and Tony Smith advancing to the single elimination format. This is the last bracket up for grabs. Gavin Cano with Fisher Hamilton. Gavin came up to me right before that match ended and said, I'm going to give you a better match for sure. I said, if not, at least reach over and karate chop me. The chat, this is the last one before we go to the single elimination format. Who are you guys taking here? Will Gavin be able to double dip? Or is Fisher Hamilton taking this one down? I got Fisher. Double Fisher, dip. Did you know that Fisher's my pick for the D bracket? <laughs> oh, man. It uh, sounds like you picked everybody that's still in for every single bracket. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Ryan Windsor was the only one I didn't pick. I picked Josh Holland there. So Josh Holland was the, let's see. Oh, wait, it's the wrong bracket. I closed it down. Bracket A. Josh Holland was the 13 seed. Devin Harbaugh. Was a 16 seed. Yeah, again, it's so early in the season, so points don't really matter. I mean, it matters for seeding, but, like, there's still a lot of pros that are really low ranked, and they're not that low of a talent. Yeah, Fisher Hamilton came in as a six seed. So Fisher was the highest ranked person that I picked, I think. See, Big Tone was in C bracket, right? Let me pull that one Maybe. back up. Yeah, Big Tone was the four seed, okay. Yeah, so Kyle, that kind of Kyle just got uh, knocked out by... Windsor. I had him winning as well. But unlike Wally, I don't change my picks. <laughs> I only changed one. And that was only because we went live. All right, guys, welcome to the live feed. Starting things off with Josh Holland and Ryan Windsor. Holland goes down. I'm like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> JT says the seeds really don't mean much. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Means I'm more gooder at predicting. More gooder. 100%. You're the more goodest. And the more goodest predictor. Predictorizer. We're there's a couple Gavin double dips in here. But that's that's my more that's my thing though, man. Is I have to I'm gonna have a show talking about who's gonna win and bracket breakdowns and picking and stuff. I gotta know things. I gotta see it and feel it. It's all about getting the vibe, you know? There's probably I think eight people in bracket A that could have won bracket A. Uh, bracket A is pretty stacked, Jimmy. I'll let bracket A was extremely snagged. I'll let you off the hook. There was over 70% pros. Much more good as this. You ain't lying, though. What happened to the ACLT? Is it still off? Man, I, I reset it like two or three times. And it's off again. Oh, and we lost Facebook. I know. We're still on Facebook. What's happening? We're on Facebook. No, no, no. Okay, never mind. I was looking at the wrong symbol. Yeah, that's not a Facebook icon. Yeah, ACL TV, man. It, it's struggling today. I got it reset, though, so if you want to watch an ACL TV, it should be up and running now. But thank you for letting me know. Are right, you said we got a lot of Gavin double dips, huh, in yeah. the chat? We got more Gavin double dips than Fisher wins, and it's, he has to beat him in two games. All right, these bags are live. We're ready to rock and roll. Gavin wants this one, man. Looks like it.
This is the collect. I don't know. I just feel like the carpet throwers need to throw slick side more, man. I don't know. Nah. I know you're not going to agree with me, but. So listen, let me explain something And, and here. Big Tony was like, Big Tony was like, why let the bag do the work? Throw it. And I feel like that's a lot no, of the carpet mentality. That's completely opposite. Let the bag do the work is the mentality. 100%. Yeah, but he, he's like, just you throw the bag. I hate slick bags because you letting the bag do the work. And I'm not sure if that's why sl carpet throwers don't throw slick side as much. No, it's is it just the release and the feel? I don't know. So most of these carpet throwers that you're seeing are throwing a five carpet on the slow side. So five pushing into a five is very easy because we already throw hard as a carpet thrower. Now if you're throwing like a Pro Vantage Pro X or like a Viking, it's all slow. So that's where I would flip it over. Make sense? I just feel like they do it more. Oh, man. Gavin went a little bit too aggressive there. If he's going to do that, I think he should have taken the time out to look at it. I would have been perfectly fine with Gavin taking the one point and getting first throw there. It's going to wash out the round. Oh, uh, what we got here? Oh, got the old Facebook ad popping up. Gavin with the switch on a T-shirt. I didn't see what was done first time. He wants that spark apparel bonus, though. I know that much. I feel like Fisher has never finished less than second in his bracket in an open. Rinse and repeat for the kid. Um, He's played in some before without it. That's never really heard of him, but when he's he's on his groove, man, he's definitely going deep. Probably random question, but curious, who did the ACL commentary before they hired you? Pretty much Trey Ryder. All, all Trey, as far as I know. I believe Trey and Fred were on the road traveling. You mean you don't do this just for fun? I do do this for fun. This is my life now. Without this, I would uh, be a boring accountant. Do you feel like Gavin's maybe trying a little bit too much right now? Put a little bit too much pressure on himself? I think he is. I mean, Gavin is very determined, but I feel like the emotions are not in line right now. I think he's a little frustrated. I don't think the bag is doing exactly what he wants it to. What he wants it to do? Is it because Bella's over there eating Dippin' Dots, talking <laughs> Logan Chamberlain? It's that's definitely not the reason why. <laughs> I think it's because you have an opportunity to score a big round and you end up throwing a six on a five. That would definitely be frustrating. That might have something to do with it. <laughs> missing opportunities to, opportunities to score is a lot worse than missing the first bag to give up points. So I think as the way the seating would go right now, Big Tone would be number one. If Fisher wins this, will that be two? Yeah, if Fisher wins this, he'll be two. Is it seated by points as well? I think so. It should be. And then Windsor and then Harbaugh? I uh, keep forgetting I closed on the brackets. I could figure that out pretty quickly. Well, so that would mean Big Tone would take on Harbaugh in round one, if, uh, if my numbers were correct. That'd be a great match. Second bracket win, though, for Big Tone this season. Yeah, so Devin Harbaugh is ranked 500. Tony is 132. Windsor is 149. And then, it's for argument's sake, say Fisher wins. Fisher is 232. So the seating would go one goes to Tony, two goes to Windsor, three goes to Fisher, and four goes to Harbaugh. And I believe Gavin's pretty much the same as Fisher, right? Gavin would actually be the one seed if he wins, pushing everybody else further back. He's ranked 41. Yeah, Gavin came in as the two seed for his bracket. Okay. If that's how it goes. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes, though. 
A little extra on that one, unable to get it to go. Chris ends up blocking the pile. See, that's just a different mentality right there. I'm going slick side, pushing through that pile and collecting right away. That one is moving. I don't think he knew that bag was moving as he was throwing it. I think that would have changed the entire outcome right there. Five to two. Fisher is in the king seat. He'll have to be double dipped by Gavin. First time these two played against each other. Fisher took it down 25 to nine, throwing a 9.75 PPR against Gavin's 8.75. The match lasted 16 rounds. So what's your over under here on this one, Jimmy? Uh, this match already feels longer, so we're going to go uh, over under 20 rounds. Eight rounds in so far. Jimmy's calling 12 more. Oh, shit. Eight rounds in. Let's go. Uh, I like 20. Yeah? I like 20. Yeah. Especially for that reason right there. The aggressiveness from Gavin. That was a big push. Yeah, so he got two for one there. Gavin's still got an air metal to collect the other one. He's not going to. He's going to give up three. I like it. Already missed one shot. Take advantage. So how do you feel? Is this your debut with Kyle today? No. This is our – so we played multiple tournaments, like, open, not open as pros. Wise, open wise, this is our second open. This season? Yep. Where was the first one? Rock Hill. So yeah. I think Rock Hill we got fourth or fifth, and then this one we got third. So as long as we keep improving. It's a good start for the season for sure. So Are you guys committed to throw with each other every shootout? As long as you guys can both make it? I would like to, yes. So like a couple people asked me, and I said, um, so as long as first. Kyle doesn't go, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'd rather play with the same person over and over and over again. Than See, opens, I think people. it's fine to mix partners and have fun with the opens and do whatever. But shootouts, I, I feel like that should be partner committing. Let's throw the partners. Yeah, I mean, it's the other way around, though. <laughs> like most people play randomly with shootouts. Mm -hmm. For me, it's more of a getting team chemistry to perform well in nationals because that's what's important. Joy Wood, Wally, sorry didn't say goodbye. Later, Bubba. Have a good trip, man. Good seeing you again. Did you uh, end up taking down Advanced? What ended up happening over there? I wouldn't mind seeing all the brackets play themselves out and then having the advanced singles championship while they're getting ready for the single elimination bracket. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Okay. Eight to two here though. Fisher trying to finish it out in one game. 11 rounds in. I like that block from Gavin. Too hard on that one. Did not cut. Goes off the back of the board. Sticky side roll too far to the left. No drip on that one just yet. More than likely going to go, though. Still moving nothing, so we're going to get a roll collect here. There Great you job. Do. Nicely done. Great call by me. It's like it's this is your job or something. That's specifically for JT. Oh, who pushed that button? That was Jimmy. Jimmy put on the wrong graphic. My fingers are too big. Got second. Got double dipped. Ah, oh, man, I taught you too much. I taught you everything I know. That's yeah, what I lied. <laughs> I don't ever get the king seat. I lied. <laughs> I was going to say, that's one thing you taught me. I usually, I, dude, I am notorious for getting to the final four, undefeated, losing that match, and then losing the next one. Just one out of the money every time. Can't we uh, can't reset the mind after the first loss? <laughs> no, I mean, because you 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 get that far and then you're already gearing yourself up for the long break. Yep. And then you play that match, you lose right away, and then you sit, 
as the loser bracket catches up, and then you play, and it's just so frustrating, man. I can't get my mind reset. I got you. But I was talking to Harbaugh yesterday after his doubles championship with Vincent, and I said, you know, you still owe me a tournament, man. He said, we'll throw it together at one point. He said, I got you. You got to hit, hit him up like six months before. Well, we'll get it. I told him, I said, I'm not going to waste it this year because I'm not throwing. I said, what's going to happen is I'm going to take some time off. And then uh, Ryan Windsor owes me one. John Fuentes owes me one. And then Devin Harbaugh owes me one. So I'm going to I'm gonna try and three, get in the top yeah, 24. I'm, I'm going to try, go. try and get enough of uh, strong back partners to do regionals. There you go. And we'll probably take K9 on the Regionals or opens? I, say, I can't throw on opens because we do this. But I would like to. I would like to have good showings at opens. I'm sorry, regionals. Score is nine to six now, as you can see. Cookie dough dipping dots again, man. They even made a killing on dipping dots this weekend. Is that what you got? He got cookie dough. I went up there and she lied to me. I said, "What flavors do you have?" She well, said, "Which one did you go to?" She said, "Right up there." You can go over there. They got Dippin' Dots over there, too. Do they? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, she lied to me. She said they have rainbow, chocolate, cotton candy, and that's it. You ever had birthday cake ice cream? I have. It's surprising how actually it tastes like birthday cake. Like confetti cake? Yeah. Yeah. Tastes exactly like it. Only cold. Kate Allen calling Fisher has this bracket. Who's Kate Allen? Uh, what is Kate Allen? Why is Kaden? I might have to go get some more Dippin' Dots. <laughs> That's how I was yesterday. I think Noah Wooten came up with like three Dippin' Dots in his hand, and he wanted to see that Devin Harbaugh shot yesterday. And I was like, man, you're like the fourth person to come up to my table and look at my monitor and have Dippin' Dots in your hand. So You want a Dippin' Dots while I had to go get me some. Um... I mean, kind of now. <laughs> <laughs> kind of now that we're talking about dipping Dots. What do you want, cookie dough? Yeah, I like cookie dough. All right. Dayton Will says, you don't know who Caden Allen is? Dude is a beast. He'll be pro next season. Maybe. Maybe. Sure hope so. I mean, you know me. I don't like predicting things. I want to play against him. Caden Allen and Wally against Jimmy Humans. And D-Boy, who wins? Ooh, me and D-Boy. D-Boy's a monster on the boards. You're sneaky, though. I could give up sneaky, I though. could give up 20 points. D-Boy was scroll 21. The real question is, why is Jimmy commentating when he should be making his arms bigger at the gym? Caden, you, you should know this. My arms cannot get bigger. You have to break down the muscle in order to build it back up. He's already got his swole on for the day. The man did 5,000 push-ups before singles today. When one of my arms looks like two of Ryan Smith's combined, you can't get any bigger than that. I couldn't put my shirt on, shirt on this morning. I can't talk either. <laughs> I, love, I mean, the one thing I do like about watching these youngsters throw is their facial expressions after a miss. Oh yeah, like they get into it, man. Some of them are really so animated. much, so much pressure on themselves. Hey, Jimmy Graham in the chat, what up, bro? I feel like some lose games to a roll. I missed a comment from Brianna earlier, I guess. Uh, I feel like some lose games to roll rather than airmail. I agree with rolling too much. Yeah, I think that's got a lot to do with being well-rounded for sure. Like the, I don't think they roll too much, but I think there are times they should shoot the airmail. Jimmy uh, does not hesitate to shoot the airmail. Whether I hit it is another story, but I'm definitely shooting it. Airmail's guaranteed. Hey, let's, let's ask Jamie Graham this question. Jamie Graham, if you were a Marvel character, who would you be? Ooh, yeah. Let's get it. We were trying to figure this out earlier. Jimmy gave you somebody, and I'll tell you after you, after you answer who he gave you. I'm not sure and I then, agree. Yeah, but then you, I'll give you the reasoning why. Yeah, but you gotta wait. You gotta wait. Tice Cobb, what up, bro? The <laughs> big arms joke. It's funnier and funnier. What joke? I don't know. 
It's not a joke how big my arms are. What was a joke is your music selection, bro. Mm. Don't come at the man. Just saying. You can't defend himself. Didn't know anybody. He's in the he's in the chat. It's not Twenty like he's second here. delay. Yeah. Cody says third place. Me and you had a Kansas Open Blonde draw. Oh man, I never got third place. Pretty sure I won that one. I have not tried steroids. Like I said, my arms can't get bigger. Just don't. They just can't. If I tried steroids, my arms would be as small as Ryan Smith's. They would have the reverse effect and completely shrink. Tell you what, this is definitely a much better battle. Gavin's holding up his end of the deal. I don't think we're going 21 rounds, though. 11 to 10, 19 rounds in. Definitely going over. I still like seeing his big toes stick out of the hey dudes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, these are his lucky. I'm not asking. These have got to be his lucky hey dudes. There's no way he got new hey dudes after. I mean, I know he did get new hey dudes after Vegas, but there's no way that the ones that he bought after Vegas already broke in like that. Right. Jamie Graham, if you were a Marvel character, who would you be? You could be a villain as well. Any any character. Any character. And don't say Black Widow because I'm in love with Scarlett Johansson. You ruined that for me. <laughs> Why you're not in love Jamie with Jamie? Says, Jamie says I would be the Hulk. All right, Jimmy was giving you Iron Man. Yes. So I put Mark Richard as Captain America. Actually, wasn't there a the and Hulk? And then I put you as Iron Man. There was a Hulk in Iron Man outfit, right? What? Wasn't that the uh, Avengers Endgame? What are you talking about? Where oh, the yeah. Hulk was wearing the Iron Man on? So, that was uh, Banner was wearing yeah, yeah. the Iron Man suit. I mean, but that's that brings the question. Does the suit make the man, or does the man make the suit? True. I mean, he kind of got curb stomped by, like, that one dude. <laughs> so... These guys got to have more fun. They're getting a little tense. And then, yeah, Tornado is the ACL Iron Man, not the Marvel Iron Man. I still think, though, Matt Guy would be Thanos. I still, I don't know who said that, but I still like that one. The Infinity Stones will be all his championships. I can dig it. I mean, Adam Hisner could be Thanos with his tumbler being the gauntlet. Someone said Adam Hisner for Deadpool. Yeah. Without the mask, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Without the mask. Very, very canny resemblance. What about um? Oh man, almost had it. What about Brevin Valdivia as Doctor Strange? I can see that one. I can see that one pretty well. I think I'm gonna add that one. To no the list. is Deadpool. Good blocker right here in round 22. Two points away from trying to take this one down. Gavin takes a couple extra seconds to make sure his roll bag is where it needs to be. First one is in for him. Fisher matches on the other side. Misses the hole, goes a little bit too deep. Will Fisher try and collect here on bag three? He will not, he'll go in clean. Gavin in. Final shot here from Fisher in round 22. Could end it. Slick side Ooh. gets the bag and the drip. That's going to do it. Fisher Hamilton takes this one down. Partners doing battle. Bracket D is over. We got the final four set. Fisher Hamilton, Deborah Harbaugh, Tony Smith, Ryan Windsor. We'll take a commercial break. We'll get the bracket set up. We'll be back here in just a few.
What up, everybody? You can see over here at the table, we're trying to get everything figured out. Got Ryan Wiedenfeld over here to my left, rocking the K9 t shirt. I got the K9 hoodie on. Jimmy Human's the man over here bringing us these dip and dots. We're taking a nice little break. You guys didn't actually tune in to watch Cornhole today, did you? Hmm? What's that? Oh, we got unmuted. My bad. Yeah, it got me muted. Over here. <laughs> I was like, "What?" I'm out of here. Oh. It's the silent tournament. Yeah, so we're waiting for the bracket to get built, guys. Josh Keck trying to get that situated for us. Hardball. I believe we got a match set. We'll take a look at who it's going to be. I believe it is Big Tone and Harbaugh. Randy, once again, he got knocked out. He cannot win this. Who me? I wasn't in to begin with. You weren't. No. Yo, well, we get the zoom, bro. What's it? What we got? Oh. Is Carmen the helicopter mom now? Is that what we're is that what we're counting? Helicopter mom. Yeah. She's a Maverick Swiss Maverick sister. A little Top Gun reference. Did you like the new Top Gun? I thought it was all right. I liked it a lot. Honestly, I thought it was pretty good, but I don't remember the first one that much. That's what I want to go back and watch it again. <laughs> I like how it says the most unbelievable part of that uh, whole movie was that he knew the, the lyrics to that song. All those youngsters knew the lyrics to that song. <laughs> I believe it. All right, so the bracket is set. We are going to get Tony Smith taking on Devin Harbaugh here for the first match. Next match will be Fisher Hamilton and Ryan Windsor. And the winners of these two matches will play off against each other. They're going to play ACL Open the number four championship after that. they got to play me and then arm wrestle Jimmy Humans for all the money. If they don't win all three of those in a row, they walk away with nothing. Yeah, all that money is going to me. No one's beating me in arm wrestling. Facts. There's actually a guy here, and they call him the old man. He's uh, like a professional arm wrestler. He, uh, Are you ready to go? He ended up be beating Jacob in an arm wrestling. Oh. Jacob Trzinski, that is. All right, let's see what we got here. We says uh, Randy says he's got Kyle Malone. Good luck with that one. Wally, I uh, love looking over your setup at Badgerland Brawl, but seeing this one now, that looks completely different. What is that? What's what? Oh, yeah, this is the ACL stuff, man. Can you imagine me driving all the way out to California to do a live feed? Nope. It would have been a two-camera setup on blurry cameras. All right, that's how we're starting, huh? I'm getting made fun of because I eat starting. a lot. You got to keep it up, man. You're burning calories at the gym, dude. I'm getting bullied. No food shame. It happens, man. I believe there's a saying about haters are going to hate or something like that. Yeah, some, something similar. So over or under this round, 21 rounds. What do you got? <laughs> under. I don't know if you know this, Jimmy, but these are both my picks to win their brackets. <laughs> I may have heard this once or twice. Whoa. <laughs> that was a laser beam. You got a party mount, I'll put you in timeout. You can go talking like that, man. Yeah, I don't go in timeout, dog. I'm too big. Oh, you can go timeout over there. What's that? Your party mount, man. <laughs> K9 Texas. Eats and nothing. I owe you Who some is? bottles. Let's go. What's up, Ben Ben? There he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Good placement on that one. I think Big Tone should be able to roll over. Good collect. Ooh. What up, L Train? How you doing, man? This could be a four spot. 
How are you collecting this one? Shooting it? Me? I would shoot it. But I don't know. He went for the cut. He thought he might be able to grab it. I think I think, I think he, he just went that. in for four. I think that was that was the goal there. That was airmail's not off this weekend though. I mean I would have shot it for a chance at six. Don't worry about my food, bro. Can't do your own. Fucker off to the right just a little bit. Darren Michelle Chitty says 17 rounds. Devin's doing a much better job today with that bag on the right-hand side, cutting around it left to right. Possible airmail coming. He's going for the cut instead. Ooh, almost got that, it. That one looked rushed. It looked like he had an intention to just go right in the hole, and then Tony's bag stopped a little short, and he just continued his throwing motion. I think a he little did. reset there would have done the trick. I agree. I think it was rushed. Sometimes you get into a game, though, and you start getting into a rhythm with the other player. I think it's happened twice so far this match with Big Tone, that one shot only getting two points, and then right there from Harbaugh. I think they both missed an opportunity to collect at least two more points this game. Let's see if those two points come in, come back to bite them. It happens to everybody. Slick side push misses. Big Tone's going to escape with two that round. Pacing is everything. Devin is throwing the board walkers. What an odd name. Like it suit I feel like it suits it, but it's just I don't know. It's unusual. Is a logo a crab, I think? For the board walkers? That would make sense. I think it's a crab and then walking up the board. Isn't there a Hummer out now that like does the crab walk sideways? I don't understand the purpose of that. Ooh. What do you think Big Tone's thinking right now? Uh, how did that roll on top? I'm going to lay I, up. I think he's thinking bar soap. <laughs> <laughs> well, he wanted to block instead. I'm surprised. Big Tone's tried two bar soaps. Did not work. Said he gives Devin bumpers on both sides, and he's going to collect for four. There you go. He knew it. Oh, this graphics kill me. Bow on the bumpers. Harbaugh looks completely unchallenged in his singles games today. I agree. He looks like he's just on another level. I mean, yesterday he was doing a lot more fancy stuff. And I'm wondering if people seeing that maybe makes them think they got to do something differently against them or just take them off their game I don't I don't know I feel like they're playing the player not the not the situation that's in front of them I don't know it's a good point in other words whenever everybody else plays them it's not the sharpest game we've seen out of them that is true He's also been able to put people, like you were saying earlier, mm -hmm. in different situations, in hard spots to score. Like, if Tony misses that push, he gives up a seven. He has to hit it just to wash. Twelve four in round eight. Mama, who are you rooting for? Uh-oh, there's a miss. Tony's got a half step out. Was that slick or stick? That was fast side. Fast side? That was, was a bit closer. Step out, bounce. Slick side in hand again. Real opportunity to score here. That's good good job pushing ready. Devin off the hole as well. Devin goes up for the air mill. Big Tony's got to collect. There it is, fingers crossed again. That's not going to work. 
Tony's going to take it in for four. That was the first time I've ever, ever seen the Harbaugh finger cross not work for Harbaugh. <laughs> it's his pet and move. Special power. <laughs> Matt Guy, the collector? That's not that bad. You're talking about Benicio Del Toro? Who? For Marvel? Yeah, he said Matt collector. Guy as the collector. Yeah. JB, Jimmy Thor. I can see Jamie being Thor. I don't mind that one. It's got to be somebody with a beard. Yeah. Like, you never see Thor beardless. What about like a Dylan Turpin for Thor? Yeah, I like that you know one. I, mean? I like that one. I feel like Dylan could smash some things with a hammer. I'm not going to lie. I, 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 I don't think it would have been the right call, but I, I saw Devin collecting that bag for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> the way I was seeing this entire weekend go. I'm surprised he left it. <laughs> it's like I haven't had enough highlight reels. But we are at the single elimination point of the tournament, so I don't doubt it. Go ahead and go with two. Live to fight another day. Big Tone. He was down big. Came back to beat Eddie. Not afraid from playing behind. Side by side there. Good roll. Let's see if oh, he's going sticky side. I kind of want to see him go slick and bully that out a little bit. Steady brought it up closer. The issue with Harbaugh's bags is that fast side is so quick. Mm -hmm. Missing a half inch will devastate you. There it was that time. Tony's bag stopped moving. Harbaugh took a second, goes in the hole, collects the two points. That's what he should have done a few, or I guess earlier rounds. Never mind. We're in round number 10 right now. These guys are playing pretty fast. These, this is the final four, game one. Yep. Up next, Ryan Winter will take on Fisher Hamilton. Tone takes advantage. Is that a lead change? That is. Oh, man. 15 14. Now, when you're throwing more roll bags in your own slide shop, do you, do you think it's going to eventually be a higher percentage than sliding? I don't know because whenever I'm throwing uh, warm ups, I, like I said, I like to throw a sticky side. Yeah. And then whenever I go to the game, I you know, throw a faster bag. So. Really? Well, I, I warm up with carpet, then I switch over to slick bags, and I feel like it, near, it locks me in a little bit more. But I don't have such a hard cut like most of these carpet throwers do, though. Right. So, I mean, that might be a factor as well. Slick side, kind of hit the pile and didn't go anywhere. Don't use Velcro bags. Stop that. <laughs> Gorilla group. Gorilla glue bags. They are uh, one of the stickiest set of bags I've ever seen. One of Three, two. Got the crowd behind us telling him to go up. I think you go slicker. I, I kind of like leaving it. He's going slick. He rolls on top. One bag is still draggable. I don't know if the other one will go with yeah, it. He was wanting to push the pile. What he actually did, it's hard to see on the screen. But that bag that rolled on top of his other bag lifted that corner too. Yeah, so now he has one bag elevated in the hole and the other bag sitting on top of it. So if he goes in, he could take them all with an airmail. So Big Tone's got the shot first. Tony's going to go slick side, pushes <coughs> through. The shot's there if Harbaugh wants to drag. He's just going to slide in, take the wash. Yeah, missed opportunity there. Eight on eight. Score's going to remain 15-14, going into round number 13.
Tony is dead center of the board block. Harbaugh tries to get around it, just kicks off. Tony's going to just roll. Misses off to the left. Gives Harbaugh bumpers. Bowling with bumpers. Harbaugh's back on the back of the hole. That is still a potential drag, but not anymore. Tony bumps it out. Good shot. Tony's got a big push here, potentially taking all three of his bags in the hole. He leaves the one on the left. Harbaugh slides in to take two in the first bag with another lead change. Reynolds bag lead change. Shout out to the plug. <laughs> <laughs> Stole that one in, Joe. Harbaugh, the 9.77, 13 rounds in. Tony, 9.69. It's good to see uh, an actual game here, you know what I mean? Like it's, a, it's a close one, back and forth. This is how the single elimination part should work. I like when they brought this into play last year. I think it adds a whole other element. Agreed. Oh, he knew he left that one off the board. That can be dangerous. Don't need four bags here. Harbaugh needs to collect. Good roll shot. This is a difficult shot. And it kicks off. In for the win. On the board for the win. On that the board? Game. Oh, yeah, six. Yep. That will do it. Harbaugh, crazy run. Just falling short to Tony. And Tony's block us. Devin Harbaugh has been the player of the weekend, but Big Tone coming in as the one seed right there, takes him down 21-16. Big Tone and East Moline said they don't like putting me on the live feeds. Keep on winning. We don't have a choice. We're going to bring in Ryan Windsor and Fisher Hamilton now. And I'm going to get another dip and outs. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from Mason. Don't let him know. Yeah. Good shooting, buddy. Chad, who are you guys taking? We're down to the final three. I need to know these things. I need to know. Tony's roll was on point that game. Brewer out. Finished PPR with a 9.71. Harbaugh 9.36. Unfortunate last couple of pushes there from Devin Harbaugh. Weekend comes to a close. My overall pick to win eliminated. Ryan Windsor called himself winning a tournament this weekend. Caden says Fisher wins it all. Jordan calling Fisher versus Tony Fisher. Windsor. It's an all carpet finals. Carpet's taking over. Jordan, I got Fisher winning it all. Either way, go BG or go home. Definitely going to have one BG bag in the finals. G always ends up in the finals. Ryan Windsor versus Tony Smith. Windsor versus Big Tone. Kim says Smith for the dub. YouTube chat is quiet. Nobody in YouTube talking. 285 over there. 600 on Facebook. 887. 890 viewers. Let's see if we can get over 1,000, guys. Come on. Come on. We can do it. Hit the share button. Get your friends and family in here. We're done taking commercials. We'll be here the entire time. Rich says, should be a good one. Hashtag bad gods. Yes, sir. Curious to see what type of game we're going to play here. Will it be muddy? 
with roll bags, air mills, blockers? Are we going hole for hole? I expect with Fisher to get quite a few blockers. Ryan wants to limit the risk. Clean board definitely favors Windsor. Uh, Jake, yeah, I'll be in Virginia Beach. Paul says, I got the short shorts for the dub. Down to the final two matches of the evening. I believe we're ready to roll. Starting things off on the left-hand side, Ryan Windsor rocking the Windsor Bag Code jersey. Fisher Hamilton on the other side rocking the Cornhole Chemistry T-shirt. Both players get their last little sip of aiming fuel. And we are ready to roll. I'll tell you what, though. Anthony Owen has to be loving this to see all carpet players in uh, the finals. He's a slinky guy now. Yeah, but um, on around the ACL, he told Trey Ryder it's going to be the year of the carpet, that uh, carpet's going to have more wins or something along the lines. And so far, Alec, Alec Ryan, right? And then... Jamie Graham's is on the other side, I would say. Yep. And then Caden Allen is on the other side as well. So it's going to be 2-2 two -two after an open number four. Okay. When will the ACL finish announcing the rest of the open locations? After today. Any day after today. Any day after today. We got the BG Mercenaries in the hands of Fisher Hamilton and the BG Action Bags in the hands of Ryan Windsor. Starting things off here, 0-0. Zero, zero. Says round two on the scoreboard. Hey, that's right. Jay Rubin then, what up? Cornhole Network, really hard to not root for Windsor. Just so fun to watch. He almost throw out a turn. <laughs> I think that's what happened. I tried that before. It's a really hard way to win. <laughs> God, wins are off guard. <laughs> wins are able to regroup and fire off a nice block, and here we go. Dirty board already. Going re-block. Roll bag. Perfect. Yeah, good speed on that one. Pretty much ramped right off that pile, goes in the hole. Tried to some roll of his own. On top of his other bag. Hamilton too far to the left, and I think that helps out Windsor. Now he can push through and use that to dirty bag possibly. He'll collect, leave that one there. Roll bag for a wash. Does not get it over the hill. Two nothing start for Ryan Windsor. So you like a situation like that. Why not just airmail? Right, it's all or nothing, but you're only giving up one more point. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's their, their forte is the roll. Stick with the roll. I mean, it's about what you're comfortable with, but I concur. I believe he threw the mercenaries yesterday with Alec Ryan. Yes. And I guess he liked the way they felt. He's kind of staying there. Do you I know? Mean, it's obviously working for him. Do you know if that's his normal bag? I didn't think so. But then again, he threw a lot of different bags last year. He had success with Vikings, and then I believe he won with the Swag uh, Shazams or something. I don't even know. It wasn't Shazams. It was Swag's carpet bag. I don't even know. Emeralds. Emeralds. That was it. <coughs> Wild. 4 nothing start. And I, I don't know if I could sit in a car ride with Windsor for an hour and listen to him talk about, I told you I was going to win. He didn't believe in me. <laughs> I thought these were all for your picks, though. Oh, uh, yeah, I picked Windsor to win the whole thing. <laughs> no. no, I had the, I had uh, three out of the four right. <clears throat> I'll take that. <clears throat> Narrowing down the actual winner is hard for me, but this is the second open where I've done pretty good with my picks. So if there's four carpet players, correct, mm -hmm. and all of them roll, I would have to go with the one that has the best roll shot to win. Good collect from Windsor. So out of these four players left, though, 
Oh, well, Devin's eliminated now, but Devin, Windsor, Hamilton, and Big Tone, who has the best airmail? The best airmail? I would have said Harbaugh, but he's eliminated. I don't know. I think Tony has the best role. I think Tony has the best role as well. So I would have to take him to win the whole thing. I would say Harbaugh had the best airmail, I would think. Yeah. It would have been cool to have like one slinky thrower in there to uh, like balance it out, see if uh, he could come on top. Windsor's doing a great job of not being affected too much by the blocker, and as soon as I start talking about it, he's off to the right-hand side. Fisher does not push the pile. Windsor goes with a block on bag number three. And the roll bag too far to the left. I'm airmailing this if I'm Windsor. I think he might step out and push. He might be going for a roll of his own. Sits on yeah. top. I don't like it. And another roll there. I mean, the hole is wide open, y'all. Shoot it. Shoot it. It's going to stay 8 nothing though, on that round. But what do I know? I'm not even close to this talent. I am also shooting it. Even if my roll bag is a 90%. Tony has the best roll, says Jacob. I mean, BG actions are money. Roll bags is winter thrown. He is throwing the BG actions. Fisher immediately going to blocker on bag one, even though Windsor's got one in the hole. Side by side there from Windsor. Sticky side push misses too far to the left. Fisher's got to clean up his game a little bit. The blocker does not have the same effect on Windsor that it has had on his previous opponents. What bags did you throw, Jamie? Did you actually throw carpet bags for singles? But uh, didn't Caden Allen throw, doesn't he throw like a slinky bag? There was like a six or five on the slow side. Sorry, what was that? Caden Allen, doesn't he throw like a five or six slow side? I thought he threw surefires in Kentucky. Yeah, so I, I mean, I want to consider that carpet. Yeah. I mean, Fisher Hamilton's block right now is money. It's the bags after the block that are giving him trouble. There's a good roll. That blocker is only good if you can do something with it. A slick side by Windsor going right into the pile. And Fisher's going to avoid it and go in. Yeah, the Vengeance are of, uh, like a surefire material, so I wouldn't consider that carpet. Missed opportunity. Looked off balance when he threw it. Came across the board. 10 nothing. score remains. Round number eight. Winner of this one gets Tony Smith for the overall championship. PPR so far 9.3 against an 8. Potential bar of soap. He's not going to go for it. I don't think he's going to do that. But Windsor's going to play a little. <laughs> <laughs> Windsor's going to play a little bit smarter game than that. Give the people what they want. That was a great roll. So Windsor's got two sitting. Slick side collects them all to finish off his 12 pack. Social Fisher on the other side. As far as composure goes, Windsor winning that battle as well. See now. With two bags hanging, being Fisher, and Windsor having two bags behind you, why not lay up and then shoot your roll or airmail to drag? I mean, one thing that Windsor's doing is something I said earlier. If you're going to throw the carpet bags, you have to be able to master the slick side. And Windsor is doing a very great job of displaying that right now. 
His pushes are on point, proven that he wants it. Balance off right there. Regrip from Fisher. And he does get low on that bag. He's trying to lift up that corner to collect it. He's got one bag left to do it. Looks like he was just going straight in the hole there. I, I just don't feel like the decision making from Fisher is where it needs to be. I like that airmail there. Or the roll. Or the roll, that something. That he's just going straight in. I, I, I don't understand that one. There's not really a good angle on it. He threw it flat. He didn't even try to like reverse cut at all. Mm -mm. I feel like this is almost a, I have to prove myself that I, I have to prove that I belong here. It, yeah, it looks like a very forced, ma forced match. Like, he doesn't look very comfortable at all, like, in his throws, his body language. Yep. I said composure battle's important. Windsor's definitely winning this one. Yeah, Windsor looks very confident in his game right now. Even right there, he hits that roll like he wants to and still shaking his head immediately after. Yeah, he's still frustrated about the last bag. That should go if they boards it. I yeah. doubt, I don't see it boarding and not going. Goes through Smart it. play going through. One more, 11 nothing. Tony Smith waiting for the winner of this one. ACL Open number four, Big Tone trying to get his home turf championship. He'll be in charge of the California team come draft day on uh, New Year's in Myrtle Beach. I'm excited for the draft, Molly. I don't know about you, but Myrtle Beach draft should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I didn't get to experience the first one. So. Yeah, so I'll do Thanksgiving. I'll do the ACL Live with Bernie the Monday afterwards. Okay. Me and you will get our thing going on Warzone and maybe Warframe and what else? Yeah, we could do Warframe Wednesdays too. Yeah, That's and then we'll, we'll, do, uh, we'll do some fun stuff the last week in November, and then it's go time, man. Got to start getting ready for the team's draft. We're going to do some cool graphics. I think we got all the ACL staff on board for that one. Let's go. Hosted by Michelle Thompson, broadcasted and produced by Trey Ryder and myself. And I believe, is it Anthony and Bernie? And for what? Hosting it? Or analyzing? I'm not sure. Hosting I'm the draft? Sure. Yeah. I have no I'm idea. I'm pretty sure everyone's on. Everybody's on board. They don't tell me anything until the day of. Professor X himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kim, I know it's not his home turf, but he's the California captain is what I'm getting at. He's an honorary Californian is what I'm getting at. He's the lead captain. Name the captain, though. It's called a segue, Kim. I was talking about the draft going into it. All right, you ruined it. Never mind. Revan, stop spitting facts, dude. <laughs> Everybody knows I'm bigger than Jacob. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So she needs to call a timeout to regroup and slow down Ryan. Yeah, call a timeout, go down, look at the board. I like a timeout and just walk away. Yeah, like I said, call the timeout, go down there and look at an open board and just kind of like look at it from different angles. That Maybe. will really mess somebody <laughs> up. Get Ryan out of his element. <laughs> I challenge somebody to send me a broadcast of you calling a timeout with an open board just to go down and look at it. <laughs> I actually, Matter of fact, Jimmy, you're here. You do it. I actually did that. Um, it was in doubles, though. You, can you zoom in on uh, I'm not doing it. I already toe. did it. Because <laughs> I think with the toe hanging out of the shoe, it puts <laughs> him over the line. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I'm going to leave this man alone. So, yeah, so uh, yesterday in the blind draw, or day before yesterday, I don't even know what day it is. Whenever the blind draw was, I called a timeout Friday. on an open board just to talk to my partner. So, and yeah, it worked for you. you. Guys won that game, didn't you? Yeah, we won like the next round after. Yeah, but I want to see it in singles. Yeah, that'd be 
talk to your partner in singles. <laughs> I just want to see you walk down with the open board, like analyze the board, like how do I get this next bag in the hole? <laughs> Imagine yelling at your partner in singles. <laughs> Taking the time out to do it. <laughs> Is it open? <laughs> I get you, Kale. I'm just messing with you. Mind games. Half the battle. You ain't lying, Austin. The PPR in this game? Yeah, they do have them. Really? Mm hmm. I thought it wasn't Bag Tracker. There you go. Good cut from Fisher. 13 to 2. Push to get them all. Ooh. Why would you take them all when you could sneak around like that and only take yours? That's gross. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Thing just lifted up and went around. That bag had some action on it. Dun dun. See what I did there? After that round, PPR is 10.14 for Windsor, 9.21 for Fisher Hamilton. 15 to 2 lead in round 15. Josh Holiday Glover says, I can do that. Who has the rest roll bag in the game? Top three, Tony Smith. Tony Smith, Eric Davis, <laughs> Eric Davis. Now, by rollback, I mean efficiency. How well they do it, not how many. See, times I'm not a rollback player, so if I were, I mean, I could probably do a roll tournament as well. Yeah, how would you set that up though? I'd have like to different levels of roll bags, yeah. like different blockers. I'm sure Colorado Cornhole Connection has some type of training board that you could put a roll bag on it, a roll block or something. With with those bags that ones you're throwing, I wouldn't even put in top three at roll bags. It's, it's more of a slide bag. Yeah, I agree. Nineteen to two. Fisher. What can you do when Windsor's this locked in? Windsor's gonna take a step out and try and bully that one off the playing field. Ends up going side by side instead. Rolled right on top of the pile. Give the audience the bar of soap. It's not slick side down. Thank we'll you. See. Ooh, just missed it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Windsor, does he, do you think he's got a bar of soap in his arsenal? I don't I mean, really think he throws a, that hard. A bar of soap is just a hard push. Yeah, but I don't really think he throws hard enough for it. Depends on how the bags are set up. That That's it? it, yeah. Game. All right, Ryan Windsor. Who's back? Whose back was that in front? Windsor. Oh, that was his. Yeah. No, that was a uh, fish. He's trying to collect it for the wash. Came in way too hard on that one. He had two to the left, to the right. Did he have it three on over. the board? That was Windsor's back in over. front. Yeah. Oh, uh, so he was trying to take it off the back. Hang on. Yeah, so he was trying to bars. I got you. Okay. Yeah. That up, makes more sense. Up next, we have Big Town. Big Town. Windsor gone. Against Windsor. Eyes is a night night. The only one in Cornhole to have a, a nose as big as mine. <laughs> Tony. So. <laughs> Brianno says, got to see the Windsor versus Tony game. No, sorry, that's it. You guys have a good night. We are all <laughs> gone. Appreciate you all tuning in. See you guys in Virginia Beach. Y'all are y'all are eating your chips the wrong way, dog. That's how I eat them. Huh? That's how I eat them. Damn. I'm all, I thought I was going to smart. And then you just dump them in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's a gaming strat. Just kidding, I'm happy. Half? Oh, jeez. Huh? All right, chat, this is it. Who is oh, taking this one down? I need to hear your predictions. Final scores, how many rounds, who's winning? ACL Open number four here in Upland, California. I need to know who you got. Mike Ortiz calling it. Tone got this one, 21-15. Happy Thanksgiving, Connie. Can you see the bracket? No need, man. This is it. This is the final match of the evening. Ryan Smith is not in this anymore. 
But Ryan Windsor is. Tony Smith as well. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 21-8 from Zach. Damian calling it Windsor. Justin Gonzalez, Tony, 21-16, 26 rounds. Tony, 21 rounds, 21-19. Windsor, 21-17. Windsor. Uh, here's, here's the round line. We're going to go. We're going to go 19 rounds. Over, under, 19 rounds. Let's see what you got. I'm definitely going over. I'm saying 24 rounds. Okay, and then we'll go. I'm going Windsor. We'll go 36 points. 22, total. 18. 26 points total? 36 total. 36, okay. 36 points total. Who you got? Over, under. I, I got to go over. I said 14. Or I said 40. 22, 18. 36 points, 19 rounds, over under. Ladies and girls, boys and gentlemen, here we go. Ryan Windsor, Tony Smith, Upland, California ACL Championship on the line. Here we go. Yeah. We got a lot of Windsor comments here. Probably three to one, Windsor to Tony. Should be a great one. We got some BG action bags going against Tony's Hall of Fame. Combats? I mean, that's appropriate. He's had these things on the broadcast for a long time. We're going to start things off with a social. 12 on 12. We are underway. We'd expect nothing less from championships. We're going to start things off that way. Windsor called it. Day one. I'm winning a championship this weekend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It ain't over yet. Big. I'm just saying, I was going to go with Big Tone, man. I want some recognition. Looked like he was out of it two rounds ago. Threw his shoulder out of socket, and all of a sudden now he's now the shoulder's working. fire working, yeah. I think that was a ploy in case he lost that match. He <laughs> excuse. No, I lost that one because my shoulder was out of socket. Yeah. Rotator cuff issues, you know. Gave up two points oh, on my <laughs> shoulder. <laughs> Got more excuses than points at that point. Jamie's Came taking back. the under in both. 23 9, 17 rounds. Wonder's got one on the backside. He's got to collect this or else it's a big round for Tony. Ooh, too far to the right. 4 nothing start. Yes. Man, yeah. people don't even know my voice nowadays. Both these guys were my pick to win the entire tournament. Just want to say you guys are doing great broadcast, great presentation, fun commentary. Thank you very much, Cornhole Network. Appreciate you. I bet there's going to be a lot of socials this game. Oh, 100%. I hope you guys are all ready. You'll be hearing me and Wally very often in the upcoming weeks. Go, 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 go. Yeah, we got to get you a Reynolds team together for the uh, Slider Cup hosted by Mark Eisley. 663 viewers on Facebook, 341 viewers on YouTube. That is 1,000 viewers right now. Appreciate all of you. Hopefully should be a pretty good match here. Mid at best. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Chance for Windsor to tie it. Four to four. Two big swings. We're back at 0-0. Zero, zero. Let's race to 17. What do you think of like a uh, a cornhole tournament? Make it like single limb. Every time you score, whatever you score, your opponent's points go down. Ooh, a teeter totter match? Yeah. So you have to beat somebody by twenty one points. So have you ever seen my blackjack board? I have not. So the blackjack board, my brother made it. It's got nine different holes on it. Okay. One or basically ace through nine. There's no ten. Mm -hmm. the ace can count as one or eleven. And we do a money shot where you pay five bucks. You got to get to 21 to advance to the next round. Okay. The pot usually gets up to like three or four hundred bucks. Then everybody who hit 21, you go again. 
highest score wins the whole pot. If two people hit 21, everyone else who didn't gets eliminated. Those guys play sudden gotcha. death, basically. Last man standing. So, pretty much, yeah. So he had two boards that he built, one kind of a test dummy, the other one that we actually use, and we played what we call tug of war. So if you threw a nine, your opponent threw an eight, you'd be plus one. Right. Very, very hard at math to keep track of, <laughs> but very, very fun. I bet. Because you're sitting there thinking, okay, he's got 25. There's no bus rule or anything like that. That'd be too, way too crazy. Yeah, no, that'd be nice. But it, but it was really fun trying to, like, manipulate the round. Okay, if I hit this ace, I'll go back 11. It was really cool. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, a full cornhole game. I mean, most games would be stupid long, but make it singly then. I'd be down. That'd be fun. You have to win by 21. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is not good for Tony. Oh, sorry. Okay, he's got one bag left. That's not a bad bag. Could have been. I think a he wanted a little bit further to the right. Oh, he roll pushed. He stays on the board though. Only two. Tony immediately looks over to you for comfort. Yeah. Big news, comforting. Big news. I got nothing for you, boo boo. I'm commentating. <laughs> Eight to four. Round number six. Ashton Hubbell says, I got Tony win 15 rounds, 23 to 12. Trey Hunt, Big Tone, 21-15. Pablo Islas, let's go Ryan Windsor. Ooh, Hunter Thorne and Dylan Holmes, welcome in. I don't know where you guys have been. You're missing out. 21 apparel, Pablo. Pablo runs 21 apparel? Pretty sure he's involved somehow. Pablo, where's my shirt? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Able to collect that one. I don't think he wanted to collect it though. I think he wanted that one to stay there. It works. Ones are off to the side. In for points. Got it. Jordan Power joining us. What up, Jordan? Windsor 21 12. Luke 21 8. Windscore. Windsory. Windsore. I do got to say, though, the last two times I've been out here in uh, California for single Sunday, World Championship Sunday for that matter, we have had some pretty good crowds staying around for the finals. Yeah. And I love that. And I, 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 I'm a big fan of having singles start earlier in the day, too. I hate it. <laughs> as it's players, the worst. As players, I haven't heard anyone say I love it. But we had, we had a lot of players that had to forfeit from tournaments because they had to uh, – they had to forfeit their matches. But then uh, I like it now because you guys can kind of plan your trips a little bit better. Nah. Let's, keep, let's go <laughs> earlier. Let's go 2 a.m. See, now, if we were doing 2 a.m., that'd be great because I'm still awake. That's like my lunchtime. You know what I mean? I'd but be down yeah, with it. Back-to-back -back 9 a.m.s will destroy me. Especially imagine you're at West Coast, right, and you have to go to the East Coast, wake up at 9 a.m., you're Perfect. really waking up at, or you're really playing at six. Perfect. Let's do it. Again, if you guys have not heard, the 2022 National College Cornhole Championships registrations are open. You can go to iplaycornhole.com slash college to sign up for that. That tournament will be December 30th through January 2nd in Myrtle Beach. As if we didn't have already enough going on that weekend. It's going to be an amazing time. I'm looking forward to it, man. Last year I sat on my couch on New Year's. Yeah, so I think I played the last three New Year's. I played Cornhole. Going to be busy. I like the airmail attempt. Did little not A little bit too aggressive. Did not try to roll this time. Yeah, I mean, I like the attempt. Just, 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 just breathe next time. Shoot it. Way too deep. Making it 13 to 16. Greg Irving, you in the chat anywhere? Can't wait to see. Uh, can't wait to see Ryan Windsor call out Craig Irving. So I believe in myself, and that's all that matters. I like that. First bag is down the middle. And we we, uh, we came in, started live feed on the K9, a little sneak peek that we normally do, and uh, Ryan put on the heads that we were talking for a little bit. He's like, I'm gonna go out there and throw four bags in the hole. You, anybody think I could do it? And Craig said no, and then Ryan put four in a hole and came back. And, he's, and I said, only one person answers, Craig Irvin. What do you think he said? And Ryan's like, 
hundred percent Craig said yes, because I believe in Craig. I know he believed in me. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> then he says, I'm not a I'm not a betting man, I know nothing. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's Damn, unfortunate. Wow. You live or die by the stick. Cowboys up 37 to three over the Vikings. So my minus three pick points look good. Sure, we'll go with that. Although I'm pretty sure I was way off on one of my other ones. The Lions, I believe, won, didn't they? I have no idea. 15 to six here. We lost Tornado, our uh, score, score guy. Good collect. There's the other one there. Good. Big Tom collects two. All right, so where where were we at in your rounds? I forgot already how many you said. Uh, I said 19 rounds, and I said under 36, 36 points. points. Okay. Well, I set the line. I can't say over or under if I said it. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, it does count if it goes over 21. Whoa. Whoa. That one went over to the whole board. That looked like my push shot. Oh, no, that was my push shot. <laughs> <laughs> Meeshed it. I did that earlier today. There it goes. Got that one. Looks like the board got real fast all of a sudden for those two throws. There you go. He's got it back. Much better. in a bad bag. Uh, obstructs the hole a little bit. Causes it to deflect. Just going to get two out of that round. Yeah, that was kind of an ugly round, nine, seven. <laughs> I mean, the two Still. ugly pushes and then uh, neither player walking away from that round being like, heck yeah, I got this. Right. 15-10. More aiming fuel for Windsor heading back down to the right side. Nine, seven, though. That's still above both of our averages. Way off to the right, and that one looked like it lucky to stay on the board. Windsor uses it as a bumper to go in. Another one too far to the right. You going side by side here, or are you going straight in? Straight in. Straight in, he does. Making chase. Good job on the push. Still not happy with where that one's sitting. And Windsor in with bag number three. Showing nine on five on the round so far. Cut push. Bar soaked it. On the back of the hole, Big Tone wants to take down my trusses in anger. Ones are in for four. That gets him to 19. Big Tone down his final mistake. I was doing that yesterday in doubles for like three games. And then my partner like, was like, yo, don't do that. <laughs> and told me what I was doing wrong. And I was able to fix it. This is exactly where I would normally fall apart. Up, <laughs> up nine points. <laughs> Gonna give up an eight <laughs> spot to make it interesting. I usually give up a seven, make it a 19 seven, then a four in the next round. Let's see if Windsor cannot do that. Championship on the line. ACL open number four. Windsor said, I'm winning a championship this weekend. Two bags left to make it happen. Blocks that bag on the side. Tony stepping all the way out. Two bags left in hand. Rolls too and, far to the right. And Airmail will win this game. Airmail for the win. He's going to hit it. it. Big Tone has got to collect or push or do something drastic. Taking a step. Slick side. Bag that off the board. It. That's going to do it. Ryan Windsor taking down ACL Open number four. And Ladies and gentlemen, 13 that's rounds. Good. Wow. Exactly like I called. I told you guys. Moment one, Ryan Windsor's winning this whole thing. 25 to 10. That was directly under. The under was 35. Or it said 36, 36, 36. but whoever took the under. All right, that money line was on point. That's it. Good calls, man. Appreciate you joining me in the booth, brother. Thanks for having me. Yes, sir. All right, y'all, that's it for this one.
ACL Open number four in Upland, California is done. Good matches this weekend. Congratulations to all the winners. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you guys in Virginia Beach. Here you go. You're